in beautiful Port of Spain. No place like home because carnival is in our DNA. Rock us a little bit. We're here till noon at least. Stay tuned. Drink and drive. Fuel your carnival with stamina energy and rise to any occasion. Pump and lime all season long because this carnival, you need stamina. When carnival is done, it's time to laugh. Randy Glasgow Productions present a Valentine's gift to the nation. Two persons on one ticket for the annual Alternative After Carnival Festival. Featuring the funniest legends and the new stars in the battle of the generation. Three shows only. Friday, February 16th at 7 from 8 p.m. Saturday, February 17th from 8 p.m. And on Sunday, the 18th of February from 6 p.m. Napa in Port of Spain. Get your two persons on one ticket today. Before they're all gone. At advertised outlets only. Single tickets are also available. For more information, call the 24-hour hotline at 774-5555. The alternative after Carnival Festival with all the bacchanal and confusion you want February 16th at Zappa, February 17th and the 18th, Napa in Port of Spain. Bushfire, the rising of a new life is the name of the portrayal. This first section is called Boomfire and they are on stage representing that Boomfire for sure, for sure, for sure. And we see the beautiful red, yellows, the oranges of this costume resembling fire coming out of the backpacks and some of the headpieces. And we even see some portrayals of uh, the Dame Lorraine-esque hats with the fire coming out of them as well. The ladies portraying them so lovely. Looking so beautiful and so happy as DNA plays in the background. 
Mikhail Teja, their first choice of song as they bring, bring to the stage Ronnie and Caro, Bushfire, the rising of new life. We have some people here on the ground saying that they're from all over the world. They came to play with Ronnie and Caro. Which part are you from? Brooklyn, President Street, Crown Heights. Oh Lord, welcome home. Welcome home. It's always stressing me and distressing out here. This is good for therapy. Nice. Enjoy the mass. Enjoy, enjoy. We are broadcasting to you live from the Queen's Park Savannah. We are on the stage with Ronnie and Caro as they present Bushfire. This first section in orange was called Boomfire. The next section we have coming up is called Black Flame. And they are crossing the stage right now. They're wearing purple, gray, and black. They call it Black Flame, this section. And what beautiful portrayals we see in here. So many different outfits, so many different options, but What's absolutely beautiful is the, the leaders of the band, the leaders of the section rather, the kings, the individuals as they call them. Because they make their way across the stage as well here at the Queen's Park Savannah, the individual costumes having a time and they tend to have the best time. <laughs> Security there clearing off the stage for Black Flame. We have the next section that's getting ready to cross the well, They're crossing the stage currently in white and blue. section on stage right now is actually called Aqua. Ronnie and Caro's bushfire, the rising of new life. Aqua is the section that we are seeing on stage currently, portrayed in those lovely white and blue, light blue, marine colors. And I guess that's the water that should be out in the fire of the bushfire. Something tells me there's still more fire to come here with Ronnie and Caro. They did not leave anything. They threw everything inside this presentation this morning. I'd love to see it.
section coming up right behind Aqua. Right behind Aqua, we actually have Blaze. They are in the bright purple and gold. And there seems to be some sort of technical malfunction with the truck, which causes the masqueraders to stop dancing. But some of them are going to keep chipping and singing along as they go because, hey, it's Carnival Tuesday and nothing can stop the good energy and the good vibes at the Queen's Park Savannah. The section in purple with the other little colors in it is called Blaze. Hello, good morning. And we are here on the strip this morning. And I wish my cameraman would come and capture this, this presentation going on here because I have somebody who is in the section, Aqua. Good morning. Good morning. I'm from to play my Florida. Florida? But my parents are though, so. Parents are though? Yeah. <laughs> How are you enjoying the experience so far? I've had a good time. Ronnie and Carol, you good? Huh? good? Oh, excellent. Enjoy. We're broadcasting to you live at the Queen's Park Savannah. The purple section that you're seeing behind me is actually called Blaze, and they've been blazing their way across the stage here at the Queen's Park Savannah. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful presentation this morning coming down from Ronnie and Caro. It's called Bushfire, a rising of a new life.
favorite song for the carnival? Oh, what is my favorite? Yeah. Oh my God, everything? everything. <laughs> yes. I love this soca. I love this Show me how you love this soca, girl. Show me how you love it. Show me how you love it. Show me how you love it. Let me see your wine. Let me see your wine. Thank you. At the Queen's Park Savannah, still with Ronnie and Caro. What section is this? This is Sparks. Why did you choose this section? Because I love colors and it's so vibrant and it's all my favorite colors. All your favorite colors in this section. Nice. And you, this is an individual, right? Individual. Lisa. All right. So how long have you been playing mass? Oh my gosh. 20 years. I don't want to tell you my age. <laughs> so we can safely say it's in your DNA, right? Yes. Uh, uh, uh. My DNA. Well, you enjoy the day. Have some fun. And oh gosh, running tongue, running tongue.
someone who is always behind the scenes when it comes to things related to Carnival. He works on stage as a, as a one of the monitor engineers for Kestivan. How are you Carnival looking so far? Very, very good. Is this the time for you to de-stress now after all the work? After all that long hard work from last year to now, just the stress and play yourself on Carnival. What made, you, what made you choose Ronnie and Caro as the band? Well, I've been playing with Ronnie and Caro since 2009. And how was the experience for you? Excellent. So you're not changing at all? Not at all. Nice man. Catch it for nothing. Aye, aye, aye. Enjoy the rest of the carnival. What's, what's this section here? Renaissance. Renaissance. <laughs> all right, Corey. Blessings. Enjoy the day. We are live on the stage at the Queen's Park Savannah in Port of Spain. Lots more mass happening, lots more bacchanal coming down the road. Ronnie and Carol presenting Bushfire, the rising of a new life. I'm hoping that we can find Ronnie at some point in time and have a conversation with him. Or maybe with Carol about some of the designs that they presented here this afternoon, well, this morning on the stage. And the band's still coming so far for this band. We've only heard one song play as they've been crossing the stage. All the trucks playing one song, and that's Mikhail Tesha's DNA. So we stay tuned to see how the rest of the morning goes. More costumes. Let we go. Congratulations. I hear you take the band to a whole different heights now when you take the band. <laughs> good vibes. Post up. Good vibes. So hear this now. You all have won this title on many occasions. Yeah. And look, on, look 200 times. Only so so winning it again. Only winning it again. Why's the masquerade? That's happy, be happy. Okay, most important. What? So we realize all your favorite pretty road teams to be DNA by Michael Tejo? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Energy. 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 Yeah. Energy. Yeah. Energy. And wherever is Ronnie and Caro, it's energy, it's vibes, it's beautiful costumes, it's revelry, it's love, it's passion. Oh God, it's costume, it's mass. Caro, Caro, I need to know, I need to know some of the inspiration behind these designs because they are absolutely phenomenal. And last time I asked Ronnie, and he had no answers. He says all you. He just says all you. So tell me, Caro, what was the inspiration for this year for Bushfire? Actually, my mom normally comes up with the team Ash Wednesday. And there's a group of designers that are all family. My sister-in-law, my closest friends, cousins, everybody get involved. We take one section each, two sections each, and we just come up with the inspiration together as a team. Well, congratulations. It's Thank beautifully you. presented here Absolutely today at the Masquerade. Let's have another time. We were truly blown away when we saw them. <laughs> congratulations, congratulations, <laughs> Justin. Yeah, yeah. Guys, enjoy the rest of the carnival. Happy carnival and congratulations again. Take care. Oh, my goodness. We are at the Queen's Park Savannah in Port of Spain, the mecca, the absolute mecca of Carnival. And we're going to take a quick break and come back with some more bands. Little Bits is here in the Savannah with me, I'm Ruckus. You're live on TTT, the home of Carnival. You got to come back home.
flavor. Zellish, level up your snack. Carnival season, a celebration of color, creativity, revelry, and unity. We welcome people from all over the world to enjoy TNT Carnival, the greatest show on earth. But behind the scenes, there's a relentless effort and precise preparation to ensure your safety. On foot, in the air, on horseback, on motorcycle and mobile patrol, we are your constant line of defense. While you party, we patrol. While you whine, we work so you can enjoy our sweet soca music. All ranks out in full force under the watchful eyes of the Commissioner of Police. The rhythm, the vibes, and everything that makes Carnival memorable. From desk job to detective, every officer is called to the front lines. We come off leave so you can leave all your worries behind and fed with no stress. All hands on deck. While you play, we work. We are dedicated to protect and serve to ensure that your experience of the greatest show on earth is safe, enjoyable, exciting and memorable. The winning numbers in the National Lottery Online Draws for Monday, 12th February 2024. At 10.30 a.m., Playway number 36, Donkey. Pick two, the numbers 2 and 25 in that order, Mega Ball called. Pick four, the numbers 8, 5, 3 and 5 in that order. At 1 p.m., Playway the number 6, Belly. Mega Ball called with the Bacchanal Ball. Pick two, the numbers 5 and 35 in that order. Pick four, the numbers 3, 2, 0, and 6, in that order. At 4 p.m., play with number 31, Parson Wife. Pick two, the numbers 21 and 21, Mega Ball Called. Pick four, the numbers 8, 0, 3, and 1, in that order. And at 7 p.m., play with number 30, House Cat, Mega Ball Called. Pick two, the numbers 1 and 35, in that order, Mega Ball Called. Pick four, the numbers. 6, 4, 5, and 5, in that order. Cashbot, the numbers 3, 11, 20, 18, and 10, in any order. The multiplier is 4. Trinidad and Tobago, since we first met, you knew it was love at first sight. We value and cherish the same things. We promise you the country's widest and most affordable mobile network. And we've kept that promise to you, our greatest supporter. We've grown your trust by ensuring you're always connected. From TNT's first fiber to the home network, to true 4G LTE connectivity nationwide and all for you. No matter how far you roam, no matter how you choose to be connected, Digicel is always close by. Building a foundation or even when it's just the same. What's it saying? You put on real weird boy. I am so proud of you. As our network has grown, so has our offering to you. And we've always invested in you. That's why our greatest achievement will always be you, our customer. Digicel, we're better together. Trinbago Carnival Origins. Carnival, often referred to as the greatest show on earth, TNT's Carnival is a part of our culture as much as the other elements we identify with as a people. Today, we enjoy a carnival season comprising of numerous cultural competitions, diverse parties and an influx of tourists a season that climaxes into two days of masquerading however carnival's roots runs into almost two centuries of trinbago's history in 1833 before the abolition of slavery africans began adopting their own improvised version of the carnival balls celebrated by the french at the time though a time of merriment this version of Carnival, which became known as Canboule, also represented resistance and rebellion against colonialists, 
These acts of rebellion were depicted as mockeries that primarily embodied an exaggerated iteration of French sentiments. Over time, these depictions led to memorable characters becoming a mainstay in the celebrations, such as the Dame Lorraine, which mimicked the formal dress of the French women by exaggerating the padding in the chest and behind, along with wildly elaborate hats and fans. With the end of slavery in 1834, the free populace were now able to openly celebrate carnival and their emancipation through dress, music, and dance. And as Trinbago's population became more diverse, so did the carnival, which evolved to include traditions and contributions from all ethnic groups. As it evolved through the years, carnival has gifted the world with calypso, soca, and our beloved steel pan, and is widely celebrated and considered as the greatest show on earth. Be viewing TTT for more Trinbago carnival origins. Trinbago Carnival Origins, Calypso. Calypso is most likely the only other commodity that we have produced and exported as much as oil and gas. Historians claim that Calypso's roots are grounded in West African traditions that fortunately was not lost during the forceful transition and harrowing experience of the enslaved Africans in TNT. However, it is without a doubt that Calypso, as we know and enjoy, emerged in Trinbago during the 19th century. It fused musical elements from the French creoles such as Lavwe and Kaiso, and the call and response aspects of stick fighting chants used to lionize fighters. This art form began to establish mainstream status with the emergence of Calypso recordings and commercial Calypso tents, which were temporary establishments that existed during the carnival seasons for entertainers to practice and perform. Witty, humorous, satirical and rhythmic Calypso songs lays it in on the most relevant topics of the time, often positioned as the voice of the people, acting as social and political commentary. Commentaries that were delivered by storytellers called Calypsonians with epic sobriquets such as The Roaring Lion, Growling Tiger, Attila the Hun, Railway Douglas, and King Radio. As it evolved, Calypso experienced numerous defining moments such as the demand for it in the US and UK, which ushered in the new generation of performers such as The Mighty Sparrow and Lord Kitchener. Additionally, moments such as Calypso Rose becoming the first woman to win the Calypso Monarch crown and the Black Power marches introducing voices like Black Stalin and Shadow gave Calypso greater depth. Today, Calypso is the parent and grandparent of many subgenres like soca, rapso, ska and reggae and still acts as a catalyst for young performers to connect with their aspirations. However, most importantly, Calypso continues to be a commodity that is held close to our hearts. Be viewing TTT for more Trinbago Carnival Origins. The name of the band is Tribal Connections and they're presenting the Spirit Calling for 2024. We have some of the masqueraders here with us this morning. Yes. How are you feeling this carnival? Good, it's well good. good. Trini to the bone, we ain't going nowhere. All the ones are going to go. go. How, how long have you guys been playing with Tribal Connection? Over 10 years. Yeah. Over 10 years. Since I leave the bikinis, I get mass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Tribal Connection is strictly... Indian mass, tribal mass, could you give us a... Tribal, tribal, yeah. Okay. You see, we right here, we come from this and we sicken with this. I love to hear my dog of city do glow in me. I love that girl. Yes. Um, we mix up, so we in it. Right. So how long have you been playing with the band? I've played some few years with them. Yeah. yeah. You enjoying yourself? Yeah. Tell me what's your song for carnival. I like this song with me. Yeah. Michael Fajor, DNA? Yeah. yeah. There's your road match? Yeah. All right. I noticed, I noticed inside this band too, you all started with the Ola Tunji inventor. Yeah. So it's not just, you like the, you like the crew across the stage as well. We crossed with him too. Last year was in the room, this year is inventor nice. all in yeah. But we is Trini. Once the music good, we day. We like DNA right? too. Eh? We, we like nothing from DNA and then when they win. 
So we go take any music that I play. Once we could move. Once you could move to the music. We can move. Let me hear it. The real boss, ladies and gentlemen, we are making music for yourself as you get on the road. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of the carnival. Happy carnival to you. Take care. <laughs> With Caribbean Airlines, it's a flight full of love. Come on board our plane, fly with the stars up above. Any destination is a celebration. Welcome home. With Caribbean Airlines, we fly at night or morning. Look, the moon don't sleep Everything you need On the part you arrive, Caribbean Airlines don't want no rival. So I feel like I fight the boat as well. Pack a bag and take a trip again. To be with friends and family. Drink and drive. Carnival season. A celebration of color, creativity, revelry, and unity. We welcome people from all over the world to enjoy TNT Carnival, the greatest show on earth. But behind the scenes, there's a relentless effort and precise preparation to ensure your safety. On foot, in the air, on horseback, on motorcycle and mobile patrol, we are your constant line of defense. While you party, we patrol. While you whine, we work so you can enjoy our sweet soca music. All ranks out in full force under the watchful eyes of the Commissioner of Police. The rhythm, the vibes, and everything that makes Carnival memorable. From desk job to detective, Every officer is called to the front lines. We come off leave so you can leave all your worries behind and fed with no stress. All hands on deck. While you play, we work. We are dedicated to protect and serve to ensure that your experience of the greatest show on earth is safe, enjoyable, exciting and memorable. The wait is over. Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. No one for laughs, my dear. They said, Tommy Joseph, what is the difference between a hurricane and your ex-wife? I said, there's no difference. All of them must take the damn house. With Captain Barry and crew, the Caribbean Princess of Comedy, Margaret, and the Caribbean Prince of Comedy, Ronald. From Philadelphia, USA, the Quiet Prince, Granny X coming over the fence in South, Madman Clevis, and performing as a cow for 2024, Nuts Landing, Fareed Ali, Dan Demon, and more. Come laugh, laugh with over 15 comedy entertainers. Grand opening Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, Rights and Road, 8 p.m. and Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. This is Bass, and you see me, I'll be opening up for the World Laugh Festival. All your command laugh, all your belly full, all weekend. Trinbago Carnival Origins, Steel Pan. Not many countries can boast about having their own national instrument, and it is only Trinidad and Tobago that can boast about inventing the last true acoustic instrument, the steel pan. These melodious instruments came to be after animal skin drums and the tampu bamboo, which were bamboo sticks struck against flat surfaces to create music, were banned by British authorities in the 1880s following the Canboulet riots. 
In a bid to resist this suppression, recently emancipated Afro-Trimbegonians formed orchestras using frying pans, dustbin covers and oil drums, taking to the streets to revel in carnival celebrations. Eventually, it was discovered that indentations beaten into the oil drums possessed musical qualities that could be tuned to produce numerous tonal variations, a discovery that has often been attributed to Ellie Manette, a steel pan musician and instrument maker. It wasn't until between 1943 to 1946 that a semblance of the modern steel pan, being able to play an eight-note scale, was forged in the hills of Lavent Hill by musical pioneer Winston Spree Simon. After its tumultuous origins, steel pan is now widely accepted globally, with several unofficial variants existing across the world and a number of countries aiming to act as steel pan producers. To us, steel pan has become an integral part of our carnival celebrations, swaying and mesmerizing audiences worldwide, with the United Nations declaring August 11th World Steel Pan Day. Born from the necessity to communicate through rhythm and sound, the steel pan's existence is a tale of defiance, creative genius, community, and national pride. Be viewing TTT for more Trinbago Carnival Origins. Senior Parade of the Bands brought to you by Digicel Better Connected This Carnival Samaru's, the international carnival supplier since 1949 White Oak, for the culture Blue Waters, fed responsibly Stamina Energy, fuel your carnival with Stamina Energy Sunshine Snacks, snack under the sun Tattle, where people are people KFC, it's finger licking good Carmino Properties International Limited. Punchy Punch, your carnival pumping fuel. Creamery Novelties, live a little. Welcome back to the Senior Parade of the Bands here at the Queen's Park Savannah. We are on the main stage, the Savannah stage, the home of Carnival, the Mecca of Carnival. Little Bits is alongside me, I'm Rockus, and we're keeping you company this morning as the bands pass on the stage and we get our, our chance to kind of be in the middle of all the bacchanal. How has the experience been for you so far, Bits? It has been truly amazing. You know, usually I'm on the drag somewhere, on the road somewhere, but I've never actually been on the stage, like looking at the other bands coming up yeah. and um, just seeing them present. And it's truly a different experience for me. It's something that y'all should be experiencing. If you're not <laughs> tuned in right now, tell your friends, call your friends, message your friends, tune in to TT right now. You can see it online, you can see it on the television. Come watch Trinidad and Tobago's Carnival. So far, we've had three bands grace the stage. Uh, we kicked it off this morning with Simply Cultural Minstrels. Yeah. Uh, they were followed by Ronnie and Caro. Ronnie and Caro, yes. Doing their presentation of Bushfire. Bushfire. Um, they, said, they said it's bushfire, the rising of new life. Yes, love I that. love it. I, I love it, it and I love the portrayal. Life, new life, mm -hmm. their son. Hey, then well, he's not really yes. a new life no more. He's around a little while. He's, he's a, your he, big ears, he's big and he has He's been around a while, but I feel as if now he's really present in the band. He's really, you know, getting his foot wet. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you feel his presence for sure. And you can definitely see the impact. You see a whole new generation of Ronnie and Caro. Yes, I love you. that for them. Yes, you have. Um, also, after them, we had traditional connection. Yes. And they actually were presenting the spirit calling and they are authentic Indian band. Uh, yeah, authentic tribal Indian mass. mass. Yeah, tribal they, mass. No, they yeah. call it authentic Indian according oh, to the did. category. Okay. Yeah, the category on the, on the paper that we have. It's not <laughs> me saying that. It's the, it's the paper would say that. Um, <laughs> but they definitely present it in a beautiful way, keeping that traditional aspect of our culture alive. And you know, one of the important points for me was when the lady said, when I threw away the bikini masks, I came to play real masks. Right. And uh, you know, we have so many different expressions, like we were saying earlier, that there's a space for everybody. So even if you want to play bikini and beads, there are definitely options for you. If you want to play big, huge masks, there are options for you. If you want to play Indian masks, there are options for you. Sailor masks, there are options for you. We have so many options when it comes to playing masks here in Trinidad and Tobago that uh, you, can't, you, you can't miss out, no matter and, which part of it you want to join. And that is what makes Trinidad and Tobago unique. 
unique and special yep. because we have all different types of masks, you know what I mean? And I love it. And the Juve. The and Juve's mask too, you know I what mean, I mean? You, you played Juve yesterday? I didn't play Juve. So then we'll be having this conversation Hello. about Juve. Don't I am just, I am just, I am just excited <laughs> and boasting <laughs> about the different types of masks you can as get you here should. in Trinidad and Tobago. Let me, let me, as, I, as I'm here and we're talking about Juve, I want to take a moment to salute uh, the gentlemen of Tree Canal. They had their last Juve after 30 years yeah. of Juve. Celebrated 30 years this year. And what a beautiful experience it was. It was a sea of white on the road. It was SS bad behavior was the name yeah, of the band. Yeah, I saw the videos. I saw uh, the pictures. I actually cried, you know. You did? I did. I think I a did. lot of people as well. Yeah, it, it, it was... It's been 20 plus years of yeah. me playing, playing Juve with that band. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen now. I don't oh, know. Oh, gosh. We're going to see what happens. There's but something there's something really authentic about it. Oh, about everything, their masks, everything about compared it. Compared to the other Juve, it's not taken away from what they present, but there's something beautiful and authentic about Tree Canal's mask, and we're definitely gonna miss it. Oh, definitely. But hopefully we'll see what happens next. We'll uh, see. speaking of next here at the Queen's Box of Honor, we have another band. We see them gearing up, getting ready to cross the stage. I believe the band is K2K, K2K. from what K2K. I can tell. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you excited I about absolutely this one? love K2K. It is presentation, it is mass. I mean, they're still a, a bit a, a further away from us, but guys, you're seeing costume already. Yeah, and one of the things that I love about K2K is that they, they like to consider themselves wearable masks. Yes. So that you can wear it all through the year. Of course, Fashion. I see some of, the, some of the, um, the individual costumes I'm seeing here definitely can't be worn here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> They're a little too big to go through the front door. However, um, definitely we'll be seeing the, the sections as they go along and seeing the elements of things that you will definitely see people wearing as well throughout the year. Yeah. Because they, they love to put fashion into Correct. the presentation of K2K. Fashion meets mass. And this year their presentation is the Salt Crossing, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, interesting. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they pre present this portrayal this year because every year it's something magical, it's something beautiful. And this is the nice thing about our our mass here in Switzerland and Atlanta. We get such a wide variety. Yeah. You get to see everything. Everything, under the sun. but I think we need to go to a break right now. Sure, we'll Do take we? that break. We'll take that break <laughs> and we'll come back and hopefully we'll bring you K2K okay, by the time we're back. So stay tuned. It's the senior parade of the bands right here at the Queen's Park Savannah. You're live on TTT with Rockers and Little Bits. Don't drink and drive. your carnival with stamina energy and rise to any occasion pump and lime all season long because this carnival you need stamina boss lady is 2024 and you're still accepting drinks from random strangers now nah. drinking smart to avoid any chance of date rape so drink smart to be safe this carnival. We love to drink, 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 and party till the morning come. Whoa, but do it smart. Be drinking smart. Bottle! Drink, 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 and party till the morning come. Yeah. Watch out with us. Drink. Yeah. That's your fun day. Say she only got one life Can't stay on the job side Make a memory for a lifetime that could last yeah. Come on baby Knock a glass with two eyes She don't catch feelings, she catch flights So she coming back to the sunshine paradise Lauren said go out to New York City
whine and rollin' it All over the road, watch she whine and rollin' it When the rhythm hit in she soul, watch she whine and rollin' it Spark Savannah, ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing on stage K2K Alliance and Partners. Their category is Fantasy, and this year they're presenting the Salt Crossing a Desert Season. I have with me co band leader Kathy Norman. Kathy, good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? I'm great. Congratulations on yet another year of a beautiful presentation. I didn't even see everything yet, but I, what I can see so far. Absolutely beautiful, as per usual. You know what? And we are so excited to be back here another year in beautiful Trinidad and Tobago. And I have to admit, this year the band is actually really, really lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get nerves before you guys come to the stage to present? Before you, before before the Monday and Tuesday rush of it all? To be honest, we have nerves straight up until I want to say the close of Tuesday, <laughs> because it's one I think putting the costumes together. Yeah. Right. As well as making sure that our masqueraders are actually happy. Mm -hmm from 7 a.m. in the morning until 9 p.m. and we're ready to go home. So this this is definitely a journey. Nice. Well, tell us what we're in store to see today. Well, today you're actually going to walk through, as the banner had said, the Salt Crossing Desert Season, right? What and does that mean? Very good question. So 
You know, interestingly, we have chosen the term salt, which actually means stronger after living today. Stronger after living today. So, right. so the salt is an acronym. It's an acronym, exactly, nice. right. And what it actually does is kind of walks you through basically the trials and tribulations of life, mm -hmm. right? And what we actually need to actually succeed through those trials and tribulations. So how we have actually chosen to put through the theme is through a desert and its oasis. Uh -huh. So this morning, what we're going to walk you through is the struggles of the desert, mm -hmm. right? And at the end of the day, you're going to find hope and faith in the oasis. Nice. And just speaking of, of struggle and finding that hope and faith, I want to uh, take a moment to acknowledge that the uh, police commissioner, the commissioner of police, is actually crossing the stage behind us right now in front of your band. Um, so we say good morning to her and the entire team uh, that have been passing. Just making sure they do their security sweep and everything is A-OK. -okay. Yes. And they know everybody in Carnival knows that once the commissioner is on deck, then we're good to go. And we have all the, the active police presence as well. So we say good morning to them as we get ready for K2K Alliance and Partners, the Salt Crossing Desert Season. I love the acronym of SALT. Be stronger after living through, after living today. Today, after living today. Stronger after living today. All right, so we started off with the individuals, yeah? No, we are starting off with a mini presentation. Okay. So this is not the band. This is the introduction to the band. Okay. So we, while we're looking at the presentation, we also have uh, the Minister of National Security on stage there with little bits, and we're going to chat with him for a little bit while the presentation is going on. We're also going to keep our eyes on the presentation as well. A little bit. Hey guys, so we're here, Queen Smack Savannah, senior parade of the bands, and guess what? We have the Minister of National Security, my literally like my family. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. It's a pleasure, you know. Yeah. I know you from the time you were a little bit. Yeah. Still little bit. <laughs> I still a little bit. Bigger bits now. Yeah. yeah. And we have here today, of course, we're doing our confidence work. We have here the Commissioner of Police, the Chief of Defense Staff, the Commissioner of Prisons, the Operations Officer of the Defense Force, the Police Service. So we are here to observe the work that we have done to make people safe for this carnival and I can see you and everyone else is enjoying it. We are happy to have done that. What I can say, I do feel safe as a, a, a patron, as somebody who is a part of this country. The Monday and Tuesday so far, you have seen the presence of the police service. We feel protected. <laughs> Yeah, definitely has been a presence on the highways, on the roadways, and we appreciate you guys. Trinidad Carnival, we are here. We are in the Savannah. It is Carnival 2024. We are kind of and we are happy to know that you appreciate it. Yes, we do. Thank you so much, little bits. Uh, there with Minister of National Security, Fitzgerald Hines. And of course, the Commissioner of Police, Ola Christopher. But when we're seeing on stage, Kathy, we saw the presentation a little while ago. We didn't get to see the full thing, unfortunately. Right. Uh, but we saw the butterflies flying around. Right. We, what, what was that meant to represent when it comes to the desert? Right, so it was meant to show the struggle through the desert, actually. Right. So the dark colors, the browns, were actually show the partialness, and then you actually reach the oasis. Nice. On stage right now, though, what you're going to see is actually called the Al Alasha of the Rub Alakai. And what we have chosen is actually four women to actually portray this costume. These four women actually represent the acronym SALT. So they are stronger after living today. So hence you see the dark colors coming out of the women and then the burst of color to show basically I have gone through something and now I'm actually emerging out of that. So is this a section or is this still part of the introduction to the, to the show? I want to say this is actually some of the introduction to the show. Okay. So it's not officially the first section. The first section is now making its way on oh the stage. Oh my goodness. Exactly, and exactly. Look at the size of these. Is there, is there a person limit to each section to say that you can only take X amount because of the sheer size of the costumes? No, no, no. So the, the only limitation is actually in the size of the band because we can't cross 600. Right. Right. But what we try to do is somewhat evenly balance out the band. Okay. 
Oh, this one is, is I see the ships of the Sahara Desert. Exactly. A fields half sown. Exactly. Now I love I love that you guys have these names and your names are always so very poetic. So very well researched. I, I really appreciate it. But this one clearly represents parts of the Sahara Desert. Correct, correct. So what we have chosen to do is basically um, chose select the massive deserts that are around the world mm. to kind of show how man is actually traversing through a lot of these um, deserts around the world. My goodness. Also, there was an option for this section whether you wanted to have the, the large backpack or no backpack or a small backpack. <laughs> correct. And tell me, and tell me in terms of uh, the song selections, is there a mandate by the by the band in terms of what songs the DJs must play, or do we let the masqueraders decide? No, this is actually the masqueraders' choice. Yeah. Right. So for K to K, we put out a survey and say, guys, what do you want to hear on the road? And basically, our masqueraders respond. And give you that feedback. Exactly. And I guess Kess was on the list of that feedback. It was. Because we're hearing Kess playing earlier just now. I think we heard a piece of DNA, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. So on stage right now, what you're seeing is the beautiful browns and orange crossing the stage, and it's meant to show man actually traversing through the desert. The huge backpacks are meant to show the sands that are floating through, and as you're going to see, there are actually white backpacks as well. So it's meant to show the trickling of sand through the dust of the Sahara Desert. That's what the white, the white is, the, is it trickling through? It's trickling through, exactly. Does preparation for this start from Ash Wednesday? To be honest, the preparation of this starts, I want to say it's continuous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a continuous process. Is it difficult to find new themes every year to explore? Because, I mean, you, you guys have some very, very unique themes. Like, this is not the usual theme that we would see people kind of exploring. This the desert theme, is it? I mean, I know, I know we're stronger after living today, but is. What makes you decide that this is the way I want to portray strength? This is so, the way that I want to portray overcoming? Well, to be honest, a lot of the band's theme is actually based on our own personal experience. Right. So we actually have themes probably going on for the next five, six years. Mm. Right. And generally, it's, some, not a, no, it's not really like a pick in the hat, right? But Karen and I usually say, okay, fine, where am I right now in my life's journey? Yeah. And what actually transcends to me right now in my personal space? And that is actually what makes its way onto the Savannah stage. So this white here is the white we're talking about, trickling through the sand? It's trickling through the sand, exactly. And, and I see the streams. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. Now, in your experience, uh, I know your band is a, is a nice mixture of locals and foreigners, Correct. right? And at the, leading up to Carnival, there were lots of complaints, people saying that things are too expensive, people are, some, some foreigners are pulling out. Did you see a decline in the amount of people wanting to be a part of the band, the foreigners at least? Um, to be honest, for k 2 no. Because yeah. interesting, our split is actually more internationals living abroad, yeah. right, than actually locals. Right. Right, so for us, I think it's a very nice appeal in terms of you see a lot of Trinis, a lot of West Indians, and even people bringing friends in still to experience Trinidad and Tobago Carnival. And a beautiful experience it is every single time. And I love the fact that you were able to blend this section here, to able to try to show the, the sand falling through. I love it because we see a, a mixture of colors, but it all comes together so nicely that it's still a part of the same section, still right. representing the same image. Right, so what we try to do is actually immerse the stage into whites, the browns, the khakis, to kind of show the rich texturing of the sand through the desert. This is a headpiece that the band made, or this is a personal choice by this no, person? No, that's a personal choice by that person. <laughs> And do you guys encourage and encourage that as well for people we to, to be individuals in the band within the costume? We do. Oh, is that is that Miss Wendy Fitzwilliam? I just saw that thing. Oh no, it was not Wendy Fitzwilliam. I swear it was her. She looked just like her there first. No, it's not Wendy wow. Fitzwilliam. What a striking resemblance. My goodness. And this section is which one now? So now this section is called Sakar of the Deep Desert of Sarahaja. Right, and what it's meant to show is actually perceptiveness. So when one goes to the desert, we are actually accumulating different attributes. So it's going to be courage, it's going to be perceptiveness. At some point, there's going to be faith, and there's going to be hope, which is what is actually ending the band. Yeah. Right, so this section right now is actually a portrayal of birds, and it is perceptiveness. The interesting thing is that in the Arab world, and the reason why we actually chose a bird here, right, is in the Arab world, a falcon is basically a symbol of dignity and valor, right? And 
that is one of the attributes that one actually, I want to say, has to, um, has to actually accomplish in order to survive the desert. How much research goes into the, because you all, I realize you have different different deserts across the world, different aspects, like you right. go to you go to different depths and heights with it. Uh, tell me how much research goes into each of these productions on an annual basis. Well, to be honest, it takes months of research because you may like a particular theme, and then we go back to the drawing board to say, okay, fine, how does this actually translate to what we're trying to portray? I think it's important for it to be deeply rooted in something. For us, it's important. So we do a lot of social commentary. Yeah. Right, and for that, it's very important to us. And this, one, this year in particular, the, the statement you're making as far as social commentary goes is we need to be stronger together. Stronger basically after living today. So as one traverses to the world, we're all basically learning something new to do something for another day. I'm going to let you go so that you can cross with your, with your section on stage. I don't worry if you missed this chance at all. But thank you so much for joining with us on TTT and for sharing some of the information. And I wish you guys all the best. Absolutely beautiful presentation. Congratulations to you and the team. Thank you so much for having me. Happy Carnival. Ladies and gentlemen, k 2 Alliance and Partners. On stage right now, Carnival 2024, looking beautiful as ever. Salt crossing desert season. We thank Cathy Norman for joining us up on stop, giving us a bit of the information as we see some more of the beautiful band crossing the stage. We take you stage side for K2K Alliance and Partners.
I cannot say no. What's the name of this section? Um, you know the name of this section? It's Salt Crossing. The whole section. Okay, wise, wise. So tell me, what are you all feeling for road march? Oh my gosh, I'm feeling the contract. What are you feeling for road march? What are you feeling for road march? DNA. What are you feeling for road march? To be honest, contract. contract. I wanted to hear contract. Contract is what we want to hear. Okay, vibes. <laughs> y'all look beautiful. Y'all look so beautiful. Louisa Kalalwaina. Search and going deep, deep, deep into the story. And now on stage, we're seeing a sailor mask being played. I'm not sure if this is still part of KTP. I do not believe that it is. It might be an individual just here at the Savannah having a time, but we'll get some more information on it in a little while. Uh, we have Playway Pick 2 and Pick 4 coming up in just a few minutes, but before we get there, I need to say good morning and thank you so much for tuning in to TTT. We are presenting to you the Senior Parade of the Bands live here at the Queen's Park Savannah in Port of Spain. I have to say a special good morning to those of you who might be up in the US or in Canada or anywhere that's experiencing that cold front right now, that snowstorm. We're bringing you the warmth from right here in Sweet TNT, the home of Carnival. Thank you so much for being with us. Ah, boy, look at this beautiful mask we see on stage in front of us. A sailor mask like no other. We see midnight rubbers. We see the full works. And what was interesting for me about K2K in particular was the selections, because they were a little bit different from the usual. Yes, we heard the DNA, but we also heard anxiety, and we heard the miracle coming down from Kess. So lots of excitement here at the Queen's Park Savannah. The stands still have some room, so if you want to come on down, both the North Stand and the Grand Stand still have some space. So you can feel free to make your way on down to the Queen's Park Savannah, those of you in Trinidad, or even if you're in Tobago, you can take the boat and come across. Take a flight and come across. We still have some space here at the Queen's Park Savannah. There's no place like home. And look at the beautiful presentation on stage right now. We head stateside. Darkness to light is what they are portraying. Belmont exotic stylish sailors. And we see the darkness represented by the midnight rubbers. But of course, 
the beautiful colors and the bright silvers bring the light. Very interesting and different presentation. Trail being darkness, dusk till dawn, a celebration of darkness to light. The Belmont exotic stylish sailors, they're crossing the Savannah stage right now and doing a fantastic job of just dancing across the stage. We see powder, midnight rubbers, fancy sailors, showing you that there's no place sweeter than TNT, no matter what age or what stage. Once the music hits, you feel no pain and you go across that Savannah stage and everything is well with the world. A therapeutic release. Each and every carnival season, we love to see it. Many bands gracing the stage here this morning at the Queen's Park Savannah so far and many more still to come. I know they're lining up. We unfortunately have to take a quick break, unfortunately, because I hope you have your ticket stubs and you're getting ready for Playway Pick 2 and Pick 4 because it's coming up in just a few seconds. So you can stay tuned right here at TTT. We will be back at the Queen's Park Savannah shortly. We're not leaving till the last drop of Bacchanal because there's madness in the carnival. We take that quick break and come back with more. Stay tuned. Rise to any occasion, pump and lime all season long because this carnival you need stamina. For all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuju Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway, telephone 638 0863, and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando, telephone 657 0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949. Another edition of Caribbean Week in Review.
50 by 20, 50 by 25. This is Kyron Pollard. When you play, do it the legal way. Don't bet on illegal gaming. Now you can win and drive when you play Win for Life. Your $10 Win for Life bet automatically gives you a chance to win a brand new Suzuki Vitara. That's right. Now you can play once for a chance to win twice. Just match your six Win for Life numbers to the six Win and Drive numbers to win. The Win and Drive draw takes place right after the Win for Life draw every Tuesday and Friday at 7 p.m. Play Win for Life to win and drive today. Players must be 18 years and over. Please play responsibly. Welcome to this morning's Playway Pick 2 and Pick 4 Draw, supervised by independent auditors KPMG and presided over by the National Lotteries Control Board. Good luck, everyone. Good morning. Here's wishing Trinidad and Tobago a happy and safe Carnival 2024. Welcome to the NLCB's Playway Pick 2 and Pick 4 Draw, as well as our Playway Back and I'll Draw promotion for Tuesday, 13th February 2024. We begin with our Back and I'll Draw promotion. There are two white balls and a golden Back and I'll Ball in the machine. If you have wagered on at least one Mega Mix option and the Back and I'll Ball calls, you can win $30 for every $1 played on the base, $90 with the Mega Ball, $110 with the Mega Ultra and $135 with the Mega Extreme. And players, a white ball has called. Keep on trying. Remember, you can win more when the Bacchanal ball calls. Now for our winning playway number. The winning number is 18. The lucky mark is Waterboat. That number is 18. The lucky mark is Waterboat. Players, it's time now for your chance at higher Megamix winnings. Remember, Megamix options cost an additional $1 each. Playway number 18, and the mark Waterboat is called with all white balls. Remember, you can win more when the back and our ball calls. Next, we'll draw our winning pick two numbers. The first pick two number is 21. That's 21. And the second picture number is 7. That's 7. This morning's pick two numbers are 21 and 7 in that order. Our pick two mega machine is preloaded with our mega ball and two white balls for our pick two mega to the max draw. If the white ball calls, there will be no extra payout. Once players wager a minimum of $5 on the mega ball, they'll win the original prize of $2,000 plus the promotional prize of $6,000 for matching two numbers in the correct order. And we have a mega ball. Pick two numbers, 21 and 7, in that order have called with a Mega Ball. Congratulations, Mega to the Max winners. You've won the original payout, as well as the Mega to the Max prize. Now for our pick four numbers. And the first pick four number is nine. That number again is nine. The second pick four number is two. That number again is two. The third pick four number is seven. That number again is seven. The fourth and final pick four number is zero. That's zero. I repeat, this morning's winning pick four numbers are nine, two, seven, and zero in that order. Congratulations to all winners. Don't wait to be a winner. Level up with our Scratch games set for life and payday. 30 chances to win. Scratch now. 
In some Cashbot news, two lucky players who chose yesterday's five winning numbers each won $53,134. Congratulations to our Cashbot winners. And are you looking for instant winnings? Add Instant Win to your Cashbot bet for your chance to win on the spot. To date, 896,442 players have won $14,600,000 in Cashbot in Winstant Win prizes. Thank you for joining us and do so again at 1 p.m. for another Playway Pick 2 and Pick 4 draw. Employers, there are fines for non-compliance with the minimum wage. You can be fined $15,000 for underpayment of the minimum wage failure to keep and maintain records with respect to minimum wage workers. Outstanding wages, overtime, public holiday, vacation leave, sick leave, no meal breaks, off days, or unauthorized deductions. Contact the Labor Inspectorate Unit of the Ministry of Labor for more information. Don't drink and drive. Do you work in a supermarket, retail store, bar, restaurant, hotel, as a domestic worker, security officer, at a gas station, or any similar establishment? You are entitled to a wage of no less than $20.50 per hour. Overtime pay for time worked beyond 8 hours per day or 40 hours per week. And meal and rest breaks. Contact the Labor Inspectorate Unit of the Ministry of Labor for more information. When we outside it, it's an ocean of love All that we align up to the stars up above Let we dance now, take a chance now with me And we go jump till morning Look the moon come sleeping Tell them we not leaving Till the last drop of a canal is
jump to the moon come down As we put the stars shine on Play our minds and break away Freedom in with the end Line and Length, the number one cricket program in the West Indies is on TTT. Line and Length brings you up-to-date interviews, analysis and highlights on the game in the region and internationally. Plus, there's an added bonus to receive a gift of gear each month with our grassroots program. Go to lineandlength.net to learn more. Line and Length in association with Massey United Insurance on TTT. Senior Parade of the Bands brought to you by Digicel Better Connected this carnival.
Samaru's, the international carnival supplier since 1949. White Oak, for the culture. Blue Waters, fed responsibly. Stamina Energy, fuel your carnival with Stamina Energy. Sunshine Snacks, snack under the sun. Tattle, where people are people. KFC, it's finger licking good. Carmino Properties International Limited. Punchy Punch, your carnival pumping fuel. Creamery Novelties, live a little. They are lining up behind us and they've already started crossing the using Bungie's contract. So right now resonate is they're resonating <laughs> on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are broadcasting to you live from the Green Spot Savannah in Port of Spain. The Mecca of Carnival. Resonate is presenting immortals in this time around. And they aren't too big on section and section. They say it's a party band, so all the party must happen one time. One big party across the stage here this morning in Queen's Park, Savannah. And oh my goodness, what a beautiful experience it certainly is. We have all kinds of people here crossing the stage with them. Is that Tess Anchin? I don't know who I've seen anymore. I've seen all kinds of people crossing the stage here. The band is absolutely beautiful and we take you to see some of it. It's a, a nice, beautiful mess of immortals. It is definitely the party band. <laughs> Let's go. 
definitely a big party, man. One of the things I'm loving right now is the huge float. So the presentation is Immortals. And we see I'm not even sure what it is exactly. But obviously it's meant to be Immortal. And it's meant to represent that aspect of things. Correct, 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 correct. And if it's one thing about Resonate, they are really enjoying themselves. Most definitely. It is a party on stage right now. It is a And I think party. that's the most important thing, you know, Section was to enjoy nothing. yourself. Section nothing. Section nothing at this Section point. Section nothing. No sections, just everybody one nice big mess. And we absolutely love to see it. You know why? Because everybody's just having such a great time here this morning on stage. And to me, this is one of the things that Carnival is definitely all But of about. course, you know, it's our you energy. enjoy yourself to the max. Correct, it's our energy, it's our vibe. You know what I mean? You pay your money, you enjoy yourself, you have your music truck, you have friends, you have you your, your money. To eat. You spend your money on you your makeup, your money. you spend your money on your but jewels, course, on all them kind of back and all. Of course. So it's you. only right that you come out and you enjoy yourself here enjoy on the road. Enjoy yourself, most Tuesday. importantly. And the prettiest of mass is definitely played here on the road, on the stage at the Queen's Park Savannah, each and every carnival season. It's all kind of thing happening on stage here today. So you just have to excuse all the bacchanal, all the people passing, all the trucks rolling, making noise, having a grand old time. Resonate Carnival is on stage and doing a great job. They're making their way out now. We say blessings to each and every one of them. Use Bungie Garden's soundtrack for the entire time, which was very interesting. First band for the day to use only First that band song. for the day that did Carnival contract. I think right now, in, in for the lead, for today would probably be DNA so far. I ain't counting, that's not my work. Yeah. I just, I not here to come, nothing. I know, that's a, that's a piece of back and I'm not getting involved in. Well, it oh. seems to be a favorite. Let's just it, say it seems to be a favorite. It definitely is in the top of the favorites. We yeah. know, we knew coming into today that they wanted either DNA or Contra. But yeah. so far, we've actually seen the inclusion of Anxiety from Patrice and yes, Miracle correct, from Kess. We've also heard a band even play Inventor from Olatunji. So I'm looking forward to see exactly how the competition is going to unfold itself as the day continues. But we are still live here at Savannah. Still have more bands to come on the way. Seeing some beautiful costumes on the drag. But we're going to encourage you to stay tuned right here at TTT. We're going to take a quick break and come back with more, if I'm not mistaken. Lil Bits is here with me at the Queen's Park Savannah and me being raucous. We are going to be live all day long right here on TTT, the home of Carnival. Thank you so much for being here with us. We're taking a quick break and we come back with more. Stay tuned. The winning numbers in the National Lottery online draws for Tuesday, 13th February 2024 at 10.30 a.m. Play away the number 18 water boat. Pick two the numbers 21 and 7 in that order, Mega Ball called. Pick four the numbers 9, 2, 7 and 0 in that order. Oh, I've got this feeling to high five the sun, dance in the rain, and have my scoop of fun. I'm on my way to flavor my day with something new, and I've got room for you. Let loose and live a little, get close and share a little. And share a little Give in and taste a little You'll fall in love with Creamery Novelties Join you Creamery Novelties Live a little the wait is over. Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And the Bacchanal continues. Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Hear the Bacchanal with Granny X coming over the fence in South. Hear the controversy with the moving of the security booth in Bamboo. Who the hell you calling mad, eh? I is not the man that the authorities tell me to move your security boot. <laughs> and I said, no. Next morning when I come back, it's flat on the ground. Hey, hey, where you come from? Don't blame me, you know. The authorities send my crew. 
Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Croco say he has a massive bombshell to drop. This is Croco. I ready for him. Get ready for the World Laugh Festival. with stamina energy and rise to any occasion. Pump and lime all season long because this carnival, you need stamina. Hey guys, so we are still here live at the Queen's Park Savannah. It is the senior parade of the bands and it is absolutely amazing, the energy. Let me tell you all something, the energy in the Savannah is crazy. It is Carnival Tuesday, we're excited. Right now we have Baileys, they are coming on stage. Well, they're not coming on stage, they're on stage right now. They're presenting, they're performing, they're enjoying themselves. They jump into DNA, you know what I mean? Thank you. Bailey's and their presentation by Blightus Africa. One of the many men from the stage here at the Queen's Park. Broadcasting to you live here at the Queen's Park Savannah. I'm upstairs again. Yes, I am. Are we getting ready for the next band, next large band that is Yuma? And they are on tour with a world to celebrate this year. I have with me Acacia Di Vitale. Good morning, Acacia. Good morning. How, How are you good? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. How the carnival looking for you, Mom? It's looking good. I heard you all had some, a little bit of trouble yesterday when it comes to, to leaving some other bands or blocking yes. you all and causing yes. some trouble. Yeah, well, we won't call names, but one band, <laughs> <laughs> one band was parked. Uh, a little way from the Rutland stop, kind of in front of ours, that right. caused a little problem. And then when we tried to mitigate the issue, 
the one of their trucks was also broken down on another street. Jesus, and so it, is. Uh, it, it was a little troublesome, but you know what? All of that's in the back. I know saying carnival is back. All that's in it. If you don't know how to have fun standing still, and I don't know, I don't know what then to you tell you. You're in the wrong place. Yeah, yeah I agree. Definitely <laughs> in the wrong place. All right. So tell me about human presentation for 2024. On tour or will to celebrate? Right. So we decided to do on tour this year because we, in previous years, we actually gave votes to different countries and that kind of thing. Yeah. But this year we wanted to focus on festivals. So on tour, it's just about people who might want to travel to different places and see different things. So we have different festivals like Coachella. So for instance, the costume I'm wearing is Coachella. Okay. It is an ode to Coachella's festival. Okay. We have one of the first sections is Wonderland. It's based on the Ice Ice Storm Festival in China. Right. So we have different festivals and all the costumes, all the sections are an ode to festivals all around the world. Did, it, did we have a, a criteria as to what makes a festival make it into the tour? But you see, the thing is, there were so many different things. One of the exactly. great things that we do when we start planning. So, for instance, from next week, mm -hmm. we're going to be meeting with the designers. Hey, guys. For 2025. Festivals. Right. Choose one. Right. Figure it out. And the designers have, you know, complete creative license to design something based on what feels best for them. Because uh -huh. we really want them to be able to put their passion into it. We don't want it to just be just cookie cutter and tell them, make a purple costume, make a red costume, right. that type of thing. They have to be able to put in the effort on what they feel, you know, embodies what we are looking for. How do you choose the design? That is a rough process, I will admit. Um, there comes a screening. The designers come and they submit their costumes. Yeah. They are told, okay, we like this, this look good, but it need an edit, it need a this. Add an extra color, right. give it a pop, whatever the case is, because you see, we also know our masqueraders and what they like. And sometimes something might come and it's a good base and it just needs a little pump to bring it into total production. So it is rough, some, some don't get chosen, but you know, we always tell people no design is a lost design. If it's not used this year, it might be used next year, it might fall into the theme for a future time. Nice, and I, I look forward to what you're going to be presenting here this morning because we're saying that it's, it's, the, it's the festival, celebration of festivals and the entire world to celebrate. And you mentioned some of the ones, but I am really excited to see how it's going to be portrayed on stage. Um, in terms of, of your masquerader input and your masquerader account for this year in particular, I know that there was a news story a little while ago saying that there was a reduction in the numbers. Mm -hmm. Did that number improve with the time as we got closer to Carnival? It actually stayed put. We, um, last year we were within the 4,000 to 4,500 mark. We had 4,500 this year. Okay. Um, so yes, there was, there was a little less than we expected, but not in a great way. And to be honest, we really don't mind because the logistics it's really tough handling people over a certain amount. So we're, we are happy with, at where we are. We're not trying to be super banned right, right. now. We're trying to be humor. Right. You know? And, and you're, you're still keep that, that mandate of, of, you know, young, upwardly mobile adults? Absolutely. Young and young at heart. Young and young at heart. Absolutely. I love that. Love that. <laughs> All right. So I think humor is getting ready to cross the stage. I'm hearing the DJ warming up. Mm. Speaking of which, did you all decide as a band what song you all are choosing for Road March? We didn't decide as a band. We let the masqueraders decide. So what we do is we send out a poll via Instagram and those things that just before right. the road and those, those sort of things that people cannot choose. But we're going to do it different according to each truck because you don't know who like what. I realize you know? everybody like everything this year. Boy. Yeah. So it's a nice, a nice mixture, a nice it's collaboration. Contenders are strong. The, and you know, people are saying that there are only two, but so far this morning we've heard at least five different road march exactly. contenders. I think and I love that. I love that we have a, a nice wide yeah. range and we get to explore some of it. Correct. So I hope that we're able to see some of that exploration take place as well inside of you all. <laughs> Tell me about some of the other festivals that we have geared up to see inside the band this morning. Well, one of the nice ones I think that you're going to really love there is the um, it's Ni Nigiro. Um, festival out of Niger. That costume, I wanted to play in it, but it was brown and I brown and it's gonna work. <laughs> but I have co complete costume envy because the, the section is fantastic. Well, at this point, I have just been collecting pieces of bands that pass every time I pass across the scene. I collected pieces to get to the piece just now. By the time I'm done, I'll figure out what, what section, what costume it is actually. And it could be in every section. You can join us. Hey, you can join us here in the game. Careful now, careful now. Almost finished with the game. Be careful. <laughs> All right, so I see the security making sure that they have the masqueraders in place down on the stage and making sure that they are ready. This first section that we have coming up here, Cassia, is what? This is Wonderland. This was designed by Cassie McDonald. And this is the section I was telling you about, which is the Harbin Ice and Snow World Festival of China. Right. So the colors, everything is, is meant to depict that. You know, you have the, the purple, the lilac, you have the blues, the silver, 
um, Kwasi has been designing for us for a little while now, and I mean, every year he continues to up the ante. Um, this section was actually sold out first. Oh. People loved this section. It was gone within a couple of weeks of us being um, launched, so we're really excited to see everybody on the road. And I mean, look at the masqueraders. Everybody is happy. They, they feel confident in their costumes. They feel good. And if you know, if you look at us, you realize we don't have one just one body type. Yeah. It's everybody. Yeah. Everybody looks beautiful. Everybody is comfortable and everybody is happy. And I see that they also have options for backpack or no backpack. Yes. I yes. see we have we have different versions of the costume. Yes. Uh, but the colors, I think, definitely a winning combination of colors. Okay. When you talk about the... And I, and I think that will lend itself to why it's so loud first as yes. well. Because, <laughs> you know, that, that lilac, blue and, and silver is always a winning combination. Yes. And it's done so beautifully here. This morning we see you more on stage. Remind me the name of the section, Wonderland? Wonderland. Wonderland. Yes. Based on the Harbour and Ice and Snow Festival of China. Well, my co-host actually this morning, a little bit, is, a, is a, a member of your band. Yes, she has and been. she's been in that costume all morning, just patiently waiting for her <laughs> chance to cross the stage. But she's somewhere in there, I'm sure. No, she's still standing up here waiting. Uh, we have her working this morning, so we'll give oh, her a chance oh to run away when her section reaches. Come on, that's making us. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, she never stand decide and enjoy the rest of the show just like everybody else. Yeah, man. So we see the, the masqueraders having fun. You said Wonderland is based on the, the festival, the snow Harvard, festival. Ice and snow festival of ice China. And snow. Ah, mm -hmm. boy. How often does this festival take place? Happens annually. And, you know, one of the things that we wanted to portray is that, you know, when we, we talk about festivals, we kind of always expect it to be um, something very processed. Uh, with a lot of people jumping around looking crazy, but there's so many different types of festival, and yeah. this one is based on nature, right? Ice and snow. So you get to see a lot of sculptures, a lot of light shows, okay. that type of thing, and that is what that section was meant to portray. Nice. So we have some stragglers from I other sections, but if you didn't do this, are you playing mass? <laughs> <laughs> At least we were able to see the first section come on stage in their glory properly. Because um, I know the stragglers will happen. Correct. Correct. And it's always beautiful to see when the costumes blend and mix up together, what yeah. you get. Because, you know, the, the, the themes tend to tie together in some way, form or fashion, even if the colors don't always uh, work well and they stand out sometimes. Correct. Correct. I love the color combination. Love, love, love the com combination. And the textures, in terms of the, the feathers, there's two different types of feathers we're seeing in the backpack. Yeah, so you have, um, you have some turkey, some coke, different. And, and the thing is, is, so one of the things we don't talk about is the artistry around the wire benders and the yeah. people who put in the feathers and do that work because they have such an eye for detail for what works. Is, and that, what done, is that done locally? Yes, these are done locally. These are done by production houses in Trinidad and Tobago. We only work with production houses in Trinidad and Tobago for backpacks and those things. It's, it's the best way to do it ready. Fantastic. This section here, this is this is mid section, Mombasa. This section is Mombasa. Right. Yes. This, this section is based on the Garawal Festival, um, the Garawal Courtship of Niger. Um, we wanted to bring in, of course, a, a African of something course. inside of here. There's no way we could do it without it, right? This was also designed by Kwasi McDonald. And if you look at the backpacks and the headpiece, it is, to me, a work of complete art. You have straw, you have feathers, you have card. Yeah, there's so many different things. If you look at the neck pieces, those are coming out of Ghana. So it is a complete... African costume. Yeah. Um, the colors, I think, are fantastic. Uh, even though they are brown, and we're all brown people, <laughs> there's still ways to highlight it. You know, the white, the yellow, the blue. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful section. What does it for me is, is when the, the masqueraders put on their makeup to match the costumes. Yes, yes. We see a whole a whole different makeup style from the first section to this section. Correct. And it, it, it translates exactly what you're talking about in terms of some of the tribal markings, the African tribal yeah. markings. And people get to put their personality. That is actually the design of the section there, Kwasi McDonald in the blue, the blue on the shirt. Oh, the gentleman behind. Yes, with uh, the huge Mombasa yes. backpack. That is the design of the section. Nice. And he designed the first two sections, yeah? Yes, he did. It's interesting that he chose to play in that one, though. But, yeah, because, I mean, look at it. <laughs> 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 look at it. I think that was his baby. And we see some of, some of our family members from Next 99.1 there. Uh, DJ Kadeen crossing the stage. Oh my goodness, so look at this bright pink coming towards us. Tell us about this section, Akas. This section is called Vogue. Ah. And it is actually designed by a Grenadian um, person. He is here, his name is Christian Chow Chung. And he has designed this costume coming out of Grenada. We're so excited to have him because we don't get a whole lot of international um, 
designers, but we've been we've been really fortunate to have over the years. So this particular costume is based on the Art Basel um, festival in Miami and Switzerland. So it's purely based on you have a lot of uh, color, but you also have the black and white. It, it's supposed to be an abstract sort of design, right? So you're not gonna find a whole lot of um, you're gonna see geometric stuff. You're gonna see the abstract art in the in the white and black. You see the prints. So that was the intention of this particular section. I was also saying to myself that the prints are, are very unique. I love the way that the, the, the costumes are blended together. And I see I see the pattern in the prints and yes. I think it makes a big difference per section. Yes, yes. Fantastic, fantastic section. I'm really, really proud to have him. Um, young designer as well, first design, he used to design in Grenada. And so he's not on the road with us. Um, I think the colors are great. Love the coloring. How does a designer from Grenada get an opportunity to, per, to design for Yuma? Well, if you didn't know, Yuma is not just in Trinidad. You know, right. we started in Trinidad, but our intention was always to, as we always say, spread the gospel of, of carnival all over the world. And because we work with bands in Grenada, and do production for different bands all over the world, we were able to find a designer in Grenada who we currently work with with other bands. Nice, fantastic. And speaking of working with other people, I see one of my former co-workers there, Janine. Janine. Is giving them a run for their money. Yeah, man. As for you, John, <laughs> she loves her mask and she loves to play that mask across the stage. And we have yet another section in the stage. Yes. Tell us about this one, Acacio. This section is an old to Trinidad and Tobago Carnival. I was wondering if there was going to be one of those in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Carnival. It was designed by Marie Colette. And it is one of our favorite sections. If you look at it, to me, it gives us the full splendor. You have the face mask, you have the feathers. There's a lot of structure, geometric structure, a lot of chains, gold. Um, I think it is, it's, it's the finest, one of the finest costumes that we have. And what I love most about these costumes is seeing the masqueraders play them. Because they're playing them like they have no tomorrow. They plan to leave it all on the stage. Nobody is worried about, you know, backpack etiquette. There's none of that. Nobody it's just jam. <laughs> and I love that we're able to see different ages, different stages, different yes. sizes. Yes. All over and everybody has something for them. Per section. They have a version of the costume that they can wear and a version of the costume that they can prance around in, a version that they can play around. Everybody gets to make it their own. Yeah, man. You know? And how, and how happy they look when they do it so. Fantastic. They can't seem to get rid of the phones. They Listen. always, they always the phones even when they're on stage. I think everybody just wants to capture their own memories, you yeah. know. So I will admit I'm not a fan of it all the time, yeah. but I can appreciate that that's what people are trying to do. Because you're not guaranteed to get a picture. I mean, everything is all over the internet, so yeah. finding it is, is going to be like a needle in a haystack to get yours. Yeah. You know. So I, I understand. I understand. But for me, it's always a beautiful moment when people just absolutely just give, give way to abandon and they just leave it all on the stage. Absolutely. You I see mean, the pure it's joy. two days. You exactly. only get to do it for two days. Exactly. I think it's one of the reasons we are such happy people, you know. We get to, <laughs> to de-stress. Yep. To de-stress completely. I like to call it group therapy. I agree. I think that's a, <laughs> that's a great point. Well, we're getting ready for some more group therapy because we see some more sections lining up. And the security getting ready to let them out. Yuma portraying on tour. A world to celebrate. This looks like a blend of sections here. Tell me what we're looking at the castle. This is actually one section, but they have three different versions. Oh so you have goodness. red, yellow, green. Actually, let me say that properly. We have ice. Green I and gold. Green. <laughs> oh boy. This section is called Bombastic and it is an ode to Jamaica. It is an ode to the overall island. Um, Jamaica, as you know, has, I mean, they have numerous festivals. They have some fest, they have this, they have that, the other, but it's an ode to reggae music and ode to Jamaican culture. You know, we do have a band um, in Jamaica as well. 
so we wanted to be able to, to keep everyone that we are with somehow involved in the presentation this year. I'm very, very curious about the, the decision to use more or less the colors that we know Jamaica for the ice, gold, and green. But when you did the Trinidad one, we didn't use red, white, and black. We used a, a mixture of colors instead. Right, because we wanted to talk about carnival. Ah. And carnival is, as you know, an explosion of color. Yeah. You know, we didn't want to pigeonhole it. But at the end of the day, we also have to recognize that Jamaica is, is known for this. We wanted to, want it to be seen from the minute you see it. I think even if it didn't occur to you immediately, after yeah. a little while, you'd be like, OK, wait. That's Jamaica. Definitely. Yeah. It's not Jamaica, it's Rasta. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And we see your section coming up next, Cello. Yes, this is Cello, designed by Marie Colette. And it is based on the Coachella Festival, which is, you know, is an electrifying, just fantastic um, global festival, you know. It's based on a lot of technology and interesting things, innovative things. So you've seen a little bit of Cello, and that's because everybody, all these ladies, ain't reached yet. Oh. <laughs> because it's a female section. It's all female. All female section. Nice. So these ladies probably still make up in and dressing and hearing, you know and what I mean? For the second half of the day. Yes. So tell me something, in terms of deciding that it's a female only section, how is the decision like that made? By a designer well, or by what? Sometimes it, it looks it, it depends on what we kinda see it looking at, looking like when when the editing starts. Because sometimes the male costume doesn't quite hit. Right. Right? And if we see that listen, this is gonna be a real hot female section, but the male is gonna be meh, we're not gonna put a meh male costume. Yeah. They're going to give you something strong. Um, and we find that there are certain sections, certain types of designs, we have majority female yeah. in them. I mean, I've realized though that sitting down here this morning, the majority of carnival seems to be female. Yeah. In, in all the bands that we've witnessed so far, we've been seeing the majority of people. Women. the distribution on the whole. Yeah. When, we, when we look at it, we probably were looking at something like a 60-40 share, um, where most of the band is female. Well, you know what they say, Carnival is woman, right? It is. So we give thanks and praises for that same way. <laughs> uh, we have more coming up from you. More was that your last section? You still have how many more sections? We still have maybe six more sections six to go. Six more sections to go. Yeah. How big is the East 4500? Yes. Yes. So we still have Nuri coming, which was done um, for our sponsor, the Digital. And it was the, the, the ode is to the dragon, the mythical dragon. Um, for the festival in China. So that is also done. See, with CD details in the backpacks, this is actually a dragon backpack. The colors are all fiery, brilliant. I think you're going to like it. I mean, so far I've been liking everything that I've seen. I can't tell a lie. <laughs> This section was designed by Roll Permanent, and I'm almost certain that that huge section you see coming, that huge costume you see coming, is Roll. <laughs> Yeah, you want
Yep. That's Roll? That's Roll, that's the designer for this section. Roll permanent. So tell me something. The designers, are they required to do the actual wire bending at any point, even if it's just for the initial design? Not really. They don't have to do it. Um, what a lot of designers do is they, they deal with the wire benders to get what they want. Okay. You know, not everybody is good to wire bending, but what we try to do is make sure to use actual wire benders to be able to help with the design. Because of course, it's a lot of bending. Of course. Yeah, to get the shape that you want. Most of them in time for carnival. I said it's not just the shape, but to get the amount of them that you need to get Correct. to look exactly right before Carnival. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of work. As we say, Carnival is a 365 business. Yeah. This starts, as a matter of fact, post-mortem, post-mortem starts tomorrow. <laughs> so, from next week, designs start, you know, and we're working to do the Carnivals of the Islands as well. It's a lot of work and it goes on 100% of the, of the year. Morning. It looks really fantastic. And you're looking at seeing Bajan flags, you're seeing Jamaican flags, you're seeing it's everybody there. You said it's called Nuri? Nuri, yes. Nuri. And it's a huge section. This was also a section that sold out in two twos. Yeah. It was gone in no time. Remind us again about the festival it represents. This is a dra it's, it's an oath, a dragon festival. It's made from the dragon, the mythical dragon and uh, dragon Asian cultures. And that explains why the designer went to the hugest one. Yes. To be the biggest dragon out there. Biggest dragon out there. <laughs> <laughs> Complete drag and dance included. Nice. And you can see it in everything in the in the way the, the bra was cut, in the way the backpacks were done, the shapes, in the way the feathers were, were shaped. Yeah, so what we also have is a section we call ride up. Ride up to be light up. The intention is for people who don't necessarily like a lot of costume, a lot of feathers and stuff, but still want to have a good time. Yeah. We do a t-shirt and pants package. Um, and they come and have a great time on the road because we find a lot of men are like, yo, we don't, they don't, want to the we don't need all of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Live at the Queen's Park, Savannah. I'm here with Acacia. Acacia, this band this so far has been quite beautiful to witness from up on top here. I can't tell a lie, seeing all the costumes some come together and they portray across the stage has been absolutely beautiful. Even as they go down the drag to leave, 
we still see the knights coming together and all the costumes blending well. So I want to say congratulations to you and the entire team. Thank you. Remind us, remind those, for those of you who might now be tuning in at TV Land, remind them what it's meant to represent. We're on tour. We are on tour. We're going to festivals all over the world. We want to see what different cultures have to provide. And we also want to do a little bit of boat at home, which is why we have the carnival costume. We have the Jamaican festival. We have Grenadian designers. I mean, there's everything involved. And we've given so far an ode to Chinese festival. We've given an ode to Dragon Festival. Yes. We've given an ode to the Ice and Ice and Snow Festival. Yes. We've given an ode to, to Trinidad and Tobago Carnival. Yes. To Jamaica and to Jamaica Festival. To Coachella. Mm -hmm. And the list goes on. The, the, what was it? Remind me the name of the festival in, in Africa. It is called the Gere Wall. The Gere Wall Festival in Niger. Nice. Yes. And I love that you took the time to look into all these different festivals that match up with ours, match up around the world, yes. and present them on the stage. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the one that we have coming up next. Right now, I mean, it's carnival time, right? Yes. I mean, it's carnival over the world. Right. So we have to muster bong to Rio. Give us, give Brazil something. Nah, boy. <laughs> We I don't have know why to. I, I felt like I knew we had to go to we Rio had at some to. point. We had to, and you can, when you look at it, you see it absolutely. This section is called Makulele. Yeah. And it is designed by Alejandro Gomez. And when you look at it, you would see Brazil. Okay. Right? This is Total Samba Festival. This is, this is Latin energy. It's a complete vibe. And we're so happy to see it because this section was and has been completely locked. So when you look at it, you see the tall feathers, the headpieces are dynamic, they're fantastic. The coloring is really good, it's a lot of earth tones, black, gold, that type of thing. And they're making their way onto the stage now. And we see the design of the section. And the biggest Alejandro, one again. Alejandro, biggest one in there. <laughs> I mean, how fair is it if you can't put on the biggest one if you design the costume, you know? I mean... <laughs> it's only right. Ah. It's very interesting, because he said it's Brazil, it's, it's representing Brazil. Yes. But the headpieces seem to be giving, the male headpieces at least, I'm seeing some wild Indian influences as well. Yeah, so it, it's an ultra Latin energy. And remember, Brazil doesn't just have the Samba Festival just like that. We have indigenous people, right. we have African people. Um, Brazil is a cosmopolitan country just like we are. So there are so many different elements that you have to include and you have to think about when you're designing a costume. Yeah. You don't want, as I said, we don't like to pigeonhole it. We want to mix as many elements as possible so that people can portray something fantastic. This one seems like it's a pretty big section as well. It is, it is. This, I think this was sold out, number, this is the third sold out section in no time. Okay. But the movement of those headpieces and backpacks, I couldn't wait to see it on the road, so I'm really happy to see it now. Nice. Oh, it looks like such a beautiful, just sea of feathers, color. Yes. We are broadcasting to you live from the Queen's Park Savannah. Yuma on tour, a world to celebrate on stage right now. Which number section is this? I lost count. This section is number seven. Number seven? Yes. Okay. And it's seven of how many? Thirteen. Thirteen sections in total. Yuma being our second large band to cross the stage here this morning at the Queen's Park Savannah. And cross, the, they're doing a great job of crossing so far.
three or four bands across the stage so far. It is insane, including Ronnie. Now we back to Yuma. It is insane. The flow is fabulous and the security presence is engaging. This is this is going to be fabulous. Let me let me congratulate you for once again another amazing Dimash Gras. Thank, thank you, thank you. This one was Carnival Come Back Home. The ritual, this whole ritual of Leaving everything, leaving those cold, dark, snowy places, the metropoles, the snowy parts of your life, and coming back here to Trinidad and Tobago, coming back to the carnival as the solution. As as what as Patrice says, carnival is a therapy. Guys, we are so happy to have Dublin in our presence. Hope you're enjoying the carnival. Take a little chip, a little chop, enjoy yourself because we know you worked so hard. For the carnival, just enjoy yourself now, right? Thank you, thank you very much, and enjoy the carnival to you and to you at home. Come over, come back home, come to carnival, come to Queen's Park Savannah, enjoy yourself. It's gonna be crazy good. So we sing on stage here. This section is called Lucid. It is based Lucid. on yes, Lucid. Light, light festival. It, it's done on light and and a lot of um, electrifying type of uh, um, uh, projection. This is based on a festival in Sydney, Australia. Okay. Right. So we're done it down under here. Yeah. And you're gonna see a lot of vibrant neon colors. Um, a lot of reflective. Um, pieces, a lot of blues, pink. You know, I, I think this section is completely beautiful. And when you see it coming across the stage, yeah. everybody all together, it's a brilliant blue. It's certainly it's electrifying. And I love the, the, it's an electric blue, but the neons really stand out, yes. especially when the sun hits it. Yes. yes. So the blue is brilliant, but then you have that little pop of neon yeah. that sort of lifts it. So, takes it to a whole other place. And you said it's called Lucid, that, that, is that also the name of the festival? Yes, it's, it's not the name of the festival, but we wanted to use one of the, uh, the items that it does include in the festival. And the purpose is really to draw to how brilliant and, and, and visual this particular section is. I love the detail in the costume. Because we see in each bead, we see in each bead has a different color almost. We see in different neon popping out from the different beads. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Now, is it that designers design hoping and praying for a bright sunny carnival day? Yeah, pretty much. Because I'm seeing this and I'm like, it's sunny thing, it's so perfect. Dry season, dry, dry season. season. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little, a little drizzle yesterday, but it wasn't too bad. Nice. And this section was designed as well by Royal Permanent. Oh, wow.
When you look at the smiles on people's faces, you can tell that they feel, they feel the energy of Carnival. They feel beautiful crossing the stage. Yes. They feel all the energy. They just feel everything. They feel good. Yeah. And that's the point. The point is that you have to feel good when you do this. And I mean, the Savannah stage is the pinnacle. Let's it be is. fair. It is. So for them to be able to come and do this, I mean, there are people from all over the world have been yearning for this type of thing. And we're so happy to be able to provide it to them. This section here is, is it the same section. This is Saint Lucid. This is the second section. This is Rebels. And this is actually a private section. It's done by Crave. Okay. And uh, this is Crave out of Miami. Um, and this is done specifically to, to embody the Afrobeat movement. Okay. And it's called Rebel? Yes, Rebel. So the, the festival it celebrates is, is more like the African part of the African yes. festival. And the, the so more... you have Afro Fest, you have Afro Cello. Right. You have, there's so many African based and Afrobeat type festivals happening now all over the world. I'm seeing similar colors in terms of the neon, but yes. more, more bright, more use of the neon than any one before. Yes, there's a bit of neon, but there's also a little bit of animal print as well. Ah. Right? So there's, there are two different type of textures tied in together, something that you wouldn't expect to be tied together, because an animal print is generally expect to be an earth tone. Yeah. So we found a way to sort of change that up a bit. Would you say that there's a lot of room for experimentation when it comes to these things in Carnival? I mean, that's the point. You get to, to and that's the thing about the designers putting their all into it and, and using their creativity, which is why we allow them creative license to do what they want. You know, um, if you try to put too much restrictions, people don't get to really show their true, their true selves and show yeah. what they're really capable of. And only when that is done, you get to see fantastic, fantastic work coming out. You know, creativity is never ending. Yeah. You know. I, I know there's a criticism of bikini and beads and that kind of thing, but beads and feathers have always been part of Carnival. Yeah. And we have to find different ways to do it and innovative ways to do it. And everybody doesn't like the same thing. Thankfully, our humans like what they like and we're able to give that to them. Is it difficult to decipher what they, what they like from year to year? Well, you know, I think we've been really fortunate over the years to have great designs. Um, and one of the things that we've been able to boast is that we tend to be a lot, you know, innovative. We use different things over the years. We've used chain mail. We've used so many different types of materials that it's what we are now known for. Yeah. So who chooses, the people who choose to play with us, they know they're going to get something innovative and creative and interesting. Yeah. And they seem to be here for it because the big sections are selling out quickly. Added to the fact that, you know, we see in other sections that you like you said the ones who come in late Sorry. and then the ones who still gonna come and they're gonna still try and cross that savannah stage no matter what. Of course. <laughs> don't be surprised if you see some humans with another band rolling in I here. Would not be surprised <laughs> That's what at they all. can do it. But I know we know what the colours look like so we can look out for them for sure. Correct. Acacio, is it is it difficult for you guys uh, you mentioned the bikini and bees and having to reinvent it every year is it difficult for that that process to take place and and surprise your your customers with something that they may not have expected i would say it's difficult it's a challenge that we look forward to you know um at the end of the day we want people to be happy we don't want to go too out of the box so they're like what is this but we also want to give them something to be like yo i want to play in that you know and speaking of i want to play in that what is this I'm seeing here on my this screen? This is psychedelic. Psychedelic oh, is it looks psychedelic. Uh, by Alejandro Gomez. And this is inspired by the festival called Tomorrowland. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, it's based on a vibrant beat, great energy. You're seeing again the neon undertones, but this is like a purple, purple type of section. There's yeah. a lot of glass, um, hard plastic, um, geometric shapes on the body, even the shape of the, the underwear, of, uh, everything is geometric. You know, I, I love this section, the way those feathers are moving, the way everything is reflecting, because we use a lot of reflective and iridescent type of, of papering on the, the backpacks as well, as well as reflective stuff um, just before the end of the feathers, that type of thing. The shapes are geometric, they're more triangular. I got when I, when I first saw them coming, and even now as I look at the feathers on the backpacks, mm -hmm. I'm seeing something looking like a flame. Right, yeah. Is so, that intentional? The thing about Tomorrowland is, again, we're looking at innovation, right? Um, and the movement of light. Yeah. Right? So it's psychedelic. It is intended to, to have a, a mental type of effect on you. So we're looking at the movement of light. We're looking at the, the shape in terms of it having um, 
like a light type structure you know so yeah nice and I love that look the, the, so many different portrayals we see the gentleman dancing yep yeah in, in sync Listen, and our gentlemen are not just gentlemen who are trying to <laughs> just take a jam. These guys are having a great time. Everybody has good energy. You know, yes, this one might beat us a little bit, but yeah. it's not the end of the day. We just started. And I'll show you a drink. Trucks have plenty of water on it. it so they it can does. make it through the day. It does. <laughs> For me, it's the, it's, the, it's the reckless abandon on stage that I yeah. absolutely love to see. Yeah. And you can tell the people who enjoy it, playing the mass, those who come to, to wine and get on bar, those who come Correct. to display themselves Correct. and there's, just have a time. There's no concern. Am I looking okay? Is yeah. my makeup running? There's none of that. Everybody is just full jump. Psychedelic, you said is the name of this one. Yes, Psychedelic, and this was designed by Alejandro Gomez. Nice. I love this section, and this is another old to Trinidad and Tobago, by the way. Uh -huh. This section coming here is called Oil and Music. Oil and Music. It is an ode to the only instrument created in the 21st century. That which we have to have orchestral work, <laughs> right? <laughs> the fantastic, phenomenal, and amazing steel band. No. So if you look at this section, you would see the shaping. Of all the bending, everything is based on the pan. Okay. So it's meant to celebrate the instrument or the festival around the instrument, it, so the pan around? Well, we can say the both all because right. the reality is it, it's full of pan. Right. Right? And, and we look at it, it's oil trucks, so we also look at the fact that the, the coloring is going to be a little different. We, again, we didn't want to just go with red, white, and black. We wanted to use the earth zone, the broad, the, the blues to be able to portray this particular section. I love the shape of the headset. I love the shape of the backpack and the coloring overall. I love the way it looks on the brown body. I now see the little, the little pants. Yes. On top, okay. Yep, pants. Stick. Pan, no. Pan. <laughs> There's pan in your pants. See the gentleman in this section wasn't interested in the costume. They, they all wanted the, the, the jerseys. <laughs> jersey and pants up shots. They're just having a good time. I man. call it that the back and all section when you see that. Well, <laughs> at this point, only section. <laughs> <laughs> and this was designed by Timothy Chinfat. It was his first year designing with us. Nice. Um, and we're really excited to have it because we think the, the job was really well done. This section came and didn't have too much, too many edits to do. Um, and he came in and he did a really fantastic job. The coloring, I absolutely love the colors of these costumes. That bronze against that blue, I think is fantastic. Yeah. And it looks great on everyone. The bronze is giving, is giving that oil, that oil finish that you're yes. talking about. Yes. And the sheer joy on the faces of the masquerade as they, as they. Parade across the stage, it's the senior parade of the band, it's live at the Queen's Park, Savannah. Thank you so much for tuning in here at TTT. If you're now tuning in, we are viewing Yuma. They're on stage, on tour, a world to celebrate. This section that you're seeing here is called Oil and Music, which is an ode to our national instrument, the Trinidad and Tobago. The steel pan. 
and I guess an ode to Panorama at the same time because yeah. of course we're celebrating the various festivals around the world. So far we've seen Caribbean festivals, African festivals, Chinese festivals, uh, American festivals. Festivals in Australia. Australian festival. Land, nice. Chala. Yep. And tell me where the, the, the ice the ice festival, festival is based where? China. In China. That yes. one is in China as well. Eh -eh. <laughs> and we see Farmer Nappy on stage with Yuma. I now I now realize why he shout out Yuma in the song. <laughs> Listen, we have a lot of people playing with us every year. Um, we're always happy to have them. Um, we had Adamo yesterday. We usually have Patrice. Um, Destra plays with us every year. Uh, we have the president of Equatorial Guinea who plays with us every single year. He's been really? playing with us for about five years now. Nice. Um, and I've talked about five years pre-pandemic. Okay. So, you know, we're, we're always happy to have people who see our life yeah. and are willing to join. And I saw that you also have a team, which is a live band on yep. the road as well. Yeah. We also have Renegades, see like a orchestra and wow. all a lot of stuff. Okay. And I have to tell you, that is an exhilarating experience. Definitely. There's nothing like having fun on the road with you or at a lot of stuff. It's fantastic. I guess it makes sense that you're celebrating the national instrument in Absolutely. more ways than one. We are full supporters of the band. It's not something you see a lot, you know, with the party bands on the road and that type of thing, but not a lot of stuff. You get, you see so many people in front of the band, they forget to eat. <laughs> nice. I mean, that's not good for them, because you have a long day ahead of your Tuesday. I mean, <laughs> they, they, we'll be all right, because I have to admit I'm one of them. <laughs> But something about the vibes and the energy of Carnival just keeps you going. It does, it does. I'm hearing the, I'm hearing the DJ in the background getting ready to come to off the next section. So it's to... our last section. Right. This last section is Rave. It was designed by Marie Colette. And uh, this is based on Rave. A Rave. A Rave. Anyway. Let's right? this Rave can take place anywhere. All over the world. It can take all together. over the world. Yes. Um, this is one of the sections that we created just to make sure that it's a little more affordable for people. So you would find less backpacks and stuff unless somebody wanted to go the extra way. But this is just to ensure that even the people who want to play but may not necessarily want too much. Simple monokini, nice design, great coloring. Um, Marie Collette has an eye for this type of coloring, for doing the neon and, and things that, that you would generally see. Not necessarily want to put on a costume. And this is our final section, Rave. Um, is, there, is there a purpose to uh, which order the sections come in? Uh, we see them in? Sometimes, actually most times, we do put it in an order because we want to, we want to be able to show the, the range, right, of the coloring. Right. We don't want to just put everything sort of jumbled up, of course, but we want to be able to tell a story, right? So we started with the, the ice festival but now we end with a rave which is essentially what it tends to be the culmination of any festival that you go to yeah yeah oh look we see the flags represented from all over the world yeah, as well Senegal. now if you're just joining us look my neighbor yeah? if you if you're just joining us on TTT, we are looking at Yuma on stage, presenting on tour, a world to celebrate. They are the eighth band to cross the stage here this morning at the Queen's Park Savannah. And doing so in fine style, we're seeing the last section. They're having a rave on stage yeah, indeed. And we have heard a lot of the carnival contract being played here. So I think it's safe to say that you must support any contract for the road it's match. My favorite. <laughs> My favorite. Band number eight here at the Queen's Park Savannah, Yuma. Let me say thank you so much to Acacia. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Beautiful band, a beautiful presentation crossing the stage. I look forward to seeing how the results go. We are looking forward to. I know you are. <laughs> but one thing is that definitely for certain is your, your masqueraders are having a time. Most and that important. is without a doubt. 
Yeah, most importantly, you just want people to have a good time, you want it to experience, and to come back, you know? We have a lot of international masqueraders, and we, we don't want people to think that Trinidad doesn't have anything to offer. We have so much to offer, and in Carnival itself, there's so much, you know, that, that we have to remember. This is something that started so long ago. We have so many things to be thankful for, and to be able to have the opportunity to do this when so many people don't have it. Exactly. Right now, there are people who are stuck in a snowstorm, ironically called the rain. <laughs> And they can't make it down for Carnival. But we are bringing the action to you live right here on TTT. TTT Live Online as well. And I think we're also streaming live on Talk City 91.1 FM. So we say good morning to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here with us again. I want to say thank you to Akasia Divertile and the entire Yuma team for joining us here this morning and sharing the information. Absolutely welcome. Thank you for having us. No problem. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And don't forget you can join us on your road. I definitely. I will come and check you. Don't worry. Okay, good. Enjoy the rest of the day. Be safe and happy carnival to you. Thank you. Same to you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are broadcasting to you live from the Queen's Park Savannah. A lot more bands on the way, a lot more presentations to be viewed here today. Keep it locked to TTT. Rockers is our, what you can call me. Little bits is somewhere around. Hopefully we didn't lose at a humor. And we'll be back after this break. Stay tuned. Flavor. Zellish, level up your snack. When Carnival is done, it's time to laugh. Randy Glasgow Productions present a Valentine's gift to the nation. Two persons on one ticket for the annual Alternative After Carnival Festival. Featuring the funniest legends and the new stars in the battle of the generation. Three shows only. Friday, February 16th at 7 from 8 p.m. Saturday, February 17th from 8 p.m. And on Sunday, the 18th of February from 6 p.m. Napa in Port of Spain. Get your two persons on one ticket today before they're all gone. At Advertise Outlet only. Single tickets are also available. For more information, call the 24-hour hotline at 774-5555. The alternative after Carnival Festival. With all the bacchanal and confusion you want, February 16th at Zappa, February 17th and the 18th, Napa in Port of Spain. Like many others trying to save on Carnival, Gabby thought she should go Done. for 50% off makeup. <laughs> What about the other side? Well, Daisy 50% off of her. So, you know. You know? No makeup artist we don't know. What we do know is the savviest savings for Carnival are at KFC. Get a Chap Chap box, one piece chicken, one regular fries, and a biscuit for only $25. Your destiny. The best way to predict it is to create it. Do you see yourself exploring exotic destinations or spending quality time with family? However you see yourself, create your own retirement destiny with Tata Life's Destiny Personal Savings Booster. Choose from one of three investment options with guaranteed minimum investment returns to secure a monthly retirement income for life with the option to choose your retirement age. So what's your retirement destiny? Call 62 Tatil or visit tatil.co.tt to learn more today. Conditions apply. Tatil Life, a member of the Ansa Makal Group. Yo, it's Rome! And this year we want to have a safe carnival just like every other carnival. So this year we're talking a smart carnival. We're talking safety measures against real threats. We're going to fed smart, we're going to play smart and move smart because it's all about rum, girl and money. Not that no call way, no time for falling. We jamming all day. Jamming on the roadway. If you see me in a Benz or a Bima, hustle hard for me. Oh, I've got this feeling to high five the sun. Dance in the rain and have my scoop of fun. I'm on my way to flavor my day with something new, and I 
they've got a room for you Let loose and live a little Get close and share a little Give in and taste a little You'll fall in love with creamery novelties Love life and live a little I Get close and share a little Give in and taste a little You'll fall in love with creamery novelties Enjoy new creamery novelties Live a little Don't drink and drive. Trinidad and Tobago, since we first met, you knew it was love at first sight. We value and cherish the same things. We promised you the country's widest and most affordable mobile network. And we've kept that promise to you, our greatest supporter. We've grown your trust by ensuring you're always connected. From TNT's first fiber to the home network, to true 4G LTE connectivity nationwide and all for you. No matter how far you roam, no matter how you choose to be connected, Digicel is always close by. Building a foundation or even when it's just the same. What's it saying? You put on real weed, boy. I am so proud of you. As our network has grown, so has our offering to you. And we've always invested in you. That's why our greatest achievement will always be you, our customer. Digicel, we're better together. Yeah. 
realm of Luma, set of all the precious stones and jewels, unlock nature's wonders, and embrace the mystical allure of Tyre's ethereal people, adorned in shimmering feathers and jewels. with the land, adorning themselves with shimmering feathers and jewels from nature's treasures. Their enchanting adornments hold whispers of magical properties, granting wearers a profound connection with nature's wonders. in paparazzi. And I love the costume. It's absolutely get up something. Get up something. Yes, man, Corinne. Happy carnival. Enjoy. Paparazzi carnival live on stage here at the Queen's Park Savannah. They're crossing in all their glory. I saw I saw former Calypso Mana actually to Zion O'Connor just now. And actually, if you come with me, come with me. Let me bring the camera over here because we have with us the person who would have played second ending, National Calypso Monarch, Caparazzi, big up you! But look we have here, I'll find somebody on here, look trouble. Miss Karina, she is playing in the band this afternoon, well, this morning. Karina. 
doing? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you feeling for the carnival? Energetic. Congrats, congratulations, girl. Thank you. Thank you. you. Ready to let it all out on the stage here? Now? Definitely. And tell me about tell me about your experience in paparazzi so far. Paparazzi is an amazing, amazing band. Everyone should come. It's getting larger and larger each and every year. So kudos to them. Kudos to them and kudos to you. Congratulations you. again. Enjoy the carnival. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we broadcasting to you live at the Queen's Park Savannah. Look them. Look them in all their glory. Representing for Trinidad and Tobago. They say it in the DNA. The masqueraders having a time here at the Queen's Park Savannah. We even see some masqueraders from Japan, we've seen from Ghana, we see people from all over the world coming to celebrate Trinidad and Tobago Carnival. Yes, we did. Everybody say! Mass, mass, and more mass here at the Queen's Park Savannah. Paparazzi Carnival with some international guests celebrating with them. I saw Tazai O'Connor, I saw Karina Shea. So many more people playing in the band and just having themselves a grand time. Looking absolutely beautiful in their stunning costumes. The name of their portrayal for this year is actually Ayoko, the Forgotten Trail. Paparazzi Carnival 2024 crossing the stage in all their beauty, all their glory. Hi, <laughs> from Florida! Woo! And everybody having the time of their life sending their wishes to their parents, to their family members, wherever they may be in the world. What a beautiful display of color, revelry, mass, everything here at the Savannah. this carnival whatever you're doing because the sun is hot outside there so you better make sure you have your handy blue waters available and close by paparazzi carnival is on stage right now doing the most and crossing the stage in fine style and we love to see it oh my goodness 
It certainly is there, they, they have any the time of their life. What's the name of the section? What's the name of the section? Paparazzi. Paparazzi. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you're from New York? Yes. Yeah, you leave the snow, girl. Leave the snow. And you come here to have a time. My children have no school today because of the snow song. So they're probably watching on TV. Say hello to your children. Hi, Zariel, Tyrell, Brian. Mommy, mommy have no voice. Carnival yeah. takes your voice and go on with it. Come in Thursday. Ah, boy. Enjoy the rest of your carnival. So Take care. You coming in too? Oh gosh, look back and all here this already day. What section is this? Hallelujah. You, know? <laughs> you, you enjoying the carnival so far, paparazzi? Yes, it's good to be back home. Natasha Wilson is here. Having a great time. Sweet TNT, I'm back. Sweet, sweet TNT, she said earlier. Ladies and gentlemen, Natasha Wilson joining us on TTT and broadcasting to the world. It's still sweet, tell me, it's still sweet. Yes, yeah, still sweet. I don't care what nobody say. This is my country, and I'll represent till the end. And we appreciate it so very much. Happy Carnival from Natasha Wilson to you. Yeah, man, blessings. Oh goodness, we celebrating Carnival 2024. Good morning, my brother. Hi, good man. How are you going? Well, good. One of our masqueraders just got proposed to. Uh huh. Who got proposed? Now. Is you get proposed to? Oh, she coming here, oh, here just now? Uh, the, apparently, find love on the road for Carnival as well. Oh, Jesus and ages. Oh, gosh. Look the couple. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. It's Carnival. I love it too bad. I don't even know what to do again. We I don't love even. Carnival. We could... love Carnival. Carnival, you love Carnival, we all love Carnival. Let me talk a little bit about love here. We have a couple who got... Y'all just, did he just propose to you? Come, come, I need to hear the story. Tell, I don't want to talk to you. Tell me how the experience was for you. I was shocked, I couldn't stop crying. <laughs> oh my goodness, where did he do it? Right in the middle of the stage. In the middle of the stage? Yes. What gave you the idea to do that, sir? It's my first Carnival, so I figured I got to do it with some, you know, it was great. And a definitely a memorable carnival. How long have you guys been together? Ten years. Ten years. And it takes so long? Listen, it, was, it was a high school sweetheart, so... Wow. But you needed the perfect place to do it, and it's your first time in carnival, so this is the perfect time to do it, yeah? yeah. How are you enjoying playing Master of with paparazzi? Amazing. I love them. So you're coming back next year? Yes, every year. Every year. Are you, you, you getting, you're doing your wedding in Trinidad too? Maybe. We, we, have, to, Tobago. we have to... Oh, Tobago is definitely space. Enjoy the rest of the carnival. Congratulations, guys. Thank you, thank you. Freaks mass. Freaks mass and paparazzi. That's what we're talking about. Enjoy the carnival. Blessings. We say enough blessings to you. I want to get on your show. You want to get on which show? This show here. This show here? Well, you're on. Well, you know. Ask me. <laughs> Ask me what you say. I want to come. Why you want to come? Boy, if you wouldn't believe me, it's the first time I ever crossed over the stage in my whole life. And how it feel? Boy, I play mass next year. <laughs> I what I tell you? Playing mass next year. The bug bite him. All he needed was one one cross across the stage and he bug bite him. Perform on the stage, you know, in a comedy fest here. Yeah. I never come in tongue. For well, nice. I'm glad you enjoy it. Rockers. Rockers. You, you don't even know who I is, but you want to come on my show? What is this show called? But you and easy. You can ask to come on the show, you don't even know who this is? You could be on Sagrati. You're live. You're live right now on TTT. Oh, nice. Well, hello, hello, Trinidad and Tobago. Blessings. The whole world watching. We give thanks and praises. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live at the Queen's Park Savannah. All the action is happening right here on the Savannah stage, the main stage where the mecca of carnival is. Sweet Trinidad and Tobago Carnival 2024 in full swing. We're going to take a quick one and come back with more right here. Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. No one for laughs, my dear. They said, Tommy Joseph, what is the difference between a hurricane and your ex-wife? I said, there's no difference. All of them must take the damn house. 
With Captain Barry and crew, the Caribbean Princess of Comedy, Margaret, and the Caribbean Prince of Comedy, Ronald. From Philadelphia, USA, the Quiet Prince, Granny X coming over the fence in South Madman Clevis, and performing as a cow for 2024, Nuts Landing, Farid Ali, Dan Diman, and more. Come laugh, laugh with over 15 comedy entertainers. Grand opening Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, Rights and Road, 8 p.m. and Sunday, 18. February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. This is Bass, and you see me, I'll be opening up for the World Laugh Festival. All your command laugh, all your belly full, all weekend. Now this is it. Boss, you drink, so you can drive. Full stop, you playing it smart this carnival. Get a designated driver, call a taxi, or call a friend. Rum and road don't mix. Drive smart to be safe this carnival. This is Eddie Charles. Now this is the part when we back and start. We playing it smart. This is a euphoric feeling. Oh, I've got this feeling to high five the sun, dance in the rain. And have my scoop of fun I'm on my way To flavor my day With something new And I've got room for you Let loose and live a little Get close and share a little Join new Creamery Novelties. Live a little. Like many others trying to save on Carnival, Gabby thought she should go Done. for 50% off makeup. What about the other side? Well, Daisy 50% off of her. So, you know. You know? No makeup artist we don't know. What we do know is the savviest savings for Carnival are at KFC. Get a Jab Jab box. One piece chicken, one regular fries, and a biscuit for only $25. There is something about Arriving at the savannah and getting to the truck, it's dusty, it's full of people, you see people that you haven't seen in years, and then you see a band. Steel Pan is very much about the community that brings it along, right? And it is a deep honor to be able to push your band onto the stage. When you get to the where the stage, where you're going up onto the stage, and you know, like everybody starts to run because you have to get some momentum to push this track up onto the stage. And it's like your whole community is coming with you. And you know, that, that emotion of seeing everybody putting their strength into getting their band to go on the stage, to play their hearts out. And it's like little children and old people and middle-sized people and somebody who just find their first love. And you know, like all of these people in this community and then the whole community behind them coming that is what pan is it's your whole world your whole world just coming with you to say yes these are our stars they're going to be on stage for us and they're going to play their hearts out for us for seven minutes and then the police will come and rough them up and tell them to go and then the whole thing is get stupid Right, but if we really understood the power of a community and the power of a steel man as a galvanizer of a community, then you know we could really transform our society. We really could.
a parade of the bands brought to you by Digicel Better Connected This Carnival Samaru's, the international carnival supplier since 1949 White Oak, for the culture Blue Waters, fed responsibly Stamina Energy, fuel your carnival with Stamina Energy Sunshine Snacks, snack under the sun Tattle, where people are people KFC, it's finger licking good Carmino Properties International Limited Punchy Punch, your carnival pumping fuel Creamery Novelties, live a little sides across the stage for today. Their portrayal, Mars and Powder and Pan and Kaiso. And we see them chipping along to the beautiful sounds of steel from the Exodus Steel Orchestra, Republic Bank Exodus. And in true fancy sailor style, they have the powder all over the stage. They're chipping down the road in fine style and doing so to the beautiful sound of the national instrument. Let me see if I can get a bit closer so you can get to hear the national instrument.
thank Republic Bank Exodus for their presentation, Mass and Powder and Pan and Kaiso. And for their live steel band music, thank you very much. As we get ready now for our next large band, we get ready to welcome on stage Hearts Carnival in the fantasy category with their presentation, Love Fest. can drive full stop playing it smart this carnival get a designated driver call a taxi or call a friend rum and road don't mix drive smart to be safe this carnival this is any chance now this is the part when the back and start we playing it smart this is a euphoric feeling When Carnival is done, it's time to laugh. Randy Glasgow Productions presents a Valentine's gift to the nation. Two persons on one ticket for the annual Alternative After Carnival Festival. Featuring the funniest legends and the new stars in the battle of the generation. Three shows only. Friday, February 16th at 7 from 8 p.m. Saturday, February 17th from 8 p.m. And on Sunday, the 18th of February from 6 p.m. Napa in Port of Spain. Get your two persons on one ticket today before they're all gone at advertised outlets only. Single tickets are also available. For more information, call the 24-hour hotline at 774-5555. The alternative after Carnival Festival with all the bacchanal and confusion you want February 16th at Sapa, February 17th and the 18th, Napa in Port of Spain. your carnival with stamina energy and rise to any occasion pump and lime all season long because this carnival you need stamina with caribbean airlines is a flight full of love come on board our plane fly with the stars up above any destination is a celebration welcome home with caribbean airlines we fly at night or morning Yeah. 
Present a Valentine's gift to the nation. Two persons on one ticket for the annual Alternative After Carnival Festival. Featuring the funniest legends and the new stars in the battle of the generation. Three shows only. Friday, February 16th at 7 from 8 p.m. Saturday, February 17th from 8 p.m. And on Sunday, the 18th of February from 6 p.m. Napa in Port of Spain. Get your two persons on one ticket today. Before they're all gone. At advertised outlets only. Single tickets are also available. For more information, call the 24-hour hotline at 774-5555. The alternative after Carnival Festival. With all the back and up and confusion you want, February 16th at Zappa, February 17th and the 18th, Napa in Port of Spain. Senior Parade of the Bands, brought to you by Digicel Better Connected This Carnival, Samaru's, the international carnival supplier since 1949, White Oak, for the culture, Blue Waters, Fet Responsibly, Stamina Energy, fuel your carnival with Stamina Energy, Sunshine Snacks, Snack Under the Sun, Tattle, where people are people, KFC, it's finger licking good, Carmino Properties International Limited, Punchy Punch, your carnival pumping fuel, Creamery Novelties, live a little. Carnival 2024, they're live on stage right now. They are presenting the Love Fest. We see lots of bright colors, we see lots of feathers, lots of beads, and not a section in sight. Everybody just jumbled together as one. And I love it because it's just pure energy and pure vibe here at the Queen's Park Savannah. And we've heard actually the, the both songs that are competing well. Two of the songs. This is the second one. We've heard DNA. We heard Carnival Contract. We also heard Kiss Miracle a little while ago. So, lots of competition as far as the road march is concerned. However, one thing is for certain no matter what song plays here on the road, Carnival Tuesday, on the stage, Carnival Tuesday, the masqueraders are having. Oh, this one is brand new. The first time we're hearing for the day. Nyla Blackman and Lyrical. Best self. And the love fest bless the stage.
They're presenting Love Fest for 2024. Hearts Carnival. And oh my goodness, just people having themselves a grand time. Love to see it. I cannot tell you which section is which section because everything just all seems like one big kalaloo and it's love fest. The love is coming from all angles, every single way. We appreciate it so very much. Oh, we get to see a beautiful display of mass color. presentation love fest lg414 thank you very much hearts carnival as we continue with our senior parade of demands on this day two carnival tuesday in tnt once again we acknowledge the folks who are locked on via the www those of you who are just joining us Right here at the Queen's Park Savannah. We welcome you as well as we get ready to welcome on stage MN452. MN452. Clowns and tongue in the traditional category. Their presentation Soka N with DNA. MN452. They're coming on stage. The band Clowns and Tongue in the traditional category Soka N with DNA. Thank <laughs> you. 
just want to continue to acknowledge the Trinidad and Tobago Carnival National Association and the National Carnival Commission, of course, for making it, of course, as soon as possible. Thank you so much, NCC and TTCBA. Coming onto the stage, we have a mini band, the MN452, Clowns and Tongue in the traditional category. When we know silence is an ocean of love. Their presentation we align up to the stars up above. Soka and we DNA. Take a chance now. So if you are listening via the www, you still have time to make your way down at the Savannah. We have a lot more bands to go, but at this time we welcome the mini folks, MN452, Clowns in Town. The traditional category, the presentation, Soka in the DNA. Fly away, fall. Mama come in on my room, and me fly away, jazz. Me say, come, 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 dash. I me say, come, 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 dash. I me say, come, 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 come. When we on silence, it's an ocean of love. All that we align up to the stars up above. Let we dance now. Take a chance now. Fly away, fall. Mama come in on my room, and me fly away, jazz. Me say, come, 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 come dash. Yes. I me say, come, 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 come dash. Yes. I me say, come, 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 come,
party done? Why the party done? We go turn up the place and done. We go mash up the place and turn up the place and flatten the place and done. We go mash up the place and turn up the place and wine and somebody girl. We go mash up the place and turn up the place and flatten the place and done. We go mash up the place and turn up the place and wine and somebody girl. Well, thank you very much, Counts and Chong. Let's put our hands together for the band competing in the traditional category. The presentation, Soka in We DNA. And so we get ready to bring to you a band competing in the large category. Registration LG415, LG415. This is the Lost Tribe in the creative category. Their presentation, Fly. LG415, the Lost Tribe in the creative category. The presentation, Fly. The Lost Tribe 2024. On stage right now, Lost Tribe 2024 doing their presentation, Fly. And you know Lost Tribe every year, they come in to do a, a little introduction before the actual sections and the band is displayed. And this year is no different. We see them flapping around. Ah, we they get the sense of birds when it comes to Lost Tribe. Ladies and gentlemen, we are standing by because we also have to take a quick pause to be able to head to Playway, pick two and pick four. Uh, but we're going to still be live at the Queen's Park Savannah, so we'll probably come back and catch the rest of Lost Tribe once we can. I'm pretty sure they'll still be on stage after the Playway, pick two and pick four. But we're taking the rest of the presentation, then we take a quick break to head across to join NLCB. Also, when we come back, you're going to have new presenters. I want to say thanks to Little Bits for joining me this morning. I'm Rockers, wishing you all the best. Enjoy the rest of your Carnival Tuesday. Happy Carnival to each and every one of you. Coming up after the Playway Pick 2 and Pick 4, uh, Paul Richards is on standby, and so is Judith Laird. So we say, enjoy the rest of your Carnival. Be safe. Take care.
Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And the Bacchanal continues Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Hear the Bacchanal with Granny X coming over the fence in South. Hear the controversy with the moving of the security booth in Bamboo. Who the hell you calling mad? Eh? I is not the man that the authorities tell me to move your security boot. <laughs> and I said, no. Next morning when I come back, it's flat on the ground. Hey, hey, where you come from? Don't blame me, you know. The authorities send my crew. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Croco say he has a massive bombshell to drop. This is Coco. I ready for him. Get ready for the World Laugh Festival. Yeah. Oh, take the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss Lady is 2024 and you're still accepting drinks from random strangers now. Drinking smart to avoid any chance of date rape. So drink smart to be safe. This carnival. We love to drink, 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 and party till the morning come. Whoa, but do it smart. Be drinking smart. But oh! Drink, 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 and party till the morning come. Yeah. What's wrong with the national minimum wage of Trinidad and Tobago has been increased to $20.50 per hour from January 1st, 2024. No worker, including migrant workers, should be paid less than this wage. Visit www.labor.gov.tt for more on the new national minimum wage. Contact the Labor Inspectorate Unit of the Ministry of Labor for more information. Don't drink and drive. The wait is over. Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. No one for laughs, my dear. They said, Tommy Joseph, what is the difference between a hurricane and your ex wife? I said, there's no difference. All of them must take the damn house. With Captain Barry and crew, the Caribbean Princess of Comedy, Margaret, and the Caribbean Prince of Comedy, Ronald. From Philadelphia, USA, the Quiet Prince, Granny X coming over the fence in South, Madman Clevis, and performing as a cow for 2024, Nuts Landing, Farid Ali, Dan Diman, and more. Come laugh, laugh with over 15 comedy entertainers. Grand opening Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, Rights and Road, 8 p.m., and Sunday, 8 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. This is Bass, and you see me, I'll be opening up for the World Laugh Festival. All you come and laugh, all your belly full, all weekend. 50 by 20, 50 by 25. This is Kyron Pollard. When you play, do it the legal way. Don't bet on illegal gaming. Now you can win and drive when you play Win for Life. Your $10 Win for Life bet automatically gives you a chance to win a brand new Suzuki Vitara. That's right. Now you can play once for a chance to win twice. Just match your six Win for Life numbers to the six Win and Drive numbers to win. The Win and Drive draw takes place right after the Win for Life draw every Tuesday and Friday at 7 p.m. Play Win for Life to win and drive today. Players must be 18 years and over. Please play responsibly. Welcome to this afternoon's Playway Pick 2 and Pick 4 Draw, supervised by independent auditors KPMG and presided over by the National Lottery's Control Board. Good luck, everyone. Good afternoon. Here's wishing Trinidad and Tobago a happy and a safe Carnival 2024. Welcome to the NLCB's Playway Pick 2 and Pick 4 Draw, as well as our Playway Bacchanal Draw promotion for Tuesday, 13th February 2024. 
We begin with our Bacchanal draw promotion. There are two white balls and a golden Bacchanal ball in the machine. And if you have wagered on at least one Mega Mix option and the Bacchanal ball calls, you can win $30 for every $1 played on the base, $90 with the Mega Ball, $110 with the Mega Ultra, and $135 with the Mega Extreme. And players, a white ball has called. Keep on trying. Remember, you can win more when the Bacchanal ball calls. Now for our winning playway number. And the winning number is seven. The lucky mark is hog. That number is seven. The lucky mark is hog. Players, now it's time for your chance at higher Mega Mix winnings. Remember, Mega Mix options cost an additional one dollar each. And the Mega Ball called. And the Mega Extreme Ball called. Players, playway number seven. The Mark Hogg has called with the Mega Ball and the Mega Extreme Ball. Remember, you can win more when the back and our ball calls. Next, we'll draw our winning pick two numbers. The first pick two number is 25, that's 25. And the second pick two number is 10, that's 10. This afternoon's pick two numbers are 25 and 10 in that order. Our pick two mega machine is preloaded with our mega ball and two white balls for our pick two mega to the max draw. And if the white ball calls, there'll be no extra payout. Once players wager a minimum of $5 on the mega ball, they will win the original prize of $2,000 plus the promotional prize of $6,000 for matching two numbers in the correct order. Players pick two numbers, 25 and 10, in that order have called with a white ball. Keep on playing. Remember, you have a one in three chance of a mega payout. Now for our pick four numbers. The first pick four number is four. That number again is four. The second pick four number is one. That number again is one. The third pick four number is zero. That number again is zero. The fourth and final pick four number is six. That's six. I'll repeat this afternoon's winning pick four numbers are four, one, zero, and six in that order. Congratulations to all winners. Players, you deserve a win. You can play once for a chance to win twice with the added win and drive promotion. Your win for life bet automatically gives you a chance to drive off with a Suzuki Vitara for no extra cost. The win and drive draw takes place immediately after the win for life draw tonight at 7. Get your win for life tickets to win and drive today. Are you looking for instant winnings? Add instant win to your cash bot bet for your chance to win on the spot. To date, 896,442 players have won $14,600,000 in cash bot instant win prizes. And congratulations to yesterday's two lucky players. They each won $53,134. Thank you for joining us and do so again at 4 p.m. for another Playway Pick 2 and Pick 4 draw. The wait is over. Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And the Bacchanal continues. Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Hear the Bacchanal with Granny X coming over the fence in South. Hear the controversy with the moving of the security booth in Bamboo. Who the hell you calling, man? Huh? I is not the man that the authorities tell me to move your security boot. <laughs> and I said, no, 
the next morning when I come back, it's flat on the ground. Hey, hey, where you come from? Don't blame me, you know. The authority sent my crew. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Croco say he has a massive bombshell to drop. This is Croco. I ready for him. Get ready for the World Laugh Festival. Designate. Don't drink and drive. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, delicious. La 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 la. Delicious snack is plant protein packed. It's baked and healthy. Yeah. To flavor, Zelish, level up your snack. Trinidad and Tobago, since we first met, you knew it was love at first sight. We value and cherish the same things. We promised you the country's widest and most affordable mobile network. And we've kept that promise to you, our greatest supporter. We've grown your trust by ensuring you're always connected. From TNT's first fiber to the home network, to true 4G LTE connectivity nationwide and all for you. No matter how far you roam, no matter how you choose to be connected, Digicel is always close by. Building a foundation or even when it's just to say, What's it saying? You put on real weed, boy. I am so proud of you. As our network has grown, so has our offering to you. And we've always invested in you. That's why our greatest achievement will always be you, our customer. Digicel, we're better together. Like many others trying to save on Carnival, Gabby thought she should go Done. for 50% off makeup. What about the other side? Well, Daisy 50% off of her. So, you know, you know? No makeup artist we don't know. What we do know is the savviest savings for Carnival are at KFC. Get a Chap Chap box, one piece chicken, one regular fries, and a biscuit for only $25. Everybody only worrying, worrying. Never ever worry. Don't mind how things looking hard. I tell them never ever worry. If your eyes can't get damaged bad. I tell them never ever worry. What I'm saying is true. So just consider, Tattle is always right here for you. I tell them never ever worry. Don't mind if life make you sad. I tell them never ever worry. If your house gets flooded out real bad. I tell them never ever worry. What I'm saying is true. So just consider, Tattle will always be here for you. Never worry, never worry about a thing. Tattle, where people are people. You know what I mean.
Good afternoon and welcome once again to live coverage of Parade of the Bands Carnival Tuesday right here on TTT. The mask, the pan, the music, the calypso, the soca, the chutney, and the creativity of the costumes of the big bands all exploding onto the streets of Trinidad Tobago. And we are at the epicenter, the Queen's Park Savannah, where Lost Tribe is making its presence felt. Good afternoon, Judith Baird. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What a wonderful Carnival 2024 we've had. We're now, as you say, at the height of it. We've gone through the Dimash Gra. So we're going to tell you the story as we reach the high point of the whole exercise. The story was that we started on Dimash Gra, which is Fat Sunday, and that we moved to the proclamation for Juve. They opened. Then, Tuesday, Carnival Tuesday, the height of the exercise, and this is Shrove Tuesday. Again, because we followed the Catholic uh, pantheon religion, it means that Shrove Tuesday takes us into the period of fasting. So we want you to really enjoy this part of it because it's like almost last lap. It's the course. climax of it all. Yeah. And of course, you're seeing the color exploding onto the screens taking you around the world. Of course, let's say good afternoon to our viewers in the UK, in the US, in Australia, all around the world, taking in Trinidad Tobago Carnival, the greatest show on earth, all the spectacle, all the color, all the vibrancy, and this is Lost Tribe. And of course, the music has been pumping all day long through yesterday. It's a very close race for the road march, Judith. We, we see a, a lot, heard a lot of our DNA yesterday, but today, it seems the bigger bands have been cho choosing Bungie Gardens Carnival contract a lot. And we see a lot of the metamorphosis of Carnival here. All the pageantry we're witnessing. So from the floats to, uh, you know, Strasa with Selmas, we come to this really inebriating festival that we have arrived at all over Trinidad and Tobago. But here, we have the Mecca in Port of Spain. And of course, we've seen many big bands cross over the stage, the Queen's Park Savannah stage and other venues. In fact, in terms of the Savannah, we've seen Ronnie and Carol, we've seen a Yuma Pass, Paparazzi Carnival, we saw Hearts a short while ago, Belmont Exotic Stylish Sailors, we saw Exodus Steel Orchestra, and of course, now on stage is, of course, a, a band that's been able to establish itself quite profoundly in the carnival. The Lost Tribe, Fly 2024. I think you missed Marshall Montano. I was just pointing him out to you on screen. Oh, he was on screen. Well, he, he, he has a right to enjoy himself now. He's done what I think no other person has been able to do. Uh, win Young Kings, win several road match titles, and win... Ca Calypso Monarch uh, on that kind of a Sunday night. So congratulations to Marshall. Really an over, uh, um, you know, absolute achievements we have from Marshall. Uh, it's like, you know, his second name is Jesus. Well, yeah. Jesus. So here well, we go, the prophetic. Very prophetic. And we're seeing all the beauty and the color of the Lost Tribe, which they are known for. You're seeing this section with uh, a myriad of colors, a kaleidoscope, as it were, and a very washerwoman-like uh, costumes, Judith. I love the textures that we're seeing. So, in addition to the color, we have tapestry. We have really beautiful textures that they're creating here. And really catching the sunlight brilliantly here at the Queen's Park Savannah. The, the, the number of colors that they've been able to put into those costumes and different types of uh, textures, as you, as you mentioned earlier on. Of and course, of all of the bands uh, in the tribe of bands, uh, Lost Tribe is the one that has the most beautiful costuming and so on. It's just but different. I, th I think the tribe, the tribe band as a whole has been able to, to cater to a diverse uh, audience demographic. There, there are some who do the, the, the very uh, minimalist approach, and then there are some who, who choose Lost Tribe.
who choose the full costume range. And, and that's what we were saying yesterday. Carnival has evolved into a way that there's so many different options to so many different people. There's the traditional masks, the individuals. You have the, the, the minimalist approach where we see the bees and the feathers. And of course, we have the Lost Tribe. And we saw K2K earlier on, which was a fantastic presentation. Yes, and of course, we have uh, the floor people. Um, the, uh, and the prelude, and there's a whole story that all the bands uh, tell as part of the carnival parade of bands here on beautiful Tuesday afternoon. Parade of bands, carnival 2024, and we are seeing Try. And this section is called Bread of Paradise, and you can actually see the very stylized wings on the shoulders of the masqueraders, some on their back pieces. They portrayed some of them like kites, which is rather yeah. nice. I'm not seeing too much sectionized, sectionizing here. They're, they're kind of intermingling between sections. But they had a really wonderful opening presentation with some scarlet hibis like creatures and a really well choreographed opening for Tribe, Lost Tribe here at the Queen's Park Savannah this Carnival Tuesday. It is an absolutely beautiful day. I dare say very hot. So One the people of the around the world. One of the wonderful things about Tribe is the juxtaposition of colors. They're really, really good at that so that you have patchwork and all of those kind of textures all bouncing into one another. That's the spirit of carnival. They've waited all year for this, all year. We've been fretting for weeks, and now it's on to the streets in full costume. bands are uh, now offered under Dean Ackham's banner uh, an experience. So in addition to the mask that they play, the masquerade, they offer you a complete experience. And that's what the good thing about uh, Carnival and especially Tribe is about. You can get any kind of experience you want. In, in, in this kind of band. Yeah, the thing is that the experience includes the beautiful mass that they play, uh, not just the food and drink. I think the combination of the whole thing is the space to play a mass. And? So this is the Lost Tribe. Valmiki Maharaj was uh, close by a while ago, but I think he went, went into the band to enjoy himself after all the hard work, months of hard work, because I just imagine the kind of preparation that goes into creating a band like this, Judith, and getting the designs done, and then getting the prototypes done, and then actually getting the costumes finished. And of course, you've just seen The Lost Tribe. A wonderful presentation of brilliant designs and a number of sections are making their way across the Queen's Park Savannah stage. Judith, what did you think? I thought it was wonderful. And one of the things that we have to recognize is that when you move a vast number of people across the stage, you know, you have to think of all the things like security, which they, I mean, Tribe has tribe, overall tribe, and particularly lost tribe that was before us, has a very 
um, specific kind of security. And though people may criticize it and say that we've gone back to the rope and so on, there's a certain discipline and a certain protection that the security allows, um, particularly in bands where you have predominantly women. Uh, <laughs> you know, we do need to take cognizance of that. In addition to which, the band is putting on a presentation. So there's a certain order that's required. Uh, coming up right after Love Child will be the Moko uh, Somokau. We're seeing some uh, characters on stage right now making the their jabs. way for us. The jabs. The jabs. That we talked about at length yesterday, or originally from Tad Paro. I, I can't say this group um, where they're from, but we spoke to the um, whole excellence of using the whip and uh, what beauty. So before us, we have a new band. The band oh, is called Moko Somokau. And of course, uh, in heaven, as it is on earth, a Bible quotation there, designer Alan, Alan Dunk Vaughan. Alan Vaughan. Well, you're uh, in for a treat, Trinidad and Tobago and the world, because this is a Moko Jumbi band. And they're all on stilts, in other words. And they are professional walkers. And uh, the heaven on earth celebrates the life of uh, two of the masqueraders that they lost, two Moko Jumbi people. And, um, you know, so it's very tragically happened, but um, we grow with the flow, and um, the Moko Jumbies have now come into their own. Of course, the original concept of the Moko Jumbi came out of the African continent, Ghana and Nigeria and so on, and they look after. That's why they're on stilts. They are the Moko, uh, which is the god that protects and that looks after the, everyone. And originally in Trinidad and Tobago, the stilts were painted, i.e. the legs of, the, of, of what they walk on. And uh, they used to go to all the stores along Frederick Street, for example, where we had balconies and so on. And there's still vestiges of that there. Um, so let's enjoy this beautiful band, Mokos, and the, uh, the Jumbi, the whole Moko Jumbi concept has really, as I said, come back into its own. We have them participating on individuals and kings and queens, rather beautiful. We have Miss Bizanz, who uh, in fact caught the prize of um, when she was pregnant also. Um, I think it was Pregnant Carnival and walking and still? Yes. I think it was Carnival 2022. There's such a, an impactful presentation, uh, this, this band, the Moko Somokau. And, you, and, and I've seen quite a number of people take to going to actually learn to walk on the stilts uh, just before Carnival and, and other times of the year. But they are clearly professionals at it and they're, they're able to, to, in addition to walk on the stilts, carry these beautiful costumes, which because of the height they're on, they, 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 they are able to tower to... Uh, are able to make such an impact in any arena that they enter. It's interesting that also that originally the Moko Jumbies were accompanied by triangles and that kind of percussive music. Uh, now, um, without the joy of the, of, the, of, of the music behind us, um, they just do their thing, you know? Um, I think it's such an extension to life. Uh, we, we go from the scale of uh, the human scale and we just move it up so that they, they can see an, uh, a really bird's eye view of what's happening and then engage the public as well, which they're really good at. Uh, they learn how to dance and very specific attributes that they have. Of course, uh, they, they also have young people. Originally, I don't remember if I'd said it, but Moko Jumbies were only played by men. Now men and women participate. And this particular group comes from a particular workshop and so on that they practice year round and involved in a lot of community things. According to one source I'm reading, the Moko is the Orisha god of retribution. Correct. Uh, the Tim Jumbie was added post-slavery. The Moko Jumbie was regarded as a protector whose towering height made it easier to see evil before ordinary men. As masqueraders, the characters make long strides and are able to go as high as 10 to 15 feet in height in some Correct. instances. 
And it's interesting how we have adopted these kinds of um, pockets of mass from different continents. So the indentured laborers would have brought things, the ex-slaves and Africans would have brought their particular um, beliefs. Well, it just goes to show culture is intrinsic to any people. And even though you remove people across vast oceans, they will carry elements and, and, and a profound amount of themselves in their culture and art and creativity. So that's what we're seeing here from the African continent coming into the mass as it were. As you were saying yesterday, Judith, a lot of what we're seeing uh, in terms of mass characters and portrayals actually have specific purposes in life. Correct. And, and these were, the, from, from that God that you uh, so mentioned, they looked after the village. Um, the health, um, if, we, if we go back to different pockets in Trinidad and Tobago, that was part of their whole origin. Uh, Maruga particularly, I remember that um, with Parniza and all of that, uh, Lancelot Lane was the first person that actually introduced me to that whole concept of the Moko, that god, looking after um, the this, villagers. This is such a stunning costume, and you're seeing such a variety of Moko Jambis are heavily costumed and people playing them wonderfully. This one in yellow, white, gold, with very uh, many reflective pieces, and small, smaller Moko Jambis and uh, people accompanying the, the main characters on stage, as it were. And that's an aspect that was always part of it, their pantheon as well. They always had what at that time were dwarfs that would be part of their presentations. Now look at this one uh, that was just on camera, two on camera now, the yellow, uh, the blue mocha jambi, and this very, very colorful one uh, with lots of red, white, and black in it. So they're making quite an impact here at the Queen's Park Savannah. This Carnival Tuesday, it's Parade of the Bands Carnival Tuesday, Trinidad Tobago Carnival at its best on a beautiful Carnival Tuesday in Trinidad and Tobago. I hope you had your pancakes, Paul. My pancakes, no, I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to keep my energy up, and you're seeing, you're seeing now white mocha jambis with some gold embellishments on them, so there's a, there's a, a progression of colors in the mocha jambi presentations. And remember, we're talking about heaven on earth. Um, which is the name of their presentation. So in terms of color, they would have selected what, um, you know, what represents peace and joy and different colors as they go through their presentation here at the Queen's Park Savannah. So is it that they walk on these stilts all kind of all day long or they take some breaks in between? No, they do it all, all day. Wow. So that takes some stamina and getting used to. And, uh, well, they, they, they just levitate as it were. I guess it becomes second nature after yes. a while. Yes, and they may lean on a wall or something. But uh, but they don't take come off the stilts because then it's a production to get back on the stilts, yeah. particularly with the costumes. Well, kudos to them. They're making quite an impact here at the Queen's Park Savannah. I see that the character, the cockerel from, ye from yesterday is on stage again. It's on screen. A band of about 30 masqueraders with about seven or eight main characters. Mm -hmm. Well, they're all main characters because they, they all contribute to um, this theme that they have selected this year. That's the other thing. They use their choice of fabric. is so wonderful, that diaphanous material that allows for the wind flow and everything. I was wondering, they, they were performing most of the time to, to more quiet, and now they've cranked up the music again. Well, that's nice, so that they enjoy some of the music to move much. This is Parade of the Bands, Carnival Tuesday, live from the Queen's Park Savannah. And my understanding is that the, the flow of, of uh, bands through this, the Port of Spain area in particular has been quite smooth today. Uh, kudos to the protective services out in all the numbers, the police officers, the fire officers, members of the Trinity Bigger Defense Force, all making it a very, very safe carnival in Trinidad. We're going to appreciate their work and their sacrifice. Now, remember, we have various venues. So some of the bands have elected to go elsewhere first and may or may not be able to get through to us when they're ready. Remember, there's the Soka drone now. Uh, which is not a judging point, but a lot of bands elect to just play their mass. And um, 
there is uh, the Greens, the Piccadilly Greens, and Downtown Carnival. And Adam Smith Square. And Adam Smith Square. Well, I don't think there actually is a, you know, maybe it's a judging point. I'm, I can't, um, I'm not sure about that. Uh, but the thing is that um, this is the main space. And that's the other thing about the carnival, that as it, as it has emerged, it's an urban thing. Um, so that's why we have these large bands parading in Port of Spain, as opposed to um, Miaro or anywhere like that. Carpa Chima, as I said, is, is really, really um, the space that you can find a lot of traditional masks. San Fernando is another point that you can enjoy Carnival. Uh, interesting enough, I saw quite a bit of the, the, the larger bands actually head to the Savannah first day. We've seen Ronnie and Carol pass through very, very early. We've seen Yuma pass through. We've seen Paparazzi Carnival. We saw Hearts pass a short while ago. Uh, Exodus Steel Orchestra made their presence felt. We saw The Lost Tribe uh, about 15 minutes ago. And now we're seeing the, the Mokos. Now, of course, are we seeing Not to forget. K2K. And K2K also. Yes. So those are all generally large bands. Yes. And they all made their way to the Queen's Park Savannah quite early and are no doubt going to the other judging points because those bands that we described or we, we identified are very competitive. They're very, they've done very well most of them over the years. So it'll be interesting to see how they do in terms of the presentation. But, but they, they're very elaborate in their choreography. And the, the ones that I've seen here since I've been here since about 11 this morning all put on fantastic shows here at the Queen's Park Savannah. And I want to believe we have Mardi Gras not too, not too far in the distant future. Of course, we have a traditional mass in front of us. I hope you're enjoying that part of the story as well. All the legends uh, that have now emerged as tradition. What's fantastic about the Queen's Park Savannah? The big and yard. The, the big yard, as it were, and the large stage, and the extremely large stage is that you see a variety of of types of, of portrayals coming over the Queen's Park Savannah, which is not one type of mass. It's, you get a sense of what mass is in Trinidad Tobago because all the different types of mass between Monday and Tuesday pass across the Queen's Park Savannah stage. So you get a, a, a taste of almost every type of creativity in the mass. Uh, genre in the mass area arena but it's interesting as we were talking about the carnival story monday which was originally old mass and so on as we move through juve uh you have a, a more subdued kind of mass and then on carnival tuesday in all their glory they come out with these wonderful costumes and they've worked on things from year to year you know um the, the George Baileys and uh, the Saldinas and so on used to use encyclopedias. Now we use Google to find what exactly we're looking for uh, in terms of themes, etc. So we're seeing Barclay Carnival Revolution, crab in a barrel. And uh, crab in a barrel is a colloquial phrase in Trinidad Tobago that, that depicts people, well, a group of people who should be working together. but. They, they, like they fight each other very much and live like crabs in a barrel, trying each trying to get on top of the other one and not working in concert with each other. So that's the general meaning of what crab in a barrel is a colloquial phrase means in Trinidad Tobago. Uh, I don't know if the Berkeley is, um, would it be Wayne? No, it's Berkeley. Yeah, yeah it's Berkeley. So. And they're in the mini band category, and we're seeing one of the characters. Ah, flame blowers. Blowing fire. The fire blowers or fire breathers, I think they're breathers, called. Yeah. Fire breathers, they call that. Which a is a band, very specific art. Do not try this at home. <laughs> it is a professional doing that. It can be very dangerous if you take, take it upon yourself to do that without being trained. Again, you know, that's part of the tradition that emerged from the uh, limbo um, when, when, and the fire eaters. There were a long time ago where they had part of the religion was the fire pass and so on that you would find in various parts of Trinidad uh, that would celebrate the, I think it's specifically towards the uh, Hindu population. And that fire pass 
has now emerged into um, another part of the culture which uh, the Paramount Blue Devils practice quite a lot. And what we saw just before the, the band is coming up on stage now is the Apache. But making their way across the stage now, of course, a Berkeley Carnival Revolution, Crab in a Barrel, in the mini band category. Let's take you stage side now for some music and Berkeley Carnival Revolution, Crab in a Barrel. category and their portrayal masquerade gala LG 466 reckless mass and their presentation masquerade gala together with LG 467 LG467, Mardi Gras TT, and their presentation, Cheers to Ted. And of course, uh, another band making its way on stage and presenting their banner to the judges here at the Queen's Park Savannah. Uh, Reckless Mass presenting Gala or Gala Festival. Let's see how this story unfolds. Well, an interesting character has made his way center stage now, almost like a, one of the children's characters in one of those children's television shows. Is it a, is it a, a rhinoceros or a dinosaur? <laughs> it looks like a very fun children's character, nonetheless. Gala Festival, presented by Reckless Mass as they explode onto the stage of the Queen's Park Savannah with national flags heralding the arrival of the band, which is such a beautiful sight in the sunlight. Yeah. 
at Carnival Tuesday here on stage, Reckless Mask presenting the Inner Festival. And we have with us on set Kelsey Gopal. Kelsey, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Happy Carnival to you. Same to you. How's it been going so far? It has been a very hectic season, but it's been an absolutely amazing and memorable season thus far. So this, both bands are part of Mardi Gras, explain yes. it to us. So the band originated as Mardi Gras TT, which was $1,000 all inclusive. And then we decided, you know what, people want more. People want more than just your regular bikinis. They want feathers. Everybody always wants feathers. So we decided to come about with a reckless mask. And now within reckless mask from the years, we've actually decided to incorporate something that's a little different. So see, now we are a band that's 40 people. We decided to bring the people to do, the, to do our bands, our sections first. So right now we have 12 sections with us, some of which are led by people that have been masqueraders with us over the years. And they thought they could bring something different to the table. So we have costumes that can basically fit anyone. We have costumes at everyone from different age groups and different demographics and whatever you like we have an option for you. So how long has Mardi Gras been doing mass, being mass, bringing mass bands in the country? Well, so this year is actually number 10. 10th year. So this is our big chance to 10 for Mardi Gras. So we have our 12 sections all representing something that would be associated with festivities and celebration of our 10 years on the road. Who are your designers for the band? Can you do Who are your designers for the band? There's too many for me to name, to be quite honest, but I am actually one of the designers myself. My section is Tequila Sunrise. Um, but we have, again, we have designers from all. So, so I guess it's like other bands where people have a section and they design for the section and come, come together under the overall banner of the band. Yeah, basically that's what we did, but we kind of did it a little more with like a more personal self. So our section leaders are more the ones that are in tune with their masqueraders. So they can know who is playing in their section and they can feel more at home and welcome because Mardi Gras is home. What are we seeing on screen right now? Currently, this is part of the Blue is Royalty, Royalty Mask. It has, it's one of our former masqueraders that now plays, that now has a section in the band. Um, people have loved the costumes, people have loved the colors, most important because Mardi Gras is colors. Reckless Mask is part of Mardi Gras, so we are all about color. And for this year, we actually introduced something new to the stage. It's called Carnival Crashers, which takes us back to the origins of Mardi Gras, which would be $1,000 all-inclusive. We're on the road, costume, music, food, the full work. And it has honestly had a pretty good response. Would you say that your band is going for competition? Because it seems like everybody is just having a great time and not really sexualized. I mean, normally we don't particularly come for the competition, but we are usually just here for the fun. We want everyone to come out and have fun, look good, feel their best. And that's what Mardi Gras has always been about. Well, now I should say Reckless Masters, Reckless Masters on stage. So it has transcended to our branch of band Reckless Masters. So the two bands are under the same banner of Mardi Gras. Correct. How yes. many masqueraders generally do you have? Normally we have between, over the years we've fluctuated in masqueraders, I won't lie. But this year it's a lot smaller, but it's a lot more personalized and we are hoping to rebuild and come back better than ever and have all our masqueraders just be happy, just, be, and just enjoy every minute of it and get everything that they want on the road. Everything they expect from us on the road, that's what we want to give them this day. So it's a fun band. Yes. All right, Kirsty, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful carnival. Be safe and enjoy. Can I just say something? Quickly? Absolutely. To all the Mardi Gras masqueraders that did not make it on the road with us this year, we want to say we made it. Cheers to 10. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a safe carnival. That was Kelsey Gopal from Mardi Gras and uh, Reckless Fantasy or Reckless Mask uh, presenting the Gala Festivals at the Queen's Park Savannah here for Carnival 2024. Let's go back to the stage and take in more of Mardi Gras 2024.
stage Mario Gun TT Chance to test Showcase it to the world The spectrum of Trouble Rainbow TNT Animal of 2024 comes in Carnival Tuesday here in Port Richmond with Judith there. Judith, we're getting quite an, eye, an eyeful. Yes. And we're joined by the Minister of Trade and Industry, my colleague, Minister Paula Gopi School, Minister School. Good afternoon, happy Carnival. Good afternoon and happy Carnival to all of Trinidad and Tobago. Good afternoon to you too. You look like you've been having a ball. I am. I've been here since morning. God has blessed us with a beautiful day. Two days. And I hope that it's study all through Trinidad and Tobago where there's community mass where there's community mass as well. What, who are you been playing with? Are you playing with a band or supporting a no, band? No, I'm not playing with a band. I'm not gonna tell you who I'm supporting. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> no. And that's why I'm gonna be short here. Gotta see spirit. Or spirit. So you you are associated with spirit. A lot of spirit. <laughs> Plus it's new. And new is always good. We have to break it up. There's too much of a monopoly in Carnival, and that's not good for the consumer. So I'm very happy that there's there are new bands on the horizon. But today has been beautiful, with small bands, micro bands, uh, traditional characters, uh, beautiful bars, uh, paparazzi was good, Carlo was great. Um, and of course, the, uh, a lot of people, Lost Tribe. Now I'm going to put you on the spot as Minister of Trade. I know we have a Minister of Tourism as your colleague. How important is Carnival as a product and a service that we can export? Oh, it's excellent. And I know that there are particular bands that I'm working all year. Ronnie and Carlo are exporting all year through. So they're so and they're, they're working. 365 days a year, and that's great. So they're exporting across the region and also to Miami as well. Minister and that's what we want. Minister, second Thank Wonderful. you very much. Have a happy carnival. Happy carnival. Wonderful. All right, let's take it back stage side now. Carnival 2024, live on TTT. Senior Parade of the Bands, brought to you by Digicel Better Connected This Carnival Samaru's, the international carnival supplier since 1949 White Oak, for the culture Blue Waters, fed responsibly Stamina Energy, fuel your carnival with Stamina Energy Sunshine Snacks, snack under the sun Tattle, where people are people KFC, it's finger licking good Carmino Properties International Limited Punchy Punch, your carnival pumping fuel Creamery Novelties, live a little Drink and drive. 
For all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One-stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuju Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. Telephone 638-0863 and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando. Telephone 657-0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949. Boss man, boss man, stop showing up all that cash by the bar. We moving smart this carnival. Don't make yourself an easy target. Use your head. Think smart to be safe this carnival. This is the fearless one. Let's go! Trinidad and Tobago, since we first met, you knew it was love at first sight. We value and cherish the same things. We promise you the country's widest and most affordable mobile network. And we've kept that promise to you, our greatest supporter. We've grown your trust by ensuring you're always connected. From TNT's first fiber to the home network, to true 4G LTE connectivity nationwide and all for you. No matter how far you roam, no matter how you choose to be connected, Digicel is always close by. Building a foundation or even when it's just to see. What's it saying? You put on real weed, boy. I am so proud of you. As our network has grown, so has our offering to you. And we've always invested in you. That's why our greatest achievement will always be you, our customer. Digicel, we're better together. On stage now, Spirit Mass, Kingdom of Spirit, a new band for Carnival 2024, I understand. And that's always a welcome uh, development with the band, that there are new people jumping in the play. And it seems to be quite a large band. Uh, for a debut band, I'm seeing a, a this pretty large for a debut band. Happily called Spirit, you have a lot of wings. And of course, uh, primarily women, women, carnival is women as they say. Women, women really get a chance to free up and uh, unshackle themselves from the burdens of everyday life and enjoy themselves as they so deserve. This is a uh, spirit mass, kingdom of the spirit. My understanding is that uh, one of the principles is Adrian School. Of course, you know, carnival is a leveler. A, a, a social leveler. And that's what we see here with the spirit of carnival. And that's always a good start to things that you begin your career of having a, a mass band with the spirit. So you have that energy and so on. But clearly this, this band, although it's a debut band as Spirit Mask, has had some experience in making costumes and, making, and being in band before. Because the intricacy of the costumes and how well they're made doesn't look like it's a debut band at all. It looks like a band that's been making masks for a number of years. So clearly they've, been, in, uh, they've encouraged a number of experienced people in the band to put together this, this magical presentation here today. Somebody, Spirit, somebody make some noise right now. Oh. One, one. 
One I can see is they want 1,500 people in this bag, so they may end up in the medium bag.
Like many others trying to save on Carnival, Gabby thought she should go Done. for 50% off makeup. What about the other side? Well, Daisy 50% off of her. So, you know. You know. No makeup artist we don't know. 
What we do know is the savviest savings for Carnival are at KFC. Get a Jab Jab box, one piece chicken, one regular fries, and a biscuit for only $25. The wait is over. Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. No one for laughs, my dear. They said, Tommy Joseph, what is the difference between a hurricane and your ex-wife? I said, there's no difference. All of them must take the damn house. With Captain Barry and crew, the Caribbean Princess of Comedy, Margaret, and the Caribbean Prince of Comedy, Ronald. From Philadelphia, USA, the Quiet Prince, Granny X coming over the fence in South, Madman Clevis, and performing as a cow for 2024, Nuts Landing, Farid Ali, Dan Diman, and more. Come laugh, laugh with over 15 comedy entertainers. Grand opening Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, Rights and Road, 8 p.m., and Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. This is Bass, and you see me, I'll be opening up for the World Laugh Festival. All your command laugh, all your belly full, all weekend. <laughs> And of course, you are live on TGT, Read of the Bands Carnival Tuesday. 
And of course, you are viewing now Image Nation Mask 2020 for their presentation called Juve. The band leader is Patrick Roberts, and we have with us on set Mr. Christopher Saldina. Chris, happy Saldina. carnival. Saldina? Yes, yes, it is. Right. Thank you for having me. Come from the old uh, legendary Saldinas. Yes. <laughs> Tobago Saldina. <laughs> All over Saldina. All over Saldina. <laughs> well, they're, they're legendary mask players. Uh, we have seen your band on stage now. Uh, Image Nation, uh, Juve. What, what's the presentation about? Okay, so Juve is that just not Juve where we have just the mud and paint. So it tells a story. So we have, well, Juve started with a revolution, so you'd have seen that earlier. And it went on to have resistance. Of course, you can have a religion without resistance. And everything else. We, we claim everything else for the Juve. We have rebirth. You were born, we were born after that. And it goes on. How long has the band been in, in existence? The, ba the first year we came out is 2007. Um, and since then, we've been doing a lot of stuff. We usually use a lot of recycled um, things. This year, we recycled denim. So oh, every section out there has an element of denim in it. So it's an eco-friendly band? Yes, very. You were the direct, one of the directors in the band. Yes. Who designed the band? Uh, Patrick Roberts. All right. Uh, what, is, what was that process like for you coming up with the concept for 2024? Uh, <laughs> what was the concept? Actually, he, we, he has bands designed for the, well, probably the next five years. He decided to do Juve this time. Um, I'm not going let to go, let loose what we're going to play next year, but trust me, it's going to be great. <laughs> so we're seeing the blue costumes on screen now. Yes. Uh, what section is this? Okay, so we're looking at uh, Renaissance. Renaissance? Renaissance, yes. Why Renaissance? Is this after Juve and, and Rebirth we have Renaissance? Re yes, exactly. So it's, so, not, so it's not Beyonce Renaissance? No, <laughs> <laughs> not at all. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, Curtis Noel actually here. He's one of the Blue Devils in the band. So he's one of, just, just one of the section leaders. Judith, what do you think about that? I mean, it's fantastic. I really would love an intervention. Patrick Roberts is one of uh, Trinidad and Tobago's best designers of masks, coming out originally of graphic design, etc. And so it's not a surprise to see this beautiful band, Juve, um, day opening and new life. And I think... Uh, that's what's so wonderful about the choice of colors, even. How many sections in the band, Christopher? Uh, eight sections. And if you, well, this, the, there was a big costume that just passed there. That's actually my costume. Mm -hmm. It's on arm, blue lyrical master. That, so, that uh, devil mask is, is so impactful. It's yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The devil is impactful. Yeah. And, well, the devil has been impactful for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not necessarily in a good way, but good, but good, good anyway. versus evil. Yes. Right. So, so and, and, and great movement there again. That's what Patrick is known for, to, the wings and that whole concept of yes. movement. So this is the section where this lady is in front of That's called rejuvenation. So, you know, after everything else, we rejuvenated. And you have some damn Lawrence in there too? Yes, definitely. Can't have you very without damn Lawrence. Well, we saw them on stage yesterday, didn't we, Judith? Yes, indeed. How come you changed the color? Uh, they're just... Add a little color to the, to the blue. <laughs> Great creative license. I like. Yes, yes. Right. <laughs> how many, how many masqueraders are, is the band boasting this year? Uh, just about two, 200, 250. So you're very small and manageable. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that the mini band category? No, medium sized band. Medium sized band. Yeah. Okay. I, I like the juxtaposition of the pink with the blue with the and blue, the light yes, blue. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's a very, very interesting band. Yeah. What, was, what was production like for the band? What's it? What was production like for the band oh, this year? Um, actually, we were quite, we were finished like, what, three weeks before Carnival? So it was just a matter of getting the costume sold, which we did. 60% uh, of the band this year is actually foreigners, or I should say... Non-nationals. Right. <laughs> yeah, or, so. or diaspora, or expats. Returning yeah. residents. Returning <laughs> residents. Yes, returning residents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who are actually posting pictures now because there's six feet of snow. <laughs> yep, Texas. New Jersey, and New Jersey, <laughs> and so, Jersey as well, and, and, yeah. Jersey, and, and rain in the UK, so we are blessed with brilliant sunshine. Yeah. Are you going to all the judging points for, for yes, presentation? Yeah. Well, except um, Piccadilly, mm -hmm. uh, for, for safety reasons, last year we had a, a traumatized time at there, not in the band itself, just before the band, so the players were traumatized, so we decided, look, we're not taking them through that again. So you've been, what, what are the uh, judging points have you been with? We've been downtown, and this is our, this is Savannah now. So Savannah now, yeah. and, and you're having a great time. Obviously. Yes, great time, great time. All right. So is that the essence of, of what Juve is about? The the enjoyment of the mass, as opposed to 
keeping focus on the costuming. Yes. Yeah, we, we and we wanted the, our mascot to be safe, you know, so if, that, if that's what it takes, well, you know. <laughs> and I like the fact that, you, as you mentioned earlier on, there's a level of recycling and, and eco-friendliness eco in the band with the, with the yeah. reuse of the denim yes. pieces. Over the years, we've been using a lot of stuff. We, at one time, we had used plastic spoons, clothes spoons. You, you name it, we did it. <laughs> so it's a, a band with a conscience. Yes. yes. Chris, for anything else you want to share with us before we let you go? Uh, even, even the hats, actually. If you look at the, uh, the men hats, you see these pieces of denim. Uh, that, that is a hat that I actually did. With just pieces of denim, right through. Wow. So, yeah. well, that's that's good. a particular skill. Yes. Right. <laughs> and great for the environment. Yes, exactly. All right. Tell me something. What is the financial commitment um, is it an all-inclusive band? It's all-inclusive. Um, one of the probably cheapest all-inclusive bands you could find. Uh, if, if I may, it was like twenty-five hundred dollars all-inclusive, inclusive of a Monday costume. Uh, we, we don't charge extra for Exxon. Um, I don't. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> well, good for you, Chris. All the best. Have a safe and happy time. Thank animal. you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, and you too. Be safe on your way home and everything else. Oh, Wonderful. That's Christopher Good Saldina, choice. Image yeah. Image Nation Mask 2024. The band is called Juve. Let's take you back to the stage now at the Queen's Park Savannah. <laughs> Every year we go hard like nails on the road with truck. We get a comeback with a swag. Turn up the brick and then I just mark that dick. Oh, and when you see us, we just fall.
numbers in the National Lottery online draws for Tuesday, 13th February 2024. At 10.30 a.m., play away the number 18, Waterboat. Pick two the numbers 21 and 7 in that order, Megaball called. Pick four the numbers 9, 2, 7 and 0 in that order. And at 1 p.m., play away the number 7, Hog. Megaball and the Mega Extreme Ball called. Pick two the numbers 25 and 10 in that order. Pick four the numbers 4, 1, 0 and 6 in that order. is done it's time to laugh randy glasgow productions present a valentine's gift to the nation two persons on one ticket for the annual alternative after carnival festival featuring the funniest legends and the new stars in the battle of the generation three shows only friday february 16th at 7 from 8 p.m saturday february 17th from 8 p.m and on sunday the 18th of february from 6 p.m napa in port of spain get your two persons on one ticket today before they're all gone at advertised outlets only single tickets are also available for more information call the 24-hour hotline at 774-5555. The alternative after Carnival Festival with all the bacchanal and confusion you want February 16th at Sapa, February 17th and the 18th, Napa in Port of Spain. your carnival with stamina energy and rise to any occasion pump and lime all season long because this carnival you need stamina oh i've got this feeling to high five the sun dance in the rain and have my scoop of fun i'm on my way to flavor my day with something new and i've got a room for let loose and live a little Get close and share a little Give in and taste a little You'll fall in love with creamery novelties Love life and live a little I Get close and share a little Give in and taste a little You'll fall in love with creamery novelties Enjoy new creamery novelties Live a little for all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One-stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuju Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. Telephone 638-0863 and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando. Telephone 657-0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949.
Designate. Don't drink and drive. Like many others trying to save on Carnival, Gabby thought she should go Done. for 50% off makeup. What about the other side? Well, Daisy 50% off of her. So, you know. You know? No makeup artist we don't know. What we do know is the savviest savings for Carnival are at KFC. Get a Chap Chap box, one piece chicken, one regular fries, and a biscuit for only $25. Welcome back. It's uh, Parade of the Bands Carnival Tuesday right here on TTT. And of course, we are at the epicenter, the Queen's Park Savannah, on a beautiful Carnival Tuesday. And uh, we're getting ready now for Showtime, presenting Tribes of the World. Of course, they're on stage. Another presentation starting off with Mokul Jambis on set with us is the PRO for the band, Sudaf Passat. Sudaf, uh, happy Carnival Tuesday to you. Happy Carnival to you as well, Paul, of course, to, to Judith Led. Happy Carnival to you and the entire TTT crew, to the entire Trinidad and Tobago and those who are looking to you in via the live streams of TTT beautiful coverage. How has it been so far for you and the band? It's been good. It's been a very, very blessed, you know, two days of Carnival, I must say. Um, yesterday, we, we had a very, very good turnout and very good reception at the various areas. Even though there were no official judging, but we still made sure to pass through those areas to present the mass to the people. And today, once again, we have passed through the various um, points of... of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of um, judging and stuff. Right, not only judging, but the points where people would have gathered along the, the major routes. So and you make sure and give the spectators a show. Of course, indeed, yes, because without the spectators, basically, it's missing something. It's an important ingredient. Yes, I'm, I'm so glad you're considering reintroducing that. Tell me something, do you have a team of designers? Um, we do have a team, but they come under the headline of the Showtime Design Team. And of course, Godfrey Enil, who is the founder and the leader of the band, he is one of the main designer producer, And they all work in tandem with Godfrey. As a matter of fact, if, I, if, if, if I'm a permitted to, Godfrey does in fact do some designs for a few of the other bands, I wouldn't call, but in terms of um, some of the, the apparels and so on, the design, he, he would do the production of those for some of the other major bands here in Trinidad and Tobago, as well as in the Caribbean and elsewhere. So that means via he has a separate an company. Focus. In terms of the production aspect, he has that. In terms of the creative aspect, that is what we are presenting today in terms of participation in the carnival of Trinidad and Tobago. Now, Showtime is presenting tribes of the world. Tell us what the concept is about and what we can expect in terms of sections. Well, what I can say, Paul, is that while population in some regions around the globe, um, they have been thrown apart by, by strife and conflicts, disputes, and so on, modern day warfare in, in, in a few areas. Showtime Carnival, we have chosen to demonstrate via our 2024 presentation how absolutely amazing it is or it can be when people of multitudinous tribes of the world, so to speak, because we do have people from different parts of the world playing with us as well as the various communities, even borderline communities, they are here with us in the band. When they congregate, uh, intermingle in joyful interactions, harmonious communion, eating, drinking, you know, laughing, dancing on the street, our sweet Twin Island Republic, you know, our music, the, the, the Calypso, the Soka, the Tassa, the Chutney Rhythms and so on. It's really a beautiful, beautiful um, whining alongside each other, whining with each other, pulsating rhythms. You know, it's really a great experience. So what we try to do is to uh, make sure our masquerader experience is something that they would appreciate, they would enjoy. They will take back a, a, a lifetime of memory. Some will come back uh, to play with us, as they often do. And others, if for some reason or the other they can't, you know, they will spread the word of they themselves, you know, will cherish that memory. So you have Lineup Judah, you have Sue, you have uh, Cacao, you have Nubians, Mohicans, Amazonians, Maasai, Mayan Kingdom, and Arawaks, all in one band. All in one band. So it shows that where the tribes of the world 
symbolically, they can come together and they could really enjoy an experience of peace and love and unity and happiness and dance and laugh and enjoy this beautiful atmosphere in Trinidad and Tobago. Enjoy the culture that we present to the world, that we can share with the world. And notwithstanding, you know, some of the socioeconomic situation issues we may have in the country to show that there are a lot of positivity in Trinidad and Tobago. Well, let's take in some positivity on the screen right now on the stage. Certainly. This is Showtime, Tribes of the World.
eating, drinking, laughing, dancing on the streets. And of course, it's uh, TTT's live coverage of Raid of the Bands Carnival 2024. Now, we're standing by for Tribes of the World. Showtime 2024 on set with us is Mr. Sudath Prasad. He is the public relations officer, the PRO of the band. And of course, the band has 12 sections. Uh, we saw a small band across the stage. We weren't able to get the name, but now we're getting ready for Showtime on stage. 12 sections. Actually, uh, nine sections. Nine sections. Uh, so tell us about again about what we can expect to see as the band makes their presentation here at the Queen's Park Savannah. Well, certainly. Well, we'll have Lion of Judah. They, they, they will kick off the proceedings with us. And the Lion of Judah, they are widely regarded as a symbol of bravery, kinship, nobility, strength, and pride, and that African sovereignty. Um, it is commonly equated with the biblical verses in, uh, in, in the house of Judah, uh, the descendants of the house of Judah, including Judah himself, King David, King Solomon, and Jesus. Um, the Lion of G Judah is a prominent symbol and that represents Emperor Haile Selassie, as you know, Paul. And the Rastafari movement considers a biblical mention of the Lion of Judah in Genesis and Revelation um, to refer to Emperor Haile Selassie, Haile Selassie, um, Haile as a by Rastafari with the titles of King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Conquering Lion of Judah, Elect of, elect of God and the Light of the World. And it's only fitting, therefore, for Lion of Judah to ignite the stage via the utterly creative and captivating choreography that we're going to witness now, that we are so blessed to be so the, part of an the the Queen's Park. on stage with a, with a piece of choreography that you've... With a piece uh, of choreography. ...to introduce the band. Let's go stage side now to take that in. This is Showtime 2024, Tribes of the World.
Okay, uh, uh, Tribes of the World was uh, the band is Showtime, and you just saw the opening choreography and presentation of Lion of Judah. Now we're seeing the second section of Nine on stage, Sue. And Sue, that, what is Sue uh, depicting, of course, the legendary North American Indian tribe? Uh, yet. Well, yet even in the, in, in the fiercest storms, there is stillness in the heart of the Great Plains, where the wind whispers tales of buffalo hunts and whispered prayers as Sue stand tall. Their faces etched with the wi wisdom of the whispering grass. Their hairdressers adorned with the feathers of the mighty eagle. They move with the silent grace of the wolf. Their spirit as vast as the endless sky. And that is a Sioux. And we are, we are, we are also blessed to have the Mao brothers, twin brothers out of Kokorit and Brooklyn performing live. This is their song 2024. Find yourself in a band. So they are live with us. Uh, performing now on stage with an Antiguan song, Shres Dior. This is Showtime 2024, Tribes of the World. Let's take it back to the main stage of the Queen's Park Savannah for Showtime 2024. Of 
you are experiencing and enjoying the Showtime 2024 presentation, Tribes of the World, you just saw the blue section would have passed on your screens. They were cacao, and uh, we're now getting parts of Nubian uh, Suda. Yes, uh, just a brief, um, a, a brief uh, synopsis on cacao. Well, the cacao tribe is a fictional tribe that is often used to represent the ancient peoples of Mesoamerica who cultivated cocoa or cacao and the tribe is said to have originated in the Amazon rainforest and they credited right they are credited with developing the first chocolate beverages and let us go on to well actually this section we are Mohican so we are past Nubians as well so what we are seeing in front of us um, they are Mohicans and in the whispering forest of the east, where the moon paints the leaves of silver, the Mohicans emerge from the shadows, their faces painted with the bark of ancient trees, their bodies adorned with the feathers of the owl, they move with the stealth of the panther, their arrows whispering death through the moonlit air. And here we have them on stage, but it's all today a part of love and harmony, enjoying the sweet soca sounds, the pulsating rhythms of Trinidad and Tobago. So these are blue and uh, pink plumes are uh, from the Mohicans. Yes, certainly they are. We also see the banner in the background sometimes of the Amazonians. Yes, the Amazonas will they should be up next. This is in the large band category. It is uh, the large three band. Four thousand masqueraders. Yes, it is a large band. Last year, as a matter of fact, Showtime came third in the parade of bands, large band category. Congratulations on that. Are you looking at what's to improve on that this year? Oh, yes, certainly. And of course, the band primarily comprises females. Of most mass bands, females are the predominant mass Oh, band. yes, they are predominant. I would say females are probably 70 30, ratio 70 30 in our band, and most bands. Most bands. And it's important because you see, it's part of the the freedom of the of the of of, of the female and of femininity. You know, you could come and enjoy yourself. You know, back in, in the older days, it may not have been that way. And it's good that you know, carnival could 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 be uh, you know a medium through which the females can express themselves in their all their their their, 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 their glamour, and their beauty and splendor and creativity on the stages and the streets of Trinidad and Tobago and elsewhere. We're also expecting uh, we see the banner from Maasai, which is a legendary African tribe. Yes, Maasai. Now, but the rhythms changes again. A drum beat echoing across the sun-baked savannah, where the Maasai paint their bodies with the earth's okra and they dance with the fury of a thousand lions. These are the warriors of the red earth. Their spears tipped with fire, their shields emblazoned with the sun. They are the masters of the dance. Their steps, a whirlwind of dust and defiance. They would rather they sing dust in your face. There isn't much dust here now, but indeed there's still the Sahara dust that continues to blow across from the African continent into the Caribbean. We are, we are affected by it as well in Trinidad. So, so we're looking at our tribes of the world presentation from Showtime 2024. Let's take you back to the main stage of the Queen's Park Savannah. We're also expecting Mayan Kingdom and Arawak to grace the stage in a couple of minutes uh, under the overall banner of Showtime 2024 Tribes of the World. Back to the stage now, live at the Queen's Park Savannah. Our plane fly with the stars up above, and the destination is a celebration. Welcome home with Caribbean Airlines. We fly at night or morning. Look, we won't go sleeping. Everything you need on the part you're all right. Caribbean Airlines don't want no rival, so I feel like I fight the boat as well. Welcome home. Welcome home. I feel like a 
Western Airlines and with the NA. For all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One-stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuju Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway, telephone 638-0863, and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando, telephone 657-0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949. Don't drink and drive. Employers, there are fines for non-compliance with the minimum wage. You can be fined $15,000 for underpayment of the minimum wage failure to keep and maintain records with respect to minimum wage workers. Outstanding wages, overtime, public holiday, vacation leave, sick leave, no meal breaks, off days, or unauthorized deductions. Contact the Labor Inspectorate Unit of the Ministry of Labor for more information. Trinidad and Tobago, since we first met, you knew it was love at first sight. We value and cherish the same things. We promise you the country's widest and most affordable mobile network. And we've kept that promise to you, our greatest supporter. We've grown your trust by ensuring you're always connected. From TNT's first fiber to the home network, to true 4G LTE connectivity nationwide and all for you. No matter how far you roam, no matter how you choose to be connected, Digicel is always close by. Building a foundation or even when it's just to see. What's it saying? You put on real weed, boy. I am so proud of you. As our network has grown, so has our offering to you. And we've always invested in you. That's why our greatest achievement will always be you, our customer. Digicel, we're better together. Tribes of the world, we saw quite a number of our sections pass as we saw the Mayan Kingdom and the Sun Goddess of the Mayan Kingdom. What are we looking at here on stage now, Suda? Oh, well, coming up uh, after the section, we do have Maasai. That's a section on red that you'll see um, that blending in. They, they will fall in just about. We do have providing music, live music, live brass band on the road, road for Showtime Carnival. It's Eddie Charles and Traffic 2040. That's the new band from the old traffic, he has re-engaged some younger artists performing with him and this year he has had quite a number of engagements, Showtime being one of the major engagements for him. 
So what section is this? Uh, so this is Matai. Um, but the rhythm changes again and a drum beat echoing across the Sunday savannah where the Maasai paint their bodies with the earth's okra and dance with the fury of a thousand lions. These are the warriors of the red earth. Their spears chip with the fire. We had some of them might have gone before, but the Mayan, the red, uh, sorry, the, the Maasai, they're in red. Uh, the cameras might just focus, be focusing now on the section that's going ahead of them. Which would have been the Amazonas. And are the Amazonians the green and yellow costumes that we're we seeing the soldiers that's so right. fast? Okay. That's right. This is Showtime Carnival 2024, Tribes of the World. See that uh, your band looked very, very impressive. Uh, we want to wish you all the best for a safe and enjoyable rest of your Carnival Tuesday. And thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Judith. And thanks to the TTT crew for providing the great coverage that you all are doing for Trinidad and Tobago and the rest of the world, Carnival Coverage 2024. Our pleasure. Let's take you back to the excitement. Okay. For the strains of Showtime Carnival 2024, Tribes of the World. And of course, you're seeing the last masquerade is on the band Showtime or in the band Showtime for 2024. Tribe the world, we saw nine sections including Land of Judah, Sioux, uh, Cacao, Nubians, Mohicans, Amazonians, Maasai, and uh, the Mayan Kingdom. And also, uh, we saw the sun goddess of the Mayan Kingdom. Quite a bit of our energy being expelled there. Good time to take a sip of blue waters. Stay hydrated. <laughs> stay hydrated. Stay and of course, you must have your stamina drink to get you through the carnival season because it's a hectic season. And uh, although it culminates in carnival Monday and Tuesday, for those of you who are not familiar with Trinidad and Tobago carnival, we've been fretting for like six weeks now since Boxing Day. <laughs> 
So you got to build back. So you got to build back the energy and the stamina. And of course, you explode into the Carnival Weekend, starting with Carnival Friday, Fantastic Friday, into Pan Finals. Congratulations to all the, the winners and the, pan, and the panists and the participants. They're, they're two a tie for the winners, but of course, we have to congratulate all the panists and all the pan sides. Uh, Marshall Montano Cup, the Calypso Monarch title, and we congratulate all the panists in the Mastra and the Kings and Queens, and of course, we're seeing Parade of the Bands Carnival Monday and Tuesday, all brought to you by Blue Waters. Hydrate yourself and stamina. Uh, Julie, if you want some stamina, I oh, think yeah. you have, you know, I, I, have, I have think I have enough stamina, though. <laughs> you think you have I, enough I'm stamina? I'm going to stay hydrated. Well, I need some stamina. Wonderful. So. <laughs> all right. We are going to take you back to the stage. It's our Carnival Monday, Carnival Tuesday, sorry, live at the Queen's Park Savannah in the splendor of TNT Carnival, the greatest show on earth. Stay with us. Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And the Bacchanal continues. Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Hear the Bacchanal with Granny X coming over the fence in South. Hear the controversy with the moving of the security booth in Bamboo. Who the hell you calling, man? Huh? I is not the man that the authorities tell me to move your security boot. <laughs> and I said, no. Next morning when I come back, it's flat on the ground. Hey, hey, where you come from? Don't blame me, you know. The authorities send my crew. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Coco say he has a massive bombshell to drop. This is Coco. I already fall in. Get ready for the World Laugh Festival. Designate. Don't drink and drive. For all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One-stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuju Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. Telephone 638-0863 and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando. Telephone 657-0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949. your carnival with stamina energy and rise to any occasion pump and lime all season long because this carnival you need stamina everybody only worrying worry never ever worry don't mind no things looking hard i tell them never ever worry if your eyes can't get damaged bad i tell them never ever worry what i'm saying is true so just consider, Tattle is always right here for you. I tell them never ever worry, don't mind if life make you sad. I tell them never ever worry, if your house gets flooded out real bad. I tell them never ever worry, what I'm saying is true. So just consider, Tattle will always be here for you. Never worry, never worry about a thing. Tattle, where people are people. You know what I mean. Zellish, level up your snack. Designate. Don't drink.
drink and drive. The national minimum wage of Trinidad and Tobago has been increased to $20.50 per hour from January 1st, 2024. No worker, including migrant workers, should be paid less than this wage. Visit www.labor.gov.tt for more on the new national minimum wage. Contact the Labor Inspectorate Unit of the Ministry of Labor for more information. For all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One-stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuju Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. Telephone 638-0863 and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando. Telephone 657-0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949. Oh, I've got this feeling To high-five the sun Dance in the rain And have my scoop of fun I'm on my way To flavor my day With something new And I've got room for you Let loose and live a little Get close and share a little Give in and taste a little You'll fall in And share a little Give in and taste a little You'll fall in love with Creamery Novelties Enjoy new Creamery Novelties Live a little Trinidad and Tobago Since we first met You knew it was love at first sight We value and cherish the same things We promise you the country's widest and most affordable mobile network And we've kept that promise to you, our greatest supporter We've grown your trust by ensuring you're always connected From TNT's first fiber to the home network To true 4G LTE connectivity Nationwide and all for you No matter how far you roam No matter how you choose to be connected Digicel is always close by building a foundation or even when it's just the same. What's it saying? You put on real weed boy. I am so proud of you. As our network has grown, so has our offering to you. And we've always invested in you. That's why our greatest achievement will always be you, our customer. Digicel, we're better together. Don't drink and drive. Tuesday live at the Queen's Park Savannah. Paul Richards with Julia Flair. Seeing quite a number of bands today, really. It's Carnival Tuesday live on TTT and TTT Online Live. I'm Paul Richards with Julia Flair. And Julia, we've seen quite a number of bands pass, and those masquerades really have energy. And, and not only that, I think the focus has been so interesting because, you know, again, we, you, we moved from the brass band on foot to a huge battalion of speakers and, and music trucks and providing you with a, a variety of music. And we saw a seal band or two too. We saw Exodus pass through and then play their fans in with their seal of mask. And on, on screen now coming, uh, the banner went uh, forward already to uh, present to the judges. Festival de Colores is the name of the band, and of course the masqueraders are on the eastern end. The entrance to the Queen's Park Savannah, we see the marshals getting them ready for a moment they've waited for all day long. And I heard the, uh, the DJ on the truck said, we are finally here yes. a while ago. In other words, they've been working their way toward this. They probably went to other Holding venues before. Holding their breath. This. 
<laughs> holding their collective breaths and probably went to other venues before downtown uh, Piccadilly and uh, Adams Bit Square and finally making it to the Queen's Park Savannah. And I don't know, Paul, if you've ever experienced it, but the inebriation of just being on a Savannah stage, this beautiful space a in long, the big yard is really quite tremendous. A long time ago in the galaxy, far, far away when I used to play mass. <laughs> <laughs> when I had the energy. And I wouldn't be in so much pain after, but these are uh, these masqueraders certainly live for it. And of course, this is the part where most mas that most masqueraders li masqueraders live for. They live for this Savannah stage because it's the epicenter of carnival in Trinidad, Tobago, and the Caribbean, and dare I say the Western Hemisphere. And if I, I see that they're, they're doing choreography. It's really interesting again that all the bands, not all, but major bands, have um, a prelude to what they're going to introduce. There was a beautiful prelude again, even with K2K and the butterflies, you know, expressing freedom. So here we have choreography, which um, allows for a certain uh, interpretation dexterity. and dexterity. Yes. So let's take you stage side now. Carnival Tuesday live on TTT. Carnival 2024, and this is Festival de Colores.
And of course, it's Carnival Tuesday in Trinidad Tobago. The sun again making its presence felt. Uh, Festival de Colores. And we are also, uh, I think, they're playing Vibes, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like a mini band. And uh, the opening choreography was very, very impressive to me. The, the young people really put the work into it, and you saw it on the stage when they uh, presented the opening uh, choreographed section for the band to introduce the band. And you're seeing a lot of color in the many individual costumes. So definitely in that regard, they have succeeded. And, and what I like about some of these, they may be a small band, but they're usually coming out of community. So this is Vibes Mass now, making their way on stage with, again, a kaleidoscope of colors. Festival de Colores Vibes Mass. A lot of color, and many of these smaller bands, what I love about this, they, they come out of communities. So they may not be the big, big commercial bands, but they bring communities together. And yes. communities get together to, to, to create the mass, to build the mass, and they play together and on Monday and Tuesday. I, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, the, the predecessor to this band, uh, Showtime, is the same thing. It, it emerges into um, a whole community exercise where they have posts and functions. Uh, and I think it's really quite exciting that, in fact, Trinidad and Tobago has focus, has organization. And um, we see it at carnival time. You know, it's been thrown as an insult, but in fact, you know, you're a carnival-oriented person. But it's a very it's productive a very time. Product productive and positive time. I mean, look, look at... focus. Look at... We have to say congratulations. And I'll, I'll make no bones about saying it to Beverly Ramsey, who I think has done an amazing job with Pantry and Bagel. From what we've seen in, in the short time, she's been at, the, been at the helm of Pantry and Bagel. And you see the difference that leadership makes in, in organizations like that, where they, be, they become so credible that BP sponsored Panama 2024, and you see the organization of the bands. And the, Pan is an example in Trinidad Tobago of how a grassroots uh, beginning for, for an instrument brings communities together. And, and what a body of work that you, you see emanating from there now, and the young people are participating in, in the in the, in the decision making. Yeah, and, the decision and she's making. allowing that. She's yeah. just overseeing, which is what you do. You don't you don't sort of micromanage everything. Right. So uh, Vibes Mass presenting Festival de Colores and quite a bit of colour on stage. A lot of plumage as we would expect uh, as one of the, the, the facilities told us earlier on, masqueraders always ask for, for, for feathers. They love feathers. And once again you're seeing a lot of use of choreography. Um, it's interesting, Paul, that a lot of these people who are carrying wings today are doing it with a back strap, so yeah. that in fact it forms a kind of lattice uh, on their back, a kind of design, but it seems to be very sturdy and uh, allows for the plumage. And ease of carrying, because I mean, you, yeah. have to carry well, that, you have to carry it most of the day, so it has to be comfortable also. Let's take you backstage side at the Queen's Park Savannah. Vibes Mass presenting Festival de Colores, Carnival Tuesday in Trinidad and Tobago.
Somebody want to skin in the wire and chuck it in the bucket, please? I'm going to try my best. Good afternoon, everybody. Pleasant afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Can I start now? Let's go. Stop. Okay. So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here with you guys for another day. Uh, my name is Sonny Bling, and I am one of two main leaders of the band, Have a Time. But you can in the green as well, you see it there. And um, our theme for this year, 2024, is the Caribbean breeze. Yesterday on Monday we wore blue, today we wear green. Our blue yesterday was reminiscent of our nice Caribbean skies and our seas. And we have around us through the islands, our coffee still selling all up to Tobago. And our green represents our flora and our fauna. And all the goodness that is secret in the sky that is all reminiscent of the Caribbean. May it be as I said, our flora and fauna and the sky is in natural weather that we may have the beautiful ocean that we have around us in and around our Caribbean, you know what I mean? And um, have a time Caribbean breeze this year. Why we say Caribbean breeze is because we are a band that is based in natural vibe and natural energy, what we consider to be the real essence of Carnival on the road Monday and Tuesday. And the Caribbean breeze, unlike many other bands that you all may have seen, with all the fluff and the bubbles, they have a lot of ways to look at here, and that's okay. But like the breeze, you don't really see much of that, but you do tend to feel it. And even as we speak right now, you can feel that breeze coming over here right now. And that's who we are. We are the Caribbean breeze. And it gives us great pleasure to be here this evening. We still offer the same service. We have most of our masquerades here for this $1,000. And you can see the band is growing. Two music chunks, rest bus, wheelie chunk. We're going to get lunch as soon as we come on the stage. We're going to have our lunch here as well. And all the other nice amenities for a fraction of the course that the other bands try to do it to us for. Now, the real intention is that Cherry and Tobago is in the club of Carnival, and if we are the factory for Carnival, I think we are supposed to be able to play mass at factory prices. We should be playing mass at international prices. So, our time is about making it affordable for you and I. I have people who have never played mass before, never crossed the stage before. Some people who only started crossing the stage when our time came about. And please have them here. Oh, yeah, and mommy is also back in the band. And if mommy here, we're going to go. Alright, so I want to thank you guys so much for having us for another year. This is our presentation, our time mass, and this, this year, we know we played two, three songs on the stage, so we supported the two with match contenders, DNA and Contra. However, I'll personally say I really want DNA to win, because in the absence of a Soka Monarch, that young man need to go home with a road match. Because if Soka Monarch was here, that young boy platform was going to be that stage, I need to take that stage if you ask me. So we are giving him that respect, we want him to be young king, we want him to be fan, we want him to be road match, we want him to be everything this year. So we rock him with the DNA, but don't worry, everybody will get something. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Hammer Time Band 2024 for Caribbean Breeze! Oh gosh, let me rock, let me rock. Let me rock now. Let's rock now. When you come to me, come to me. When you come to me, come to me now. Come in, come in. Look me now, man. And of course, on stage now, Caribbean Breeze with Have a Time. We saw, I like to call it impresario, Sonny Bling, uh, introducing the band's philosophy earlier on. Yes, and, and his philosophy is that uh, the march should be affordable and uh, you have a discipline which you saw executed, but really let allow people to just have a time. Basically a t-shirt band, but they're having no less of a time and it's affordable and uh, catering for everybody in the community again. That's what he always makes a point about, you know, let's just have a time and not waste money and, and just have that energy. And I have to give Sonny Bling kudos for that. He's stuck to his guns over the years and each year he comes and philosophizes and one day he'll make his point. Well, I, I like the fact that uh, there's a space for every type of masquerader and it's not exclusive to any particular type of mask. You can, you can play 
very elaborate individual costumes. You can play a king and queen and pay that money or sometimes invest in it. Have a time mass presents Caribbean Breeze. We're going to take a short break for our play wager and come right back to the Queen's Park Savannah Carnival 2024 Carnival Tuesday. Stay with us. Let's 
Yes, Chris, what's up, Anna? Good afternoon, this is Exusia Mars, Safari, DJ Way Press Play for me, immediately, don't no sit.
Indie Classical Productions present a Valentine's gift to the nation. Two persons on one ticket for the annual Alternative After Carnival Festival. Featuring the funniest legends and the new stars in the battle of the generation. Three shows only. Friday, February 16th at 7 from 8 p.m. Saturday, February 17th from 8 p.m. And on Sunday, the 18th of February from 6 p.m. Napa in Port of Spain. Get your two persons on one ticket today before they're all gone. At advertised outlets only. Single tickets are also available. For more information, call the 24-hour hotline at 774-5555. The alternative after Carnival Festival with all the bacchanal and confusion you want February 16th at Zappa, February 17th and the 18th, Napa in Port of Spain. Zellish, level up your snack. For all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuju Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. Telephone 638 0863 and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando. Telephone 657 0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949. Don't drink and drive. Oh, I've got this feeling to high five the sun, dance in the rain, and have my scoop of fun. I'm on my way to flavor my day with something new, and I've got room for you. Let loose and live a little, get close and share a little. Share a little, give in and taste a little. You'll fall in love with Creamery Novelties. Enjoy new Creamery Novelties. Live a little. Everybody only worrying, worrying. Never ever worry. Don't mind how things looking hard. I tell them never ever worry. If your eyes can't get damaged bad. I tell them never ever worry. What I'm saying is true. So just consider, Tattle is always right here for you I tell them never ever worry, don't mind if life make you sad I tell them never ever worry, if your house gets flooded out real bad I tell them never ever worry, what I'm saying is true So just consider, Tattle will always be here for you Never worry, never worry about a thing Tattle, where people are people, you know what I mean Don't drink and drive. For all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One-stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuju Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. Telephone 638-0863 and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando. Telephone 657-0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949. Fifty by twenty, fifty by twenty-five. This is Kyron Pollard. When you play, do it the legal way. Don't bet on illegal gaming. Now you can win and drive when you play Win for Life. 
$10 win for life bet automatically gives you a chance to win a brand new Suzuki Vitara. That's right. Now you can play once for a chance to win twice. Just match your six win for life numbers to the six win and drive numbers to win. The win and drive draw takes place right after the win for life draw every Tuesday and Friday at 7 p.m. Play win for life to win and drive today. Players must be 18 years and over. Please play responsibly. Welcome to this afternoon's Playway Pick 2 and Pick 4 Draw, supervised by independent auditors KPMG and presided over by the National Lottery's Control Board. Good luck, everyone. Good afternoon. Here's wishing Trinidad and Tobago a happy and safe carnival 2024. Welcome to the NLCB's 4 p.m. Playway Pick 2 and Pick 4 Draw, as well as our Playway Back and I'll Draw promotion for Tuesday, 13th February 2024. We begin with our Back and I'll Draw promotion. There are two white balls and a golden Back and I'll Ball in the machine. If you have wagered on at least one Mega Mix option and the Back and I'll Ball calls, you can win $30 for every $1 played on the base, $90 with the Mega Ball, $110 with the Mega Ultra, and $135 with the Mega Extreme. And players, a white ball has called. Keep on trying. Remember, you can win more when the back and out ball calls. Now for our winning playway number. And this afternoon's 4 o'clock winning playway number is 26. The lucky mark is foul. That number is 26. The lucky mark is foul. Players, it's time now for your chance at higher me Mega Mix winnings. Remember, Mega Mix options cost an additional $1 each. And the Mega Ball call. The Mega Ultra Ball called. Playway number 26, the Mark Fowl, has called with the Mega Ball and the Mega Ultra Ball. Remember, you can win more when the Back Canal Ball calls. Next, we'll draw our winning pick two numbers. The first pick two number is 17. That's 17. And the second pick two number is 33. That's 33. This afternoon's four o'clock pick two numbers are 17 and 33 in that order. Our pick two mega machine is preloaded with our mega ball and two white balls for our pick two mega to the max draw. And if the white ball calls, there will be no extra payout. Once players wager a minimum of $5 on the Mega Ball, they will win the original prize of $2,000 plus the promotional prize of $6,000 for matching two numbers in the correct order. Pick two numbers, 17 and 33, in that order, have called with a white ball. Keep on playing. Remember, you have a one in three chance of a mega payout. Now for this afternoon's four o'clock, pick four numbers. The first pick four number is two. That number again is two. The second pick four number is nine. That number again is nine. The third pick four number is three. That number again is three. The fourth and final pick four number is nine. That's nine. I repeat, this afternoon's four o'clock. Winning pick four numbers are two, nine, three, and nine in that order. Congratulations to all our winners. Players, you deserve a win. Get your Win for Life tickets for tonight's 7 o'clock draw, where you can play once for a chance to win twice with the Win and Drive promotion. Your Win for Life bet automatically gives you a chance to win a Suzuki Vitara for no extra cost. The Win and Drive draw takes place immediately after the Win for Life draw. Play now! 
And with the Scratch Game High Rollers Club, you get 20 chances to win the top prize of $300,000. Pick up your High Rollers Club Scratch tickets for $30 and make your big money move. Thank you for joining us and do so again at 7 p.m. for another Playway, Pick 2, Pick 4, Cash Pot and Win for Life Draw. Senior Parade of the Bands brought to you by Digicel Better Connected This Carnival Samaru's, the international carnival supplier since 1949. White Oak, for the culture. Blue Waters, fed responsibly. Stamina Energy, fuel your carnival with Stamina Energy. Sunshine Snacks, snack under the sun. Tattle, where people are people. KFC, it's finger licking good. Carmino Properties International Limited. Punchy Punch, your carnival pumping fuel. Creamery Novelties, live a little. Presenting Safari, and we have on set the band leader, Colin Providence. Colin, good afternoon. Well, we got we, we got to take in your band a bit. Tell us about the band presentation this year, Safari. Okay, so Safari is an adventure on the African continent for 2024. We wanted to explore this part of the world and wanted to present it in a new and fresh, exciting way. You're in the medium band category. We're in the medium band category. How many masquerades do you have this year? We have about 350. But you've been doing this for about six or seven years now. You've been doing this six or seven years now. How long has the band been in existence? I didn't quite hear you. How long has the band been in existence? Oh, we've been around since 2019. So a relatively new band. No, you're relatively new band. Relatively new, yes. How, how has the experience been for you so far as a band oh, leader? Excellent, excellent. Um, you know, you've had your ups and downs, but overall, an exciting experience. What, 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 what makes an exclusive masquerader come to the band? It's a family vibe. You know, we're an intimate band. Everybody knows everyone, and even if you don't know anyone, when you get there, you become family. Would you like to graduate to a bigger band, or you want to keep it small to manage it in that intimate family way? I think over time, we will get there, but we don't want to go too big too fast. The ma our masqueraders like the space, they like the opportunity to get to know everyone, so we don't want to grow too big too quick. How many sections Safari present? Presents Seven sections. Thing? Seven sections. And who is the designer or designers? Well, I'm the main designer, but we also have um, some other persons who have assisted. We have Ainsley Fair, Carleen Waldron, and Javance Benjamin. And are you going to the other judging points? Are you playing for competition or just doing it for fun? Well, a little bit of both. We're doing fun and competition, so this is our last stop. We've done all the venues already. All right, well, all the best for the best of uh, Carnival 2024 and keep growing as a great brand. Thank you very much. That was Colin Peplens. Let's take it backstage side now for Carnival 2024, Carnival Tuesday, live on TTT. in full swing carnival Tuesday afternoon Judith the Merry Monarch has taken to the streets and is in full display we just saw Exusia Mask presenting Safari and now on stage we have a band called uh, Icons Rejuvenate the presentation is from All Carnival and they're in the small band category so of course a lot of the smaller bands coming across the stage 
at this point in the afternoon and having a wonderful time. And it's so interesting that he says that this is his last venue. Um, I, I wonder what he would do next, you know, if they just go around in Savannah or what do they, they do? They just go and enjoy themselves until Going the police tell them to stop. Until the police tell them stop. <laughs> and, and that's it. You go until your mask really say we've had enough. Because of course no longer do we have a last slap per se. Exactly. Yeah. Long ago, there was the last stop at, at Roxy Roundabout. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of the pan sides would go there and, and congregate, and you'd have a last jump until the police told you to stop. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember things with roots. Uh, you know, you look forward to the last lap. Uh, you know, what, one of the things that's so wonderful about Trinidad and Dorigo's Carnival is what we're seeing in front of us the whole expression of joy. And, you know. And release. Yeah. There are many uh, studies that I mean, done. tomorrow you have to do the soca switch. You have, you have to go back to work. You have to dig the eggs to the pins and get back into the office. But that's part of what we live for. We actually work all year through and then we build up to this crescendo. And it's all explosive, the color and creativity. And then we go back to our normal and life. And I wonder was that what do people who don't have carnivals, what do they do for their release, you know? I dare not say on the air. <laughs> Anyway, it's Carnival 2024, live on TGT Carnival Tuesday. Let's take you back to side for all. And coming up, the spirit of the elements. And the very majestic king costume on stage. Very beautiful, primarily silver and white with a blue face. Let's take you to side for that right here on TGT. We've seen a lot of large, wonderful costumes that are attached. Signature costumes that are really rather beautiful. Um, not just the queen of the bands, but costumes that focus on some elements and some theme, which all the origins of Trinidad and Tobago Carnival has always had. So they work with a theme. What's your name? Carnival 2024, Carnival Tuesday, Carnival afternoon here from downtown Port of Spain at the Queen's Park Savannah. The band on stage now is Hot Stuff Promotions and their presentation, The Spirit of the Elements. We have Cherise Smith with us. Cherise, good afternoon. Happy Carnival to you. Hi, good day. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. How's, been, how's been, it been so far for you and the band? Very good, hard working. Tell, mm -hmm. us, a, tell us a bit about the band first of all, Hot Stuff okay, Promotions. Okay, so our designer Franklin Jaglio is the designer of the band where we have the elements of the wind, which is multicolored fabric, by, which is used to bathe suit, short pants with different colored feathers and backgrounds. Our second section, we have the elements of fire, the red, the yellow, the orange, where we use to create the fire, the red pants with the colors of fire for the top. Our third section we have is the element of water, the colors blue, white and silver bath suit and short pants in the Cape Blue Showcase of Movement. Section four, the element of earth, the color green has used the top with a cape, different shades of brown. 
That is hot stuff promotions for today. And what are we seeing on screen here? Right at this moment, we are seeing the Element of Fire by Franklin Jagdio. It's a stunning costume. Yes. Very beautiful. And we saw the first one earlier on, uh, which was the silver and with the blue face. What was that called? Yes. Yeah? What was the first one called? The first individual? The Elements of Wind. So that was the Elements of Wind. This yes. is the Elements of Fire now. How many masqueraders are, are, are participating this year? And the moment we have 30 masqueraders. So it's a, it's a mini band? Yes. How long, mini band. How long have you been in existence? Uh, approximately 10 years now. 10 years? Yes. Enjoying it? Very much. What was the road like for you today? It was good, you know, the little challenge with the traffic and stuff, but everything went smooth and we are at the end of the stage now. And I guess this, this costume is the element it's of water. water. It's very, very beautiful. How long did it take you to make the band to make these costumes? They started since, well, they didn't have any Christmas. So they started since before that, putting everything together. And I guess everyone contributes to making the costumes. Yes, everybody. It's like a family affair. Everybody. That is fantastic. Yes. Where do you all hail from? We came from Kirev, McIntyre Street. So it's a community band? Yes. That's very fantastic. We were talking about that earlier, Judith and I, about the importance of these small bands to keep the community together. Yes. Is it a family band that, that's been passed down through yes. the generations? Yes, it is. Fully family. I must say all these costumes are quite exquisite. Yes. And they're all frontliners. Uh, I mean, how, how do you organize such magnificent costumes all together? Well, Franklin Jagdew is the one that designs every single one. He's, he's right now the element of fire that now coming off the stage. That is Franklin Jagdew and he designs everything from scratch. Yeah. And every section has a, a, a king or queen leader. Yes, we have two kings and we have two queens. That's amazing. And this is uh, the element it's of water. water. And this is uh, leading the, the four masqueraders there yes. with the uh, main costume. Did you enter the king and queen's competitions? Yes. Do we, these these we, are exquisite. Yes, the other band that coming on after is the queen that came in fifth place. The element of earth, she's after. So this is the element of earth. earth. Absolutely beautiful. And who's the masquerade portraying it here? She's Pri Priya Norega. Priya Norega, and of course, all coming from Kirev. Yes. You are doing amazing work. Thank you so much. The, the, the intricacy of these costumes and the size of them, all of these fit in one mask, huh? One big truck. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they have such large yes. costumes. You, you all must be commended for this because it's a small outfit, yes. but you're putting on fantastic work. Yes. So. So the, do you have teams of people that work on each of the costumes or right. yes. and do you do them in an order? In an order, yes. Right. Yes, we do. So you have kings, queens, kings, queens. and what, just individuals? Individuals, yes. Right. But the individuals have the queen or right. the king. Right. Yeah. So you have a retinue. Ret, yes. yes. Wonderful. And let me ask a difficult question. Who finances all of this? Franklin Jagdew. Wow. So this is a labor of love for him. Yes. He, puts, he puts all the investment into making these four costumes. Everything for himself. Wow. And Jack Dale is a name that we know in mass from way yes, back. Way back. And it, it's it's really interesting to to see that he's reinvesting every time his yes. money and he puts his money where his mouth is. Yes, and yes. What 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 um what, if you don't win a prize, how do you cover the expenses? Franklin Franklin Jack. Franklin Jack we will do it. <laughs> <laughs> a Shere foregone conclusion. Thank Shere you so much. Congratulations. Uh, the band looked really beautiful. It's a Thank small you. outfit, but it's no less uh, interesting and, and, and colorful and intricate. Yes. So it's really, really good work. The elements of wind, the element of fire, the element of water, and the element of earth. Yes. Hot stuff promotions, and they're really hot stuff presenting the, ele the spirit of the elements. Congratulations, and thank you. Thank you so much. And continue to enjoy your carnival, and thank keep up the great work. Thank you. All right, let's take it backstage side now on TTT Carnival Tuesday afternoon live.
and its costumes often feature innovative use of inexpensive, sometimes recycled materials. Captain Bag masqueraders are encouraged to treat their costumes as a canvas and personalize them in creative ways. So, in true Captain Bag style, the final shape of the mask is often not evident until the morning of Carnival Tuesday when the masqueraders arrive in their modified outfits. Apart from the local crime situation, this year's costumes reference other contexts of inequality. Wonderful, Ca sorry. Carnival Tuesday. <laughs> I, I must say the aesthetic of this band, plus it's a message band and into social commentary. And what a wonderful thing it is to see an aesthetic, clean, clear band that is have, has a message. I, I, I recognize the, probably the principal of the band, Ashraf, who is an artist, a painter, an art collector, an art dealer. Uh, and he has been bringing these kinds of message bands for a number of years now. Very small, very intimate friends and family, but they always have a profound message in their mask. They enjoy themselves, but really always tell a, a really profound message. You're seeing the world needs love, shoot me with flowers, you know, uh, uh, nature is important. They're very eco-friendly and kind of coming out of that minchelesque. Uh, aesthetic over, and aesthetic what over I like years. about it is, is that, that it's an umbrella that makes a statement. So it's an overarching feel that we have with all the commentary uh, and very well placed graphics. As we were saying earlier on, and, and it's, it's such a wonderful aspect of Trinidad and Tobago Carnival, the diversity we see. We see the big bands and we see these bands telling the stories and, and sending the messages as we've seen over so many years in so many different ways and they keep the mass alive and they keep the diversity in the mass and they really warm your heart and it's, it's what is special about Trinidad and Tobago Carnival it's not any one kind of portrayal yes I, I totally agree and of course they have a flag woman that's essential for a band the leader of the band yes let's take you backstage side now for this wonderful presentation Ashraf and friends and friends
Tuesday Carnival 2024 live on TTT. We just saw two bands there. Uh, the first one, Adrenaline City, Colors of Dreams, with the designer being Shane Phillip, and now Lust, the Carnival band, Celestial Bodies. Two fun bands, more or less. Just people having a great time. And that's the essence of Carnival to have the best time you can possibly have. And they're making their way across the stage. I in an informal count, and I stress informal, I think the most, uh, the, the song that got the most plays today, of course, is still between uh, Mikel Tejas' DNA and Bungie Garland's Carnival Contract, but I think Carnival Contract got the edge here at the Queen's Back Savannah from what I've heard so far. Uh, we'll see. I we think will this see. this morning, mm -hmm. um, 
Michael Tesha, but Rule the, the Roof. But the smaller bands. Yeah. But, but, but the bigger bands, they, their choice seems to be more Bungie Garden. And in some bands, they actually play both. Yes. So, we're seeing a really beautiful uh, costume on stage here now. Uh, with Based lots on of the... Plumage. No, sorry, go ahead. A lot of beautiful plumage, you know, the, the, the masqueraders take center stage. And the form is very much uh, North American Indian. Um, there's something really quite wonderful about this. A sort of interweaving of wings of the different colors. And it really works. It's a, it's but, a sorry. But wings with, with also the, the, the encasement, the, the, the metal encasement with also feathers and plumes coming out. So it's a really interesting design and she's carrying it very, very well. We were having the discussion earlier on. But again, uh, it's 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 um, stylized and it's uh, simulated wings, uh, i.e. it's not feathers. Yeah. So it takes a different kind of creation to come up with that and make it work. It's almost reminiscent of an Indian mask, a different kind of Indian mask. But we were having the discussion earlier on of, of uh, costumes that masqueraders can carry and dance versus floats. And over the years, there's been that debate over whether people should be allowed to carry big floats as opposed to individual costumes. And people have different pref preferences when it comes to those. The floats, of course, can be much larger because yeah. they're on wheels. And I think we have to attribute the whole costume uh, privilege that Mitchell introduced where he said that they were not to be floats. You either make up your mind that it's a float or you don't have more than three wheels and you must be able to dance the costume, as you would say. Well, if you know Peter Minchel, he's a purist. And this costume, and she's very reminiscent of one of Minchel's uh, kings in the past, a kind of uh, interpretation of a kind of tantan in Sackaboy, where he's carrying the costume on his shoulders and there's a, a, a protrusion up top where the, the, the tantan or Sackaboy like uh, costume is being carried very well in the Queen's Box of Anastasia as the man make their way, make their way across the beautiful kind of freedom that we have, but with some aesthetic there. We're live at the Queen's Box of Anna Carnival Tuesday afternoon. The brilliance of TNT's creativity on display for two days. We'll take a short break and come back with more. Over. Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. No one for laughs, my dear. They said, Tommy Joseph, what is the difference between a hurricane and your ex-wife? I said, there's no difference. All of them must take the damn house. With Captain Barry and crew, the Caribbean Princess of Comedy, Margaret, and the Caribbean Prince of Comedy, Ronald. From Philadelphia, USA, the Quiet Prince, Granny X coming over the fence in South, Madman Clevis, and performing as a cow for 2024, Nuts Landing, Fareed Ali, Dan Diman, and more. Come laugh, laugh, with over 15 comedy entertainers. Grand opening Friday, 16 February, at Cafe Blue Compound, Rights and Road, 8 p.m., and Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. This is Bass, and you see me, I'll be opening up for the World Laugh Festival. All you come and laugh, all your belly full, all weekend. <laughs> flavor. Zellish, level up your snack. Do you work in a supermarket, retail store, bar, restaurant, hotel, as a domestic worker, security officer, at a gas station, or any similar establishment? You're entitled to a wage of no less than $20.50 per hour. Overtime pay for time worked beyond eight hours per day or 40 hours per week and meal and rest breaks. Contact the Labor Inspectorate Unit of the Ministry of Labor for more information. Like many others trying to save on Carnival, Gabby thought she should go Done. for 50% off makeup. What about the other side? 
Well, die is the 50% of offer. So, you know. You know? No makeup artist, we don't know. What we do know is the savviest savings for Carnival are at KFC. Get a Chap Chap box, one piece chicken, one regular fries, and a biscuit for only $25. Yo, no kind of stress and no more drama On the nation's roadways Yo guys, we fetting smart and we driving smart This carnival, we taking safety measures against real threats So play smart, fet smart and move smart to be safe this carnival I'm Raymond Ram Ryan from Dilly Nadan Love your TNT, respect Trinidad and Tobago, since we first met, you knew it was love at first sight. We value and cherish the same things. We promise you the country's widest and most affordable mobile network, and we've kept that promise to you, our greatest supporter. We've grown your trust by ensuring you're always connected. From TNT's first fiber to the home network, to true 4G LTE connectivity nationwide and all for you. No matter how far you roam, no matter how you choose to be connected, Digicel is always close by. Building a foundation or even when it's just to say, What's he saying? You put on real weird boy. I am so proud of you. As our network has grown, so has our offering to you. And we've always invested in you. That's why our greatest achievement will always be you, our customer. Digicel, we're better together. Creativity in the universe is not an idle boast. <laughs> and on stage now, a band called Dolly Mass presenting Coming of Age in Carnival Chapter One. The girl designer and band leader Amanda McIntyre. I think you know people have come to the stage where they want to create their own mass again, and they have a concept and they are executing it. Doesn't matter about the numbers, but they're getting the point across, and this is so refreshing. And I think that that's so important, and, and, and I've seen it in years gone by, but this year, more than ever before, I'm seeing those smaller bands presenting their own type of mass and enjoying themselves. And what's great is that they're coming across the stage. They're not just staying in niches everywhere. So people, other people can enjoy what they've created, and that's really taking us back to what the carnival and the mass is about. And they're on stage now coming up. The next band will be presented by Indulge, International Mass Band and their presentation for 2024 is called The Garden and we're seeing this quite elaborate costume getting ready to make its way on stage now. The uh, Kings and Queens had quite a tough time with the wind in the Kings and Queens, Queens semi-finals this year and finals. Uh, I don't know what can be done about that. I guess it's all in the design. This one is quite elaborate. Uh, a lot of green getting ready to make its way on stage here at the Queen's Box. Ivana, a lot of sunshine today. Let's head stage side now.
character from Indulge Mass Band for Carnival 2024 presenting the garden. And coming up, we will be having Elements Mass Band with the new found gems. Band leader, Miss Emily McIntyre. This is Carnival 2024, Carnival Tuesday, live at the Queen's Park Savannah on TTT. Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And the Bacchanal continues. Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Here the Bacchanal with Granny X coming over the fence in South. Here the controversy with the moving of the security booth in Bamboo. Who the hell you calling mad? Eh? I is not the man that the authorities tell me to move your security boot. <laughs> and I said, no. Next morning when I come back, it's flat on the ground. Hey, hey, where you come from? Don't blame me, you know. The authorities send my crew. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Coco say he has a massive bombshell to drop. This is Coco. I ready for him. Get ready for the World Laugh Festival. For all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One-stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuju Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. Telephone 638-0863 and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando. Telephone 657-0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949. Trinidad and Tobago, since we first met, you knew it was love at first sight. We value and cherish the same things. We promised you the country's widest and most affordable mobile network, and we've kept that promise to you, our greatest supporter. We've grown your trust by ensuring you're always connected. From TNT's first fiber to the home network, to true 4G LTE connectivity nationwide and all for you. No matter how far you roam, no matter how you choose to be connected, Digicel is always close by. Building a foundation or even when it's just to say, What's he saying? You put on a real weird boy. I am so proud of you. As our network has grown, so has our offering to you. And we've always invested in you. That's why our greatest achievement will always be you, our customer. Digicel, we're better together. Everybody only worrying, worrying. Never ever worry. Don't mind how things looking hard. 
I tell them never ever worry If your nice can't get damaged bad I tell them never ever worry What I'm saying is true So just consider Tattle is always right there for you I tell them never ever worry Don't mind if life make you sad I tell them never ever worry If your house get flooded out real bad I tell them never ever worry What I'm saying is true So just consider Tattle will always be here for you Never worry, never worry about a thing Tattle, where people are people You know what I mean with stamina energy and rise to any occasion. Pump and lime all season long because this carnival, you need stamina. With Caribbean Airlines, it's a flight full of love. Come on board our plane, fly with the stars up above. Any destination is a celebration. Welcome home. With Caribbean Airlines, we fly at night or morning.
the relationship of colors. Right here at Queen's Park Savannah, we are going to present to you We Mass Flash, the relationship of colors. Can you move the truck down? We need you to move the truck down. Move the truck down, please. Look, man. Carnival 2024, Carnival Tuesday in the late hours. And of course, you're seeing the band making its way on stage is We Mass presenting Splash for 2024. The relationship of colors. And we're happy to have with us on set from the administration of the band We Mass International, Dwaynell Matthews. Dwaynell, good afternoon. Happy Carnival to you. Hi, good afternoon. Happy Carnival to you. How are you? You look very calm for someone who's been on the streets all day. Yes, I'm tired, but you know. Yeah, the show must go on. It has to. Tell us about the band. All right, so we're a medium band. We've been in existence for over 12 years now. Um, this year, you know, the season was a little short. So the numbers that we usually have, we didn't get them this year because of the um, short season. But we tried to make it a little affordable. And you know, our band is like a family band. Oh, you see everybody on the stage, they're parading there, they're like family, they played with us for years. So tell us about the relationship of colors. What is that about? Alright, so our presentation this year is Flash. Um, we decided to use like a mix of multicolored fabrics, just to bring out, you know, and match them with the gems, to go them. And bring out just, you know, like a colorful presentation this year. Combinations. Yes. Is the designer or the designers for the band? Aitisha McDonald is the designer for the band. She's actually on stage there for reading. I'm having a good time. <laughs> yes, while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> we have a splash of color. Yes, we do. You know, and, and I think the word splash is so explicit that, you know, you could just have a little splash of color. Yes. What, but you will see from all these sections, you know, we try to manipulate the colors and put them together, you know. You all have been doing this for 12 years, you said earlier? Over 12 years. Over 12 years. Yeah. How has that progression been for the band over the 12 years? How would you say the band has evolved? Um, we've grown from the from the inception. We have grown. It's just that, you know, like I said, because it's the short it's season, and you know, a lot of people, you know, they're saying, you know, time's hard. <laughs> yeah, so that also You know, but even though the screen. season was short and stuff like that, it was like, sorry, and it's crazy. You hear how I'm sounding? So it's like so sleepless nights to try to get these things ready. You've been to other judging points today already? No, well, actually, this is my first because I came on the road very late today. You, uh, you've been working very hard. Yes. I was just going to say that you look very young for this continuance. <laughs> It's extended, so it's nice that you um, have the input us to do a band. Yes. All right, we will, we're going to let you get back to get a little jump up because you've been working so hard and reward you with a jump up on the stage. I know. <laughs> Dwayne, thank you for being with us. You're welcome. And keep the great, great work up with the band. Right, Happy you. Carnival. <laughs> Let's head stage right now uh, for more of We Mass Splash for 2024.
Roscoe Productions present a Valentine's gift to the nation. Two persons on one ticket for the annual Alternative After Carnival Festival. Featuring the funniest legends and the new stars in the battle of the generation. Three shows only. Friday, February 16th at 7 from 8 p.m. Saturday, February 17th from 8 p.m. And on Sunday, the 18th of February from 6 p.m. Napa in Port of Spain. Get your two persons on one ticket today. Before they're all gone. At advertised outlets only. Single tickets are also available. For more information, call the 24-hour hotline at 774-5555. The alternative after Carnival Festival. With all the bacchanal and confusion you want February 16th at Sapa, February 17th and the 18th, Napa in Port of Spain. Like many others trying to save on Carnival, Gabby thought she should go Done. for 50% off makeup. <laughs> What about the other side? Well, Daisy 50% off of her. So, you know. You know? No makeup artist we don't know. What we do know is the savviest savings for Carnival are at KFC. Get a Jab Jab box, one piece chicken, one regular fries, and a biscuit for only $25. Flavor. Zillish. Level up your snack. For all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One-stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuchu Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. Telephone 638-0863 and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando. Telephone 657-0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949. I have a special message for all the ladies. It's now 2024 and you're still accepting drinks from random strangers? That's not a good idea. Drink smart to avoid date rape. So please remember, drink smart, be safe. And if your name ends with the letter A, Aisha, Nisha, Keisha, Jessica, all of the A-list girls, make sure you be safe, drink smart, and be safe for Canada. If your name ends with an A, When Carnival is done, it's time to laugh. Randy Glasgow Productions presents a Valentine's gift to the nation. Two persons on one ticket for the annual Alternative After Carnival Festival. Featuring the funniest legends and the new stars in the battle of the generation. Three shows only. Friday, February 16th at 7 from 8 p.m. Saturday, February 17th from 8 p.m. And on Sunday, the 18th of February from 6 p.m. Napa in Port of Spain. Get your two persons on one ticket today before they're all gone at advertised outlets only single tickets are also available for more information call the 24-hour hotline at 774-5555 the alternative after carnival festival with all the bacchanal and confusion you want february 16th at sapa february 17th and the 18th napa in port of spain Senior Parade of the Bands, brought to you by Digicel Better Connected This Carnival Samaru's, the international carnival supplier since 1949 White Oak, for the culture Blue Waters, fed responsibly Stamina Energy, fuel your carnival with Stamina Energy Sunshine Snacks, snack under the sun Tattle, where people are people KFC, it's finger licking good Carmino Properties International Limited Punchy Punch, your carnival pumping fuel Creamery Novelties, live a little Oh, my God. 
As we march international next year, we're off stage at the Queen's Park Savannah Carnival Tuesday 2024 in brilliant color. Masquerade is having a wonderful time. We're standing by to welcome the new band on stage. Uh, they are lined up on the eastern end, the entrance to the Queen's Park Savannah stage, the big yard, the big stage as it were, for Trinidad and Tobago Carnival. And we're going to have Petal Mass Carnival Band, and they're presenting for 2024 Invasion. So let's just enjoy the last trains of Wee Mass and Splash. Let's welcome to the set uh, Petal Cavalier, who is the band leader for Petal Mass Carnival Band 2024 and Invasion. Good afternoon, welcome. Hi, good afternoon. Glad to be here. Thanks for joining us. So this is the first section of your band here? Yes, this is the first section, right? The team's Invasion, and the first invading section is Supernova. Okay, tell us about the band. How long has the band been in existence? Oh, this is our 10th year as a band, right? We're a medium band in San Diego. Um, it's been 10 fantastic years, a long journey, you know? And we just enjoy celebrating Mars. Well, you're better right now. Huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I started off, I feel, I feel that way sometimes. What started you off in, 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 in bringing a carnival band? What, sorry? What started you off in bringing a carnival band? Why did you decide to get into Mars? Oh. I got in a mask quite by accident. I was a security guard for a, a, a section in a band in Poison. A section in Poison. And, uh, you know, and it just, I mean, the, the whole atmosphere just was so captivating that I just said I want to be a part of it. And, and this, this is, is then. This is the first section still on, on screen here? Yes, that's the first section, so it's supernova. So, you know, like um, the whole team invasion that we're doing is really based on. The team invasion is really based on. Um, we had this concept of the earth, right? Aliens wanted to come and invade the earth, and the only way to do it is to disguise itself as masqueraders in Trinidad Carnival. So, these are actual aliens so on stage. No, these are no well, longer the, the human beings. The disguises are very, very good because yeah. look, you can't tell that they're not human beings. Yes, exactly. You know, it blending absolutely perfect. So and the they, first section is invasion in pink. What is the section in the blue here now? Section, second section is um, Solaris, right? Which is one of the, I think it's a, if, if it's not a, a constellation, it's, huh? a, it's a planetary system. Yes, right. So what happens is that we draw a lot of inspiration. It's not actually um, direct, well, obviously, because it's a creative team, mm -hmm. you know? So it's not like something like you could watch a picture of, I'd say, but it's just like different areas or, or inspiring spaces, places in space. Emotion that you have, yeah. So like, uh, put down there, exactly, and 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 um, made it really rather tactile, so that it's it's something an expression of all of you, or just you alone. No, well, actually, we have a team, right, right. Of, of designers involved, and um, so like Solaris is one of the designers, right? Riva Loveless, right? She did that section, and it's, uh, I mean, you can see like the wings and the fire. So, yeah. like Solar Solaris involves um, a little bit of the sun's rays coming onto the earth, you know? So, yeah. you'll see like a, a little blue and some orange beaming into it, you know? And we're seeing a section following Solaris called Nebula. Right, Nebula, right? Well, we all know what well, the Nebula is. It's, it's a constellation, it's a galaxy. Con a galaxy, yeah. Yeah. right. So, it's just another constellation from where the aliens are coming. Yeah. So, these polarities are all grounded. Because, you know, the, the whole thing about if you were going to ground your home even, yeah. you have to have the right pose even in your battery. Right, yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. So that is the concept? Yes, that is the concept. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And is it by design that the costume, I think the sections are flowing, each section has a little bit of a color of the section coming up. So it's, uh, it's a very, very interesting progression. Yeah. Right, so you notice the progression, right? Where, well, supernova is the explosion of the stars, right? And from the explosion, then you come all the different 
colors and right. elements right. coming up. Right. right. Some, some someone likes a lot of astronomy. Oh, of course. Because I'm seeing a drama coming up next. Uh, uh, <laughs> of course. Once you again. Know, once again, another constellation, and, you know, another solar system that we're talking about. And Andromeda, well, you see it. I mean, you know, it's, uh, if you watch the actual Andromeda, it have a little blue and pink kind of all spinning together. How many and, sections I mean, are in the band? The band did six sections this year. You six. Know? Mm -hmm. So we've had Invasion, we've had Solaris, we've mm -hmm. had Nebula, we've had Andromeda. What else can we expect coming forward? Well, it all ends with Stardust. Right? And which is now going to come on stage. Right? Stardust is the last section. Stardust is the last section. And of course, very silvery, very, very black and silvery. Black and silver, right? Kind of contrasting a lot of the colors that you would have seen before. So it close off with, I mean, that's it. everything dust settles. You know? Is the band attending all the competition spots? We are a competing band. Last year we placed um, fifth overall. We were the uh, most colorful band of the year last year. Congratulations you know, for thank that. Thank you. So we're going after it again this year. Well, congratulations mm -hmm. and thanks for coming and sharing uh, what the band is about for us, uh, Invasion, Petal Mass in its 12th year. And we wish you all the best. Enjoy the rest of your carnival season. Be safe. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Same to you. All Let's right. take a backstage side for the last masqueraders of Petal Mass 2024 presenting Invasion.
The wait is over. Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. No one for laughs, my dear. They said, Tommy Joseph, what is the difference between a hurricane and your ex-wife? I said, there's no difference. All of them must take the damn house. With Captain Barry and crew, the Caribbean Princess of Comedy, Margaret, and the Caribbean Prince of Comedy, Ronald. From Philadelphia, USA, the Quiet Prince, Granny X coming over the fence in South, Madman Clevis, and performing as a cow for 2024, Nuts Landing, Farid Ali, Dan Diman, and more. Come laugh, laugh with over 15 comedy entertainers. Grand opening Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, Rights and Road, 8 p.m., and Sunday, 8 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. This is Bass, and you see me, I'll be opening up for the World Laugh Festival. All your come and laugh, all your belly full, all weekend. For all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One-stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuju Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. Telephone 638-0863 and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando. Telephone 657-0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949. Yeah, Dizzy Grandma Blackie, carnival is really not your thing. So you're going away for the whole weekend. Move smart. Tell the police or tell a trusted neighbor so they can throw an eye on the property for you. Be smart to be safe for this carnival. When I see a woman, I just feel like a glad man. Blackie says so. Oh, I've got this feeling to high-five the sun, dance in the rain, and have my scoop of fun. I'm on my way to flavor my day with something new, and I've got room for you. Let loose and live a little, get close and share a little. And share a little Give in and taste a little You'll fall in love with Creamery Novelties Enjoy new Creamery Novelties Live a little Your destiny The best way to predict it Is to create it Do you see yourself Exploring exotic destinations Or spending quality time with family However you see yourself Create your own retirement destiny With Tata Life's Destiny Personal Savings Booster Choose from one of three investment options with guaranteed minimum investment returns to secure a monthly retirement income for life with the option to choose your retirement age. So what's your retirement destiny? Call 62TATIL or visit tatil.co.tt to learn more today. Conditions apply. Tatil Life, a member of the Ansa Macal Group. Boss man, you really need to wear all that gold to the fat? All that gold? I say no. Play smart and leave the gold home safely. Yes, and don't I make yourself an easy target. Be smart and be safe this carnival. I'm JW saying, Trinbago, we going to make it. At the end of the day, let's move better than that and smarter than that. Back to when we love again. Back to when we
we can't rock it. Trinidad. Like many others trying to save on Carnival, Gabby thought she should go Done. for 50% off makeup. <laughs> No makeup artist we don't know. What we do know is the savviest savings for Carnival are at KFC. Get a Chap Chap box, one piece chicken, one regular fries and a biscuit for only $25. Flavor. Zellish, level up your snack. Oh, I've got this feeling to high five the sun, dance in the rain, and have my scoop of fun. I'm on my way to flavor my day with something new, and I've got room for you. Let loose and live a little, get close and share a little. Share a little, give in and taste a little. You'll fall in love with Creamery Novelties. Enjoy new Creamery Novelties. Live a little.
Senior Parade of the Bands brought to you by Digicel Better Connected This Carnival Samaru's, the international carnival supplier since 1949 White Oak, for the culture Blue Waters, fed responsibly Stamina Energy, fuel your carnival with Stamina Energy Sunshine Snacks, snack under the sun Tattle, where people are people KFC, it's finger licking good Carmino Properties International Limited Punchy Punch, your carnival pumping fuel Creamery Novelties, live a little The winning numbers in the National Lottery Online Draws for Tuesday, 13th February 2024. At 10.30am, play away the number 18, Waterboat. Pick 2, the numbers 21 and 7 in that order, Mega Ball Called. Pick 4, the numbers 9, 2, 7 and 0 in that order. At 1pm, play away the number 7, Hog, Mega Ball and Mega Extreme Ball Called. Pick 2, the numbers 25 and 10 in that order. Pick 4, the numbers 4, 1, 0 and 6 in that order. And at 4 p.m., play with the number 26, Foul, Mega Ball and the Mega Ultra Ball Called. Pick 2, the numbers 17 and 33 in that order. Pick 4, the numbers 2, 9, 3 and 9 in that order. your carnival with stamina energy and rise to any occasion pump and lime all season long because this carnival you need stamina with caribbean airlines is a flight full of love come on board our plane fly with the stars up above any destination is a celebration welcome home with caribbean airlines we fly at night or morning Productions present a Valentine's gift to the nation. Two persons on one ticket for the annual Alternative After Carnival Festival. Featuring the funniest legends and the new stars in the battle of the generation. Three shows only. Friday, February 16th at 7 from 8 p.m. Saturday, February 17th from 8 p.m. And on Sunday, the 18th of February from 6 p.m. Napa in Port of Spain. Get your two persons on one ticket today. Before they're all gone. At advertised outlets only. Single tickets are also available. For more information, call the 24-hour hotline at 774-5555. The alternative after Carnival Festival. With all the bacchanal and confusion you want February 16th at Sapa, February 17th and the 18th, Napa in Port of Spain. For all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One-stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuju Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. Telephone 638-0863 and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando. Telephone 657-0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949.
attractive flavor. Zellish, level up your snack. Carnival 2024, we just saw a magnificent presentation from Peter Samuel and Kinetic Mass. It was absolutely spellbinding, but I don't want to interrupt this treat that the audience is getting now with Trinidad, Massey Trinidad All-Stars. So well, we definitely have to do a back announce. We, of, we, of we're going to talk about Kinetic really Mass after this from Massey yeah. All-Stars. So let's so take you stateside to enjoy the sound of seal. Uh, one of the twin winners for Panorama 2024 large man categories, Massey Trinidad All-Stars.
Silver, Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. No, if I ask me, they said, Tommy Joseph, what is the difference between a hurricane and your ex-wife? I said, there's no difference. All of them must take the damn house. With Captain Barry and crew, the Caribbean Princess of Comedy, Margaret, and the Caribbean Prince of Comedy, Ronald. From Philadelphia, USA, the Quiet Prince, Granny X coming over the fence in South Madman Clevis, and performing as a cow for 2024, Nuts Landing, Fareed Ali, Dan Demon, and more. Come laugh, laugh with over 15 comedy entertainers. Grand opening Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, Rights and Road, 8 p.m., and Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. This is Bass, and you see me? I'll be opening up for the World Laugh Festival. All your command laugh, all your belly full, all weekend. Yeah, Dizzy Gladman Blackie, carnival is really not your thing. So you're going away for the whole weekend. Move smart. Tell the police or tell a trusted neighbor so they can throw an eye on the property for you. Be smart. To be safe for this carnival. When I see woman, I just feel like a glad man. Blackie says so. Trinidad and Tobago, since we first met, you knew it was love at first sight. We value and cherish the same things. We promised you the country's widest and most affordable mobile network. And we've kept that promise to you, our greatest supporter. We've grown your trust by ensuring you're always connected. From TNT's first fiber to the home network, to true 4G LTE connectivity nationwide and all for you. No matter how far you roam, no matter how you choose to be connected, Digicel is always close by. Building a foundation or even when it's just to say, What's it saying? You put on real weed, boy. I am so proud of you. As our network has grown, so has our offering to you. And we've always invested in you. That's why our greatest achievement will always be you, our customer. Digicel, we're better together. Your destiny. The best way to predict it is to create it. Do you see yourself exploring exotic destinations or spending quality time with family? However you see yourself, create your own retirement destiny with Tata Life's Destiny Personal Savings Booster. Choose from one of three investment options with guaranteed minimum investment returns to secure a monthly retirement income for life with the option to choose your retirement age. So what's your retirement destiny? Call 62TATIL or visit tatil.co.tt to learn more today. Conditions apply. Tatil Life, a member of the Ansa Macal Group. Like many others trying to save on Carnival, Gabby thought she should go Done. for 50% off makeup. What about the other side? Well, Daisy 50% off of her. So, you know. You know? No makeup artist we don't know. What we do know is the savviest savings for Carnival are at KFC. Get a Jab Jab box, one piece chicken, one regular fries, and a biscuit for only $25.
And of course, that's the uh, joint 2024 Large Band Panorama Champions, Massey Trinidad All Stars. Uh, fleets in on a voyage to Zanzibar, and they are having a great time. You can tell they're champions by the way they're jumping alone. Look at that. You can't play Mass and Fred Powder. We also want to congratulate BP uh, Renegades, joint winners. And of course, this is the sweet sound of steel in Trinidad and Tobago. You're live on TTT Limited and TTT Live Online. And of course, uh, earlier on, you heard uh, from uh, Rockus and Little Bits. Did a great job starting off this morning. We've had a wonderful day here. And we're going to take a short break and come right back to the Queen's Park Savannah live on TTT Carnival Tuesday, 2024. Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And the Bacchanal continues. Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Hear the Bacchanal with Granny X coming over the fence in South. Hear the controversy with the moving of the security booth in Bamboo. Who the hell you calling mad, eh? I is not the man that the authorities tell me to move your security boot. <laughs> and I said, no. Oh. Next morning when I come back, it's flat on the ground. Hey, hey, where you come from? Don't blame me, you know. The authorities send my crew. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Croco say he has a massive bombshell to drop. This Croco, I ready for him. Get ready for the World Laugh Festival. For all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One-stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuju Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. Telephone 638-0863 and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando. Telephone 657-0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949. Everybody only worrying, worrying. Never ever worry. Don't mind how things looking hard. I tell them never ever worry. If your eyes can't get damaged bad. I tell them never ever worry. What I'm saying is true. So just consider Tattle is always right there for you. I tell them never ever worry. Don't mind if life make you sad. I tell them never ever worry. If your house gets flooded out real bad. I tell them never ever worry, what I'm saying is true So just consider, Tattle will always be here for you Never worry, never worry about a thing Tattle, where people are people You know what I mean Oh, I've got this feeling To high five the sun Dance in the rain And have my scoop of fun I'm on my way To flavor my day with something new and i've got room for you let loose and live a little get close and share a little give in and taste a little you'll fall in love with creamery novelties of life and live a little i get close and share a little give in and taste a little you'll fall in love with creamery novelties enjoy new creamery novelties live a little i love i love i love Flavor. Zellish. Level up your snack. 
The wait is over. Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And the Bacchanal continues. Sunday, 18 February, Zappa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Hear the Bacchanal with Granny X coming over the fence in South. Hear the controversy with the moving of the security booth in Bamboo. Who the hell you calling mad? Huh? I is not the man that the authorities tell me to move your security boot. <laughs> and I said, no. Next morning when I come back, it's flat on the ground. Hey, hey, where you come from? Don't blame me, you know. The authorities send my crew. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And Sunday, 18 February, Zappa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Coco say he has a massive bombshell to drop. This is Coco. I ready for him. Get ready for the World Laugh Festival. For all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One-stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuju Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. Telephone 638-0863 and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando. Telephone 657-0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949. Topical category. Carnival 2024 Tuesday, you just saw, of course, a massive Trinidad All-Stars take the Queen's Park Savannah stage by storm. And I have to tell you, uh, they had a wonderful time. Yeah, they I mean, and the joint winners, you know, what the privilege. And Ola, of course, on the truck singing another hit. I don't know, once they, they really have to do something about that because he always either comes out too late and never really makes... Um, well, I disagree. The option of being, um, you disagree? Okay. I disagree. I think Ola, Ola has done fantastically. And yeah, he, and but I mean in terms of a road march. You know, well, I, that's, I don't, that's what I'm talking Not about. everyone is that interested in a road march. Some people just want to make great music, and wherever it goes, it goes. And he's one of those people. He's a true artist. I mean, and it really is great music. There's not too many about that. Fantastic music. And, he, and his music crosses demographics. Everyone loves his music. And that's the great thing about him. But I could tell you, I don't, I have lost count and I don't know who's ahead of the road match race for 2024, but I guess we'll see. It's not only the Queen's Max Savannah uh, as a judging point, it's uh, the Piccadilly Greens, it's the Adams downtown. Square, downtown, San Fernando, all the other carnival venues across the country. And, and San Fernando, the, as, as you say, I don't know if the smaller ones like Capuchino and so on are included, but I'm sure they are. Because how the process works is that two co representatives are in all those spaces taking the points. And uh, we, it will be remiss of us not to talk a bit about Kinetic Mass in more detail. And that was a fantastic presentation 
from Peter Samuel and Associates. This year, they really brought the house down. Every section immaculately made. Every, even the standards had an elegance about them. And adding up to such beautiful mass, you know? Just, just flowing. Um, I think we have to give credit where credit is due. Uh, for the first time in many years, I actually got goosebumps, which always tells me that something is working. Yeah. Um, the but aesthetic of the band, the authenticity of, of the, the band, band. Uh, is, is also something that's very intriguing. The attention um, to detail. Yeah. The, the, the garments, the, the way they were designed, they flowed. And uh, Peter, Peter Samuel, for those who may not know, played Peter Mintrell's Kings for many, many years. So I guess uh, this year, in, in particular, he's been doing great for many years, but this year in particular, I'm sure Peter Mintrell will be very proud of the band he's produced this year. It's Carnival 2024, Carnival Tuesday in Trinidad and Tobago. Of course, uh, we are heading just past 6 o'clock here. And of course, I know many of the bands are going to various de destinations, getting the last ounces of enjoyment out of their carnival for 2024. We've seen a number of great bands today. You'll see uh, when the NCBA uh, announces their, and the NCC announces their, their winners for Carnival 2024 uh, from tomorrow, Ash Wednesday, into the rest of the week. Uh, who the eventual winners are and uh, how they have uh, stacked up against each other. And we are actually seeing uh, a band on stage stands getting ready to come on stage. It's, uh, the band is uh, Beach CSSL. And I think we're going to have the band leader on with us, or, or maybe somebody from All Stars. No, I think this is somebody from All Stars. From All Stars, yes. Yeah. So we're going to get a chat with him in a short while as uh, some of the bands, if, if you are looking at the, the screen right now, of course, a lot of bands still to come over the Queen's Park Savannah. Let's take a quick break and come back with more of the Queen's Park Savannah. Stay with us. The wait is over. Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. You know what I ask me the other day? He said, Tommy Joseph, what is the difference between a hurricane and your ex-wife? I said, there's no difference. All of them must take the damn house. With Captain Barry and crew, the Caribbean Princess of Comedy, Margaret, and the Caribbean Prince of Comedy, Ronald. From Philadelphia, USA, the Quiet Prince, Granny X coming over the fence in South Madman Clevis, and performing as a cow for 2024, Nuts Landing, Fareed Ali, Dan Demon, and more. Come laugh, laugh with over 15 comedy entertainers. Grand opening Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, Rights and Road, 8 p.m., and Sunday, 18 February, Sapa San Fernando, 5 p.m. This is Bass, and you see me? I'll be opening up for the World Laugh Festival. All your command laugh, all your belly full, all weekend. Trinidad and Tobago, since we first met, you knew it was love at first sight. We value and cherish the same things. We promise you the country's widest and most affordable mobile network. And we've kept that promise to you, our greatest supporter. We've grown your trust by ensuring you're always connected. From TNT's first fiber to the home network, to true 4G LTE connectivity nationwide and all for you. No matter how far you roam, no matter how you choose to be connected, Digicel is always close by. Building a foundation or even when it's just to say, What's he saying? You put on real weird boy. I am so proud of you. As our network has grown, so has our offering to you. And we've always invested in you. That's why our greatest achievement will always be you, our customer. Digicel, we're better together.
Fuel your carnival with stamina energy and rise to any occasion. Pump and lime all season long because this carnival, you need stamina. Oh, I've got this feeling to high five the sun, dance in the rain and have my scoop of fun. I'm on my way to flavor my day with something new and I've got room for you. Let loose and live a little, get close and share a little, give in and taste a little, you'll fall in love with creamery novelties. Love life and live a little, I get close and share a little, give in and taste a little, you'll fall in love with creamery novelties. Enjoy new creamery novelties. Live a little. Like many others trying to save on Carnival, Gabby thought she should go Done. for 50% off makeup. What about the other side? Well, Daisy 50% off of her. So, you know. You know. No makeup artist we don't know. What we do know is the savviest savings for Carnival are at KFC. Get a Jab Jab box. One piece chicken, one regular fries, and a biscuit for only $25. The wait is over. Trinidad and Tobago, Tommy Joseph will be honored for the World Laugh Festival 2024 with 15 of his comedy friends. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And the Bacchanal continues Sunday, 18 February, Zappa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Hear the Bacchanal with Granny X coming over the fence in South. Hear the controversy with the moving of the security booth in Bamboo. Who the hell you calling mad? Eh? I is not the man that the authorities tell me to move your security booth. <laughs> and I said no. Next morning when I come back, it's flat on the ground. Hey, hey, where you come from? Don't blame me, you know. The authorities send my crew. Friday, 16 February at Cafe Blue Compound, 8 p.m. And Sunday, 18 February, Zappa San Fernando, 5 p.m. Coco say he has a massive bombshell to drop. This Coco, I ready for him. Get ready for the World Laugh Festival. For all your carnival supplies, shop at Samaru's. One-stop shopping for everything carnival. Visit the new San Juan location at number 2 Chuju Road, south of the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. Telephone 638-0863 and number 29 Cross Crossing San Fernando. Telephone 657-0114. Open every day till carnival. Nobody beats Samaru's for carnival supplies. Samaru's, celebrating 75 years in the carnival business since 1949. Do you work in a supermarket, retail store, bar, restaurant, hotel, as a domestic worker, security officer, at a gas station, or any similar establishment? You're entitled to a wage of no less than $20.50 per hour, overtime pay for time worked beyond 8 hours per day or 40 hours per week, and meal and rest breaks. Contact the Labor Inspectorate Unit of the Ministry of Labor for more information. Back of the Queen's Park Savannah. Street Sound is still permeating the atmosphere of the Savannah. And we have on set with us uh, one of the band members from Massey Trinidad All Stars who gave us a thrilling rendition earlier on, joint winners of Panorama in the large band category for 2024. Let's welcome Stephen Lyons Tiffinson. Did I get it right? Right. Hi, welcome. Happy Carnival to you. Same to you. And congratulations to you and your band. Well, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to be here. How have you enjoyed it so far? Very immensely. Um, it's always very, very, very good to be here. Um, having a great time in Trinidad and Tobago, enjoying our cultural festival. So you, you live in the US, but you came to Carnival? Every year. All right. What was the atmosphere in the band like since winning on Saturday night, or early Sunday morning? Well, Sunday morning, we are anxious to be out on the road. Everybody gathering, waiting for the latecomers, just to be present 
and start the journey to the stage, the Savannah stage. So what's your rank, Teppen? What's your rank? My rank? I am the, I am the set, set now of the International um, Space um, Academy. And what's it like doing this sale of mass every year? There was a lot of powder. You all refreshed the Savannah stage because we, we got a sniff of, the, of the, the powder all the way from up here. Well, you know, you can't play mass and free powder. You can't play mass and free powder. So what's the plan for the band from here this point on? You're going to trip until the way late evening? Uh, I think we might head down to another um, stage um, in St. James or um, a repeater somewhere down. Victorian, we'll continue to enjoy the carnival. Yes. Continue to come every year and congratulations to you and the entire band on your victory this year. It's run victory. Thank you so very much. All right. Let's take it back to the stage for a bit more. Carnival 2024 right here at the Queen's Park Savannah. This, I understand, is bliss. You're seeing one of the massive bands in Trinidad Tobago, Bliss, on stage now, making their way from all the other points, or many of the other points, and onto the stage. No particular order. It's a fun band. It's about the bodies, the feathers, the beads, and about all-time enjoyment. Of course, Bliss is about the experience, and uh, the costuming. They have a group of designers uh, who work together as a team, and so this is the expression on Carnival Tuesday night, as they wind down our beautiful festival of Carnival 2024 out of the big yard in Queen's Park, Savannah. Well, let's congratulate because we're heading to a wrap soon. Marshall Montano, congratulations to you. Amazing performance and victory in all the finalists in the Calypso Monarch, uh, Massey Trinidad All-Stars, and DP Renegades on their victory, their joint victory in the panorama. The Junior Calypso Monarch, the, the Junior Pan uh, Assams, who have done very, very well. And all the bands we put on this place here today at the Queen's Park Savannah and the other venues throughout Trinidad Tobago. It takes a lot to get these bands ready. It takes a lot to prepare the costumes. It is not an easy task, but we do it every year. We also want to thank the protective services who have been out in the numbers and making I, us safe. I would really like to thank all the arrangers, uh, the producers of all the, the backs, Brown people, the people, the, the backstory, the backstory, the NCC, of the, whole the thing. NCBA, Tuco, Pantry and Bagel. Yeah, but but also the people who actually do it, the backstory people. And as I say, we have to congratulate uh, National Carnival Commission for pulling off something again as large as this. And you know, it's no small feat to organize these kinds of events. And also, it's been a really safe carnival, no news of untoward events. So we really congratulate everyone who contributed to making this and continuing to make it the greatest show on earth in Trinidad Tobago, Trinidad Tobago Carnival. We'd like to thank Rockers and Little Bits who held the down this morning. And of course the team, all the producers, the directors, the cameramen who make our jobs easy on set. Right, and I thank you for the pleasure of your company. Absolutely. Let's take a stage side now for a bit of bliss. Thank you for doing our broadcast. Continue with TTT Live Online, the home of Carnival 2024. If you don't show up, if you don't come around, if you're coming to me, don't shoot it out of Tobago, 
A parade of the bands brought to you by Digicel Better Connected this carnival Samaroos the international carnival supplier since 1949 White Oak for the culture Blue Waters fed responsibly Stamina Energy fuel your carnival with Stamina Energy Sunshine Snacks snack under the sun Tattle where people are people KFC it's finger licking good Carmino Properties International Limited Punchy Punch, your carnival pumping fuel. Creamery Novelties, live a little. I get Trinidad sweets and some of the best girls don't get 